Dog. It worked. And one guy Jeez. like this at LA Night is looking to make a moment. And that moment you let YouTube the chat know. Oh, thank you so much, Brian. Right I just got it. Hello, everybody. People. Sorry, YouTube. We were struggle busting for a minute, but we're good. Okay. I can breathe now. My server has just not, not been working lately. I don't know what the hell's going on, but we're here. We're doing the thing. Hi guys, I can breathe now. I can breathe now. I can breathe now. Does have a point. Okay. As long as Roman Reigns has been champion. So anyway, you guys want to see my pizza? Because we're gonna be eating. Um, I definitely want to know, uh, especially on YouTube, everybody. Hi, hello. What are you guys eating for your PLE? What is your PLE food? Are you guys wing people? Are you pizza people? I typically, when I'm really trying to be healthy, I make my own pizza and it's like a Greek yogurt kind of crust deal. But I went to my favorite place. I just realized I'm also still wearing hospital pass. Look that. Uh, I, um... I usually make my own Yay. like Greek Thank yogurt so pizza, so I was gonna show you. This is my favorite WWE's pizza place. Currently, I'm on the kick Pretty of banana peppers and chicken, so I'm gonna so show you so my far, pizza. So and I didn't good. get cauliflower um, crust today; I, I got regular for a crust. Long yes. time. Longest I've ever. But that's my pizza. Movie. Right around 18 that's months. That's my pizza. Um, had a spinal fusion. I'm so excited. So um, I am going to be eating. It was a little hesitant. Uh, I haven't eaten since breakfast this morning, so I'm a little hungry. Out, Went up to the I hospital for a little bit. Maybe my career was, was over. Got my, but, my pink uh, knockoff Yeti and, um, or Stanley or whatever the fuck the they are. I don't know. I've never owned an actual PC Stanley. Get, like, my feet back nice pizza. Underneath, thank you. Uh, Hawaiian cheese back. crust 24-inch pizza. You ordered from a place by you called Fat Shack. What do you get from Fat Shack? Burgers. Okay, okay. You're about to have Chinese general... General Sows with I'm rice and chicken. Dude, I haven't had General Sows in a hot a minute. General Sows is good. Collard greens and black eyed peas. Uh, me and Gene sure is eating, sorry, when eating like a king. When, uh, you ordered Papa John's. Uh, you to I was going to do some ring, delivery. I wanted some some greasy Pizza Hut pizza, but I was good and I got my. This is Windy City style. Windy City style. harp on because I've been so fortunate. You know, the, the 14 title reigns here. that I've had, um, Maybe. you know, Get that, that means a lot. So making it 15, making Maybe it 16, here. like All of right. course I would love for that to happen. Um, it doesn't you keep guys, me up Little at Caesar's night, Detroit deep dish pepperoni. I honestly, I I'm not going to lie to you. I'm very curious about so Little I, I Caesar's Detroit enough. style pizza. I, I, feel I like love I've plenty of time Detroit style pizza. To where Am I a pineapple on pizza kind of girl? Not typically. Um, it's not my go-to, but I am a lot more open to it now the older that I've gotten. So let me show. Look how cute, isn't it? So good. That's that's what the crust Your looks like. I'm a foodie. I feel like since we talk about food all the time, like I'm just gonna sh share my food with you. You can stop us. Together, we are unstoppable. Let's go. You got out of bed at four. I slept till 11:30 today, which is very very late for me. Very late for me. But I was up till two. You're drinking orange Jameson. I don't like whiskey. Um, where's my phone? Oh no! Oh, it's literally right here. I was just on it. Pfft. Real quick, how's my mother-in-law doing? Thank you for asking. There hasn't been a whole lot of change with my mother-in-law, unfortunately. She's stable, but she's still not awake. She had the stroke on Sunday, uh, and she is not able to be awake yet. There's a lot of things that they are having to do in the meantime to get it working but uh, to get it working to get her up and running it's just it sucks you know everything sucks but we're making the best of it and we're doing what we can so that's what it is your sauces were wrong did you guys see i don't know what you mean you're eating pizza as well dude i haven't had the regular crust pizza in a while i usually just get the cauliflower because the cauliflower has more flavor but I'm feeling it. Mm-hmm. I hate eating on camera, but I really didn't know what else to do. Uh, here, let me get some some noise going. Imagine if MJF does show up when Punk is in the ring. How? Let's do a poll. Uh, let's do a couple polls of if we think MJF is showing up tonight. Because I feel like so many people are really confident that he's not and i'm never <laughs> i'm never confident about literally anything 
Congrats, Kevin so Owens. it blows you my mind that people are, you know, this confident. Okay, there's that poll over history. on Twitch. Let's get oh. one going on the tube. But yeah, I just don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't get the. I don't get the, the confidence factor. You know. Hey, Kevin. We should so I order barbecue or fried chicken? A it's a guy. cheat day. Evidence. Whichever you're feeling, man. Turns out that little cast on your hand. Could Whatever be you're feeling. Because if you roll up the Royal Rumble with that cast on, mm. excuse me, with that weapon on your hand, I promise. Someone said if MJF shows up, beat you in a wrestling match. No, shit in their I pants. In <laughs> I probably will too, honestly. Let me get the poll here on YouTube wow, too. Wow, Kevin, <laughs> thanks for inviting me on your show. Is MJF I would say I'm honored, but showing up. There's a, a an account on Instagram. I forget what the name of the podcast is, but they keep right posting. Now. Just rumored like people or people that they've heard the are returning reason, tonight. You were able to knock like me down a fucking picture of, of them past. with Royal Rumble emblem, it's right? And then it says, spoiler alert in the caption, like, you dumb motherfucker. Like, what is wrong with people? What is, what is the, uh, what is the appeal of getting that news out there? I just, I just don't, I don't get it. There should be no confidence in anything in Royal Rumble and that's how it should be. Right, it's so much more fun that way. It's so much more fun that way. It's weird finally being able to watch a live video. I used to only have 600 downloads like a few months ago. Oh my god. Well, welcome to the big time. <laughs> Chris, I think Hulk Hogan is showing up. Ryan says he's spoiler free. I am for the most part, but I like got on Instagram just to let people know that I was going to be here tonight, my show and it was like the Kevin. first thing that popped up. What what joy do y'all get out of this? I don't fucking understand. Royal if Big Rumble E shows up, oh my god, I'll be so happy. I'll be so happy. I'm good, Case of Nuts. Thank you for asking. Our truth We could get such an interesting dynamic with our truth in the ring with Judgment Day. You know? They turn on him, he'll be helping someone, and then they turn on him. Oh my god! Oh, the Crunchy. hatred between Logan Paul and Kevin Owens is real, as is the love we have for Grammy is that? nominated and multi platinum recording artist Jelly Roll. Give it up, y'all. Give it up, yeah. Jelly. Jelly? Give it up, y'all. Uh huh. Odds on is Sasha returning awesome tonight? I never know how to answer, like, the odds question. Because how the fuck am I supposed to know, like, what the percentage... I don't know, you know? Beautiful um, with these yeah. people screaming, I don't know. A great night, Booker, I love that I don't know. I don't know anything, guys. It's about to get hot. It's yeah. about to get wild. <laughs> we're, we're thrilled to have you on board. You know a thing or two about some raucous crowds. How do you feel about this? Being here with you guys crowd. tonight I, dude, I feel uh, like makes me feel so much better about the fact that I'm in not in Tampa. <laughs> Will no I stream the Lions game? Probably not, bud. I'm probably going to watch that um, than any rock and roll at my, so at my Sunday spot. Started. Yeah, there, there's no shortage of energy inside the truck. You've avoided them to the best of your ability. There's you definitely one that was rumble. spoiled for me, it's but I'm keeping my mouth WWE shut. WWE yeah, no, don't, no spoilers, guys. A few months ago, don't be a Monday dick. Night Raw, we just I think it's kind of inevitable, but between Logan Paul, Kevin Owens, what do you think of this? If you do any spoilers tonight, uh, you're getting kicked. Retains, do you think Kevin Owens you, can uh, take away that fuck US out. title? You know, man, this is probably the hardest. The game tomorrow is at 6:30 p.m. Eastern. It's so hard because I have so much love for Kevin Owens and what he's done. What number of I coming out? I was a gambling man tonight. I'm all an elaborate girl, scene backstage oh, in Tampa. Logan is going to do something electrifying tonight. He's going to solidify his Which one do I think is going to be in first? In, in this sport. Uh, I think the women's is going to be first. I think the women's is going to be first. Reezy, watching you watching Roy Rumble. Well, I'm watching Roy Rumble. I already know tonight is going to be one hell of a night in the live and in the Rumble. Thank you, Rowan. You would love to see Hogan wrestle again, but I don't think he can do it anymore. I, based on all of the, stu less, the stuff that they were showing during the week, like the video packages of Hogan, I feel like he, I feel like, I feel like we're seeing him tonight. I really do. I don't know if he's going to be in the Rumble or to what capacity. He's also from, I mean, he lives in Florida. I was just so excited. Yeah, don't let them know I'm number 23. I'm fanning out tonight, dude. It's going to be great. I started talking about it, and then ADHD kicked in. Um, you were placing hands on some WWE on their Instagram had like a, a reel that gave you a number. And if you screenshot it, it gave you your number. So. My, my, you know, betting tonight is seeing if my 
numbers York, win. You guys had All right. This amazing so I have for the respect. men's rumble like for you? I know number 15, oh, dude, and for the women's rumble number 13. Tonight, man, so if you go to guy, oh it's man, WWE on Fox. And, um, uh, WWE unreal, and Fox dude. has this this Randy little Ward. widget. It's a it's a reel that goes you know, through a whole bunch of numbers. Like if you go there and screenshot it, it'll give you a number. So, fifteen and thirteen are mine. You want to see Sean Spears? How How Spears? I hadn't thought about that until somebody brought it up yesterday. I believe that. Let me tell you, how big would you pop if? Yeah, the one year that they Britt Baker, DME fan, the one year that they announced the number that everyone was coming in, I wanted to flip a table. I see a lot of people saying AJ Lee. I know you are as legit as they come when it comes to WWE. Let's give it up for Jelly Roll. Yeah, thank y'all for having me. I love you. Right. The weekend is the official song for WrestleMania again. I did not hear that. What song? Your dude Tyson Let's Kidd when he got eliminated by Hornswoggle. Day. No se ve Let's nada. You know some nothing. Vacation envy. I couldn't be in the women's rumble. No one would know who I am. <laughs> Let's reconnect. Let's get it fresh from the Gulf. This pizza slaps. Let's shine in St. Pete. I know we got a busy weekend. Rumble tonight. We've got the Lions game tomorrow. I'm so anxious. I'm so nervous. 15 for men. I got 15 for men's too. I had so much fun at WrestleMania, walking the back hallways and seeing, showing you guys what's really going on at a big event. I wanted to do it again here. Your numbers are 19 and four. Favorite event of the year. So 19, I'm pretty sure. We talked example. last night. I think that that is our truth. Hey, Sam hey, it's Paula. Hey, look, hey, look at you. You got a haircut, got didn't a haircut. you? No, no, no. It's Peter Rosenberg. I love you guys. Anyways, Better. let's let's Peter talk Rosenberg. for a second. I always call Royal Peter Rosenberg Sam. Here. I'm not going to kid. Austin I'm Theory, this is going to be your third Royal Rumble. Third. How are you, fe how are you feeling? Tonight. How am I feeling? Lions I'm 49ers Austin tomorrow. Three times. I'm a I know, dude. Big weekend. Mandy oh, Rose Royal Rumble and return. I haven't really seen anyone say that, that yet. Experience, have you imparted any wisdom? <laughs> yeah, this on is young, a green uh, screen. Waller? Hey, this I've is a green a screen of, of me. And actually tonight, we got 21 for women and 20 for men. Hasn't been done in 20 years. 20 years. Should have bet this year. Are gonna win the Royal Rumble tonight. And those two If you're gonna bet who gonna win the men's Royal Rumble, who's my pick? CM Punk. Wow. We don't care who it is. We don't care. We're going to throw out CM Punk. CM Punk. Bob Backlund. Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes. Bob McIntyre. Backlund. McIntyre. I'm going to throw out Austin Theory. Yeah. I would never throw out Austin Theory. That's my boy. I you can't never. hear me chewing, hey, can you? Down down I'll feel face. really bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll mute. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to leave you guys to Ken, it. Ken, the super chat. Thank you so much. Good luck, guys. Awkward. See, it's still strange um, watching right, NXT New York a few years back. Come on, Luis. We're going to go down Seeing yourself in the front row and in the video the WWE the posted with the way reacting to Gargano's match. Before the Royal Rumble Being match. a part I'm of wrestling history oh and wrestling There's clips is a very Punk. strange thing. Don't go anywhere. I, I mean, me being in the CM Punk CM reaction Punk, thing is uh, for, I mean. Okay, but this is what's amazing about being backstage. Why is You got 30 for the men's? I'm curious who number 30 is going to be. Truth. Truth, what's happening? Bro, this is a whole different set of what balls. What is Archer right here. doing? These are, I'm trying to crack a couple of them open so I can re enter my number in the Royal Rumble. I didn't like the number I got. You know what I'm saying? So I want to. You ready to rumble? These, these don't open like the other balls. <laughs> oh, please. You know what I'm saying? Like, they won't twist open. Let's these, get ready to baseball. rumble! Someone fucking at the baseball? hospital no, 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 was like, no, 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 oh, do they still do that? Now. I'm like, no, no, that's no, not no. what that's from. No. They had numbers in the balls yesterday, right? Chewing. Yeah. And I didn't like the number that I got. Yawning? Right. So I want to open one of these up. Chewing right, is better than yawning. On, I, I on it, so again, at the hospital, no, no, no. the luck. people that you were in the room next to us, no, no, I'm good. Uh, they were Turkish. Life, oh, yeah. And they were making Turkish coffee, right. and they right. gave Gesundheit. me like a, a little shot right. of it. Love you, Truth. You guys. All right. It was insanity. Let's, let's careful down these steps, dude. What? I love that man, but what is he? Ladies and gentlemen, this is very exciting for me. Uh, I have not seen this guy since his return at Survivor Series in Chicago. Chicago's very no, own. I was talking to Punk. CM Punk. Welcome back. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. I was just FaceTiming Larry. <laughs> yeah, I don't what think do he was say? prepared. Uh, he was lot. just trying to chill, him. man. Yeah, wow. and I miss him, but uh, I've missed this place. Do, do, do. Can um, you hear the rumble? Dude, it's calling. It's too cheesy. No, that's authentic. Does that, Truth know he's at the Royal like Rumble? No, I don't think so. The second I saw you. I don't think he does. Ten years ago, your last time in a WWE ring was the Royal Rumble. 10 years later, here we are. Did you ever truly in your heart imagine you would be in a Royal Rumble match again? No. No, but here we are, and that's the great thing about life. It's the great no, thing about WWE. No. You know, our truth I'm is back. a national treasure. Tre tre a treasure? not the same old punk. I can't imagine anyone disagreeing with that. A little, older, a little wiser. <laughs> uh, Look good, though. I feel good. I'm still the best in the world. 
Everybody, what is your guys' right favorite you PLE of the year? I, I am calm. What everybody, is your favorite of the year? If I, if of I, if I the said year? there was no nerves, I'd be Because I know a lot of people, I just saw someone say that the Rumble is theirs. Um, Rumble is also anymore. mine. So, back here to prove a point. Hi, King Crab, cheer in 10 bits. I just want to remind everyone you're a crab so I can join both Rumble Masters. Jesus Christ. And then King Crab cheered another 50 bits. Universe when I say... Welcome saying the same here. thing. Appreciate He's a crab, it. and he can CM join Punk, both Rumble and matches. Right. If so, you can stick. Punk, King Crab, I don't tonight. know what you're on. Go but. right up these steps. Good on you. Nice and easy, by the way. These are pretty narrow. Walk down this weird little hallway, and before you know it, you head Rumble's up here. Rumble's yours, Rumble. And right there Rumble. is where Glory Rumble and could Mania. be the Royal Rumble Most match. of you guys are saying Rumble. Okay. Understood. And, and here we are, guys. You know what this reminds me of? This entrance, guys, reminds me of the time John Am Cena I coming to Chicago March 25th for Raw? Most thing. likely That's not. The feel right here. Now, Most Book, likely can you not. Hear me back there? I can hear you. I, can hear you. I don't so, know that Book, I'm going to make it to any events this year. Down the ramp. Yeah, I don't know if events are in my cards this year. Last year. You should have been in this year's Rumble, yeah. so you wouldn't have been blown up by the time you got to the ring. Yeah, I'm not gonna oh. that. I'm not gonna Nothing gets you that. more excited than speculating down. who's going to show up at the Royal Rumble. <laughs> there are so many good much shorter path, prospects as you can see, this the year. WWE Universe so many. Right now. These are the fans hey, Roni, are you excited? Are you excited? Everybody, um, be on Wheezy Blonde Sign Watch. You could feel it from the be on right Wheezy here. Watch, all right? This is, St. Pete has been am amazing all weekend long, and these fans are ready. You're in Tampa, not St. Pete. At the Royal Rumble match. We have a lot more kickoff show. Are you in Tampa? Stick around. Oh, yeah. I'm on my way, guys. <laughs> anyway. On the next This Is You'll Awesome. You'll give me a free ticket for Crown it. Jewel. <laughs> I don't have a passport. Every year, I'm like, I need to get a passport, and then I'd be up to do it. Mm -hmm. Poll time. Which will the sign catch on fire this year? Such a bad omen. Such a bad omen. A good poll. Well, a good thing is like, who's gonna be the first person to point at the sign this year? You know, and I think that's dependent on who wins what when. You know. Once we see which Rumble match is starting first, I feel like you can kind of. I don't know how many people I um think will be from NXT in there this year. I'm not sure. Who do I want to win the Rumble? I made a YouTube video on it, but I will say Bailey and CM Punk. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna switch. I'm just gonna keep up with my answers that I gave. It looks like the ring is on second base. I feel like based on like the layout of the uh, field, that would make sense. Is this starting in 10 minutes or an hour? I'm confused with the times because I'm in Ireland. Debbie, this will be starting in 10 minutes. Yep, 10 minutes. It's 7.53 Eastern time. Everything starts at 8 p.m. Eastern. Oh. oh, the card was announced. Sorry, I've been busy all day. <laughs> I think Lon London Cheesehead, I think next year's Mania is going to be overseas. I think it's going to be in London. I really do. I want one I want one close for me or in a city that I'm familiar with. Like, I would love a Detroit. I heard a lot of people didn't like Detroit. I personally love Detroit. I would love a Mania in Detroit. Um, but I'd love a Chicago. You know, you know, this is kind of a big piece, so this will probably be it for me for a while. Have I seen the rumors about Jordan Grace? Stupid Sam, get fucked. But yes, I did because people can't, I, I just don't, I don't, I just don't get, I don't get wanting to know. No, Chicago, I live an hour and 20 minutes outside of Chicago. I'm closest to Chicago. Mania at Ford Field would be. Was Mania ever at Ford Field? Chicago does have. Oh my God. Chicago has a great card. I don't like Chicago. Like, I don't like going to Chicago. It's your first PLE with me. You're in for a ride. 23 was at Ford. Okay. SummerSlam will be in Detroit. This SummerSlam was Tiger Cost. SummerSlam was in Detroit last year. I was there. Nashville in 2025. WrestleMania, yeah, yeah, 23 was in Ford Field. All right, all right. You live 30 minutes from Chicago and Indiana? Well, I'm probably like a little more than 30 minutes from you then. That's where I'm at. 
Bubba 4D, thank you for the resub. Happy three month subversary. I appreciate ya. Good on ya. Good on ya. My city beautiful. The people a little fucked. Where? For Chicago? Me in that moment. You talking about Chicago? I felt damn good. It's a cool city. I just don't like going there. Can you imagine the feeling? After the tour of Pictorial I've never been to Pittsburgh. I've never been to Philly. And hell in a cell. To this moment tonight. Mm. Titans are building a new stadium, so we'll be in Nashville too. I mean, Chicago is building uh, a home. new home for the Bears, aren't they? Like the out in Tinley. But it's next? not going to be done for a while. CBS, thank you for the resub. Happy eight month subversary. I appreciate you so much. There thank you for is. all of your support. And Bellman91, thank you for the resub. Happy four month subversary. Thank you guys for re upping and being here. No spoilers, please. Please, please, please. Performance last year and how this year will be any different. Gunter! Introducing entry number um, one. Gunter! I was in the middle of like starting to talk about it and then I got distracted per you. Last year, it was the I don't understand the wanting like I'm real, real spoilers. Like, what, what is wrong with you? It was so much more fun to just kind of speculate uh, and then watch. Can I loyal? Yes, dirty. I can loyal. Gunter lasted one hour. Storm Shadow, thank you for the resub. Happy three months subversary. A lot of three monthers today. I hope I started one again. And I really hope Cody Rhodes walks out at 30 again. So I can yeah, redeem myself. You win. Thank you for being here for the first time. I appreciate you. Yes, yes. All of the luck to my Lions tomorrow. If you're not rooting for the Lions tomorrow, we're not friends. We're not allowed to be friends for the day. Brian. Was it Brian that was written for the Niners? Can't remember. I mean, how do you even begin to pick a winner out of this? You got all the absolute biggest and best Super Bowl. Yes, everybody root for the Lions, please. I want a, I want the Lions to be in the Super Bowl so bad. So bad. Case of Nuts giving out five community subs before the start of this show. Thank you so much. That's a lot of nuts, Mr. Case. Last year, he was so close. The year he's had has been unbelievable. He's my guy. I'm going Gunther. Sam Punk, man. Sam Punk. Punk is back for a reason. He ain't here to make friends. No, Murray. He's here to make money. Oh, Just yeah. tomorrow. Right, we'll see if Cody Rhodes has something to say about that. All I know is this is one of my favorite Alex pointed at the sign. Of the entire year, and I can think of no better way to kick things I got a picture of the sign the man, the sometime last year. I forget where it was at. H. Levesque. Where are all the collisioners at? Oh, look at strips. But I'm getting a very rare opportunity to talk. Right, to I want to hear what he says. You can hear the fans out there, and we know how tense it's been backstage. But what is so special about the Royal Rumble? What is so special about the Royal Rumble? What is so special about tonight? Let's start with it is the road to WrestleMania. It is the road to the WrestleMania, the biggest WrestleMania. This man of loves the business. Time. It starts you know? right here you know? tonight. 30 men, 30 women, all pour their heart and soul in that ring for one thing, and that's to live the dream, to go to WrestleMania in the main event of WrestleMania 40. Like I said, the biggest of all time, and that road starts here. On top of that, there are 40,000 plus- Sorry, I just want to listen to trips. maniacs out there that are about to blow the roof. Off of the what maniacs did he say? Field. So what's special about tonight? Everything is special about tonight. It all begins here. And like the man said, if you're going to come and you want to rumble, you better be ready for the Royal Rumble. So let me answer, <laughs> let me answer Wait a minute. your question Wait a minute. with a question. Are Come you Tuesday. Ready? No, 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 no. I said. Look at Come like. Are you, are you eating ready? pizza during a stream? Are you even a real streamer? Well, I normally don't eat on stream. I don't, but um, I've been in the hospital all day and I haven't eaten. So. Oh yeah, we're ready. Not hype after that from Triple H. Sorry. To say. I want to do it now before the show actually started. Before the Royal Rumble kicks off, and we are starting with the women, gentlemen. So oh. Forty thousand maniacs. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you for tuning in. Hulk Hogan's Here's making an appearance. WWE Hulk Hogan is is going to be here. Getting high. Enjoy the Royal Rumble, everybody. Thanks for watching.
Here we go! Is um let me know if audio for the show is okay. I turn it down. I'm so excited. I need this so bad. I'm so so excited. Let's go! There is a hair on my pizza. Shit. I don't know how it got there. Oopsies. Woo! Thank you for the super chat, Eric. First time here in the chat. I hope the Lions win tomorrow against the 49ers. Me too, dog. Welcome in, everybody. My name is Wheezy Blonde. My nails are blue because I need my nails blue in order for the Lions. I'm, I'm superstitious. The, li the Lions only win if my nails are blue. That's what we're doing. I've had a shit week. I've had an ass week. Actually, I don't think it's my hair. I think it's, I, it's, but I'm a hairstylist and I just pick hair off my food and eat it. I don't fucking care. If it's one hair, I don't care. Just get rid of it. The pizza was great. I want to eat more, but I won't. Oh, they are in St. Pete. Interesting. It's time! I've got my friend Nate there. I'm getting pictures from people, Snapchats from people that are there. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Hi, Zach. Hi, everybody. Jay Garcia. Welcome in, everybody. The Rumble is getting ready to start. We're going. We're doing the thing. I am here. I'm ready. I don't know what to expect. Miss Wheels, everything fine for me here? Good. Okay, cool. Imagine if all you hear after CM Punk wins is, I'm better than you, and you know it. I Don't say stuff like that to me, because I would love that. But I don't think I don't think that we're... Uh, I don't think that we're getting that, man. I, I don't. I don't think that that's what we're getting. Wheezy has Snap. I mean, I don't use it, but yeah, I have it. I literally don't use it for anything. I just have it. I was around when Snapchat was uh, invented. Hello? <laughs> I used it at one time. And, this place you know. Is special. Spent most of my whole life around these parts. Beautiful to look at. Fucking starting the show with Hulk Hogan. Rich with wrestling history. It's shaped some of the best. Dusty. So if you're gonna waltz okay. down here, it's double H. And kick the horns nest. Okay. I get, he lives in the he lives in the area. I get it. Hogan's beat shop, brother. You bet the Tampa crowd is booing right now. Probably. I would love to hear. They just showed Roxanne Perrette. Motherfuckers, quit spoiling shit. I don't want to fucking know. Don't, don't get, I don't want to fucking know who's in it. I am not like every other fucking little mark that's on Twitter right now that wants to know what's happening. I don't want to know. Quit telling me. I'm going to kick your ass out. This is your one warning. I will kick you out. So fast. Names are made. Legacy I ain't doing it. And tickets punched. Who's gonna man him at WrestleMania? Just wait and see. Is it political to say F Hogan? No, it's not. It's not. You wonder if Tiffany will enter the rumble? Oh, I'm not sure. You got pizza too? I think pizza is typically a good PLE, uh, a good a good Your YouTube chat's always an asshole. <clears throat> Hogan wins. Can you imagine? Oh my god. Can you freaking everybody loves a prize fight? I'm back. Did you Logan? Stone Cold did win three Royal Rumbles. You're right. Ada, I'm your favorite YouTuber. Thank you so much. I'm trying so hard to be good at it. It's very difficult. I found I I I'm trying to not let this one comment someone left on a podcast I was on the other day that I'm not good at podcasts because I know I'm not good at podcasts. That's why I don't go on them. People ask me all the time to be on their podcast and I I don't like being on them because I don't think I can think that fast. Um, yeah, I just, I, I don't, I'm not a good podcaster with as a guest or with multiple people because I also feel like I don't. Do I like the new presentation, like using phone footage for the superstars' arrivals to make it feel more natural? I do, because I think that that's the uh, I think that's the world we live in now. You know, that's the world we live in, and that's the way we consume things all the time. You know. No, Hogan. 
You're already watching on your TV, but you're popping in to say hi. You've been saying I was going to catch a stream, but never can tell now. Well, hi, Pretty Guardian. Thank you for popping in. I appreciate you. Good to see you. All right. Let's go. And now, Let's go. Cricket 5G and Suicide is... Squad kill the Justice Come on. <laughs> Let's get somewhere. Royal Rumble. Here we go. We are 70 days away Legend Killer, I'm literally fucking timing you out right now. And for the 37th time, I'm literally timing you out right now. Don't tell me. I mean, I feel like I feel like I shouldn't even be that upset because like it's inevitable that people are gonna do it, but like fucking stop. I'm five seconds ahead of you. Oh, I don't know why. I don't want to know who is rumored. Who looks to go back to back as a Rumble winner. The first man to do that in 26 years. But oh also hoping to finish his story. You should be asleep, but you're watching the stream. Watch the stream. Hang out. Be here. Be here. Yes, the top of the chat literally also says no spoilers. A spoiler is telling me who is rumored to be in the Rumble. If it wasn't announced on WWE television, I don't want to know. Where do I watch the Royal Rumble? Peacock. In a decade, it is an historic night. I've got goosebumps. Michael Cole, Corey Graves, and ringside. There is something in the St. Petersburg area. Michael Cole! We're talking about the sea salt. It's the energy. It is tangible. We are full speed ahead. You got ads? I'm sorry. For the it's the way of the world. Let's go. Two years in a row. I ought to... Pat McAfee's here. Pat McAfee's here. Pat McAfee's here. You guys. Smackdown's Smackdown's favorite favorite announcer. <laughs> Do we get him for the whole show? Like, is he is he announcing? What is he doing? Uh oh. Oh, he is. Fuck yeah! Yes! This is about to be... Oh, it's about to be so good. This whole show about to be so good! Yes! Look at that place. Will Aaron Rodgers show up? I feel like that's a very dumb question. <laughs> Can I actually say it? Can I actually say it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go! Samantha Irvin. Hell yeah. What an honor. Michael Cole is so happy. Look at the joy. Look at the pure joy on Michael Cole's face that Pat is here. He loves him. The best bromance. Look how happy he is. <laughs> oh, God. Hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah. My schedule open a tiny bit, and magic is on the way. Let's go up to Samantha Irvin. Hell yeah. Great pipe. Samantha Irvin's got it all. Let's go. All right. All right. The following is the women's Royal Rumble. Devin, thank you for the super chat, man. Can't read a whole lot of comments right now, but. This match begins with two superstars inside the ring. Every 90 seconds, another superstar will enter the match. Eliminations occur when a superstar is thrown over the top rope with both feet hitting the floor. The last remaining superstar will be declared the winner and will go on to main event, WrestleMania! Get chills, Cole. Natty is number one. Remember the time she was number 30? It was announced at number 30. We were just talking about that. This is my last pizza pizza, I promise. Also, I fucking love Natalia. I don't really stand for Natalia's slander. Uh, like, shut up. Like, genuinely shut up. 
number one could be a death. I got time for it. We are talking about I got the time for it. One of the most experienced women on the roster. Okay. A woman I'm done with the people. Extremely proud of her legacy, yet still after all these years, competes night after night all right, with we're good. a chip on her shoulder. This you met Natalia? Night. Natalia follows me on Instagram. Natty follows me on the Instagram. Legendary training grounds and if she goes wide water tonight here in Tampa, that'd be phenomenal because I'm already sweating and tired just from walking to the rink. Natalia, a history Look at the braids. Where did I get my pizza from? It's a place called The Lobber. In Rumble matches in her career. You ever been in the Rumble, Cole? Indeed. Our... I'm sure, sorry. An hour, huh? <laughs> what is going Pat on? goes, you ever been in the... I love Pat! And then he woke up. <laughs> At number two! At number two, she comes back! Hell yeah! I actually love her entrance oh, music, really? too. Oh, yeah! I'm so excited! <laughs> Welcome back, Naomi. <laughs> Look at the gear! Oh, it looks good. Oh, I'm so excited to see her back. Don't cry. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Incredible. Yet another sight that we didn't know if Bring we would ever see Michael no. Cole. We've already witnessed hell freeze over in the last few months. I what think I think be her being back, back, she and that's the thing, someone going away like that and reinventing themselves a little bit and getting a little bit more experience somewhere and then being able to come back, I really do feel like we appreciate them so much excuse me, pizza. I feel like we appreciate them so much more. So welcome back now. I'm so excited. I disagree with saying they needed to change her gimmick, though. She doesn't have something that... Look at her hair. Oh, my God. She doesn't have something that I feel like is one-dimensional. She can be whoever she wants to be as this gimmick. Now, look at Natty. so excited. Aww. Oh, I'm going to cry. What the fuck? <laughs> She's going to cry. Oh, <laughs> coming back at the Royal Rumble after being where she not there's nothing wrong with her being where she was, but this big of a, a stage and this big of a crowd. They actually said TNA. I would bet we're gonna see a lot of surprises that might have something to do with that, you know. From the spoilers that I've tried to fucking, you know. Avoid. Backdraft 2002, thank you for that subscription with Prime, buddy. I really appreciate that. Thank you for being here. Now treat her better. Exactly. There's a reason she's back. That, that uh, That's something I think you really got to take into account. There's a reason she's back. There's someone that's not here. So, you know. I see that her name is written in her hand. Get your hair out your face. I like the green. The more crowded the ring becomes, the more hazardous the situation is, the higher the risk is of being eliminated by somebody. And I saw someone else say that, uh, I saw someone else say that, oh, wait, hang on. This green shirt guy. I was wondering if he was going to be here. I haven't seen him in a while. Bailey's number three. Okay. Oh, I like the gear. That's my pick. That's my pick. That's who's winning. That's who I want to be winning. Well, the truth is this. The Royal Rumble, the one event that has eluded Bailey throughout her Bailey, ba hey, Bailey. She's got a little blue in her hair. Yeah, Bailey's number three. I know. Shoot. They dropped the new Pat Mac. Do we think Pat is coming back for announcing now that KP is gone? She would win the women's Royal Rumble match and challenge Rhea huh. Ripley at WrestleMania. What's that, Cole? Oh, and mm. dropping Bailey. That's a version of what she calls the rear view. No, don't think so. You hope so? 
I never really know. I don't think he has time, but, you know, you never know. You mentioned that damage control. I am excited that he's here. SmackDown, Corey, the Kabuki Warriors won the women's tag team titles. Io Sky, of course. What's that, Cole? Women's <laughs> champion. Last piece of gold that has eluded damage control is the one held currently by Rhea Ripley. Football is well, yeah, that's what I mean. College football is is over, you know. NFL is about to be over. So I mean, he was really doing a lot of the college football, but his show is every damn day, you know. Oh, look a sign. Look for look for wheezy signs. Look for wheezy signs, please. Okay. God, I love the fucking Royal Rumble, man. I love this so much. Who's next? Candice LeRae. And a former NXT oh, the crowd is so quiet. What the fuck? No! The oh, they're so quiet. They're so quiet. The she has a handful of appearances in her career. Oh, my God. Oh, that's disappointing. That sucks. That I feel bad for her too. That sucks. Right now, just teeing off on the role model. Haymakers to start the Royal Rumble for Candice. You mentioned this earlier. Winning the, this, this matchup can completely alter your entire career. Everything. Your entire family's life changes at the Royal Rumble. Candice is such Candace a good... Candice is an amazing Rumble. wrestler. Candice has a lot of experience. Ton of experience. The knee of and then the face, kick her right in the jaw. Got all four still here. No games. Oh, oh. oh, geez. Combination offense from Lorraine. Not only taking out Bailey, but Natalia as well. I just want to. I really am trying to hear some of the little things that Pat McAfee says because he's amazing. <laughs> yes, Caden. Carter and Katana Chance did lose the belts last night. Yes, um, the Kabuki Warriors are the new women's tag team champs. Wild, right? Fucking crazy. Absolutely crazy. So um, a lot of creators were on X today, Twitter, saying that if MJF showed up tonight that they would do such and such. And I think... Not to bring up Santi, but he, um, I think he said that he was going to go to like a sex shop and buy like a, pa a pair of like edible underwear and eat it live on stream. Other people were saying that they were going to donate $50 to something. So, I mean, if you can come up with something good, maybe I'll do it. See, you know, here's the thing. I normally would be fucking stoked for this. And I would have a crazy reaction, right? But some motherfucker on Instagram posted a picture of Jordan Grace with a Royal Rumble emblem and then said in the caption, spoiler alert. And then I had people in the chat twice bring up that Jordan Grace was going to be here. So I cannot authentically fucking be like, oh, I'm actually, I'm actually just angry that I, that I am aware that this was happening. It's so cool that she's fucking here. Like, that's amazing. That's absolutely fucking amazing. Jordan Grace is a beast. I love her. She looks... Look at her gear. She's a tank. You know, um... TNA. TNA and WWE. TNA and WWE. So cool. I'm so excited to see what happens and where this goes. Like, fuck yeah, good for you, girl. Like, look at Nia Naomi and her. The history. Look it. Look how fucking cool this is. <laughs> Okay, the moment's over. Back to it. You can exchange pleasantries after the match is over. It is every I wonder. I, I'm, I'm thinking it might be a, a partnership of some sort. I am. I do. And Jordan yeah. Grace powering Naomi up and dropping her right yeah. in the back of her neck. 202 TNA wrestler, TNA wrestlers, but Naomi did just debut as Naomi. So... She is Jack. She's a beast. I love her. She's such a re Jordan Grace is such a realist. Um, I'm a an Olympic weightlifter, and I spend about an hour, hour and a half in the gym. And there are people that spend like four fucking hours, and they think that that's what it is. Jordan Grace is a legitimate athlete, bodybuilder, whatever, what have you. And it's like, what do people fucking do that they're in the gym for four hours? And I, I just, she's such a realist. I love her. Oh, Candice LeRae's gonna have an ally. 
I love Indy. Come on, Indy. Come on, Indy. Fuck shit up. Let's go. I do love Indy. So many emotions. Roni, are you okay? <laughs> are you okay? Are you okay? I see everyone over on the, on the tube, over on YouTube, talking about how Bailey's the gal. I understand. I do, I do understand. I'm with you. I'm with you. Now the double team with a Indy's very pretty, Indy yes. Hartwell, I want, um, you know who I also would love tonight? I would love Dexter Loomis. Love Dexter Loomis. He's a little busy, a little busy right now, but... Someone take a picture? Only one of you can go to WrestleMania if you win this match. Never been two winners? You don't know Jordan. You only know WWE stars. That's okay. You don't have to. Not everyone is going to. That's the thing. They don't, they don't do, they're not, they don't, they didn't do that thinking that everyone would know. Dexter's under the ring. He's going to come out and help very soon. <laughs> he's busy fighting fire. What's the name of that show he's on? As is Lorraine. It gives it does give you a chance to get to know her. That's the it, that is the best way, Jet Spider Man, to look at something like that. Like, hey, I don't know who that is, but I'm open to getting to know who she is. Right? That's the best way. That's the best way. I know. I see all of the comments of I want AJ Lee. I, I, I know. I know, guys. I know. Oh, Candice is outside the ring. I don't see if she went over the top rope. Oscar. Oh, oh, yes. Look at Bailey. Look at they look how they zoom in on Bailey. She's a bit surprised. Bailey went, what? Yeah, she's surprised. Bailey. Well, she's the one person without gold in the group of damage. Oh, look at that face paint. Why is it okay to be excited for Indy and Candace to be BFFs on the way to WrestleMania? But Asuka here to come to the aid of the leader of damage. I'm sorry if I'm a few seconds ahead of you guys. There's no, there's really nothing I can do about that. With Kyrie Sane on Friday Night SmackDown, she won the Royal Rumble event back in 2018. Oscar's gonna try and get Bailey out the ring, or she's gonna use her to try and get all these people out and then turn on her. Oh, there's so many things that could happen. God, I fucking love the Royal Rumble. I don't know how many times I can say it. That's my thing. High five, Oscar! There, and I also love Oscar's short hair. Oscar wanted nothing to do with it. I thought they were friends. Yeah. Well, part of the same group. Maybe Dr. Dent from Win I don't, I can't read what you said. Now targeting I now switched over here because you were too far ahead of me on Twitch and it was ruining it for you, but I'm ahead here, so it's all good. Okay, Murray, whichever works for you, bud. <clears throat> What's on now? The Women's Royal Rumble. Get her, Indy. Come on, Indy. Oscar wouldn't help you. Do not eliminate Indy. No, 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 this will be Shit. number eight in the Rumble match. Ivy Nile. <laughs> I do like Ivy Nile, don't get me wrong. <laughs> well, for the first time in her career. Do, 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 do. Indy going first kind of makes sense. I hate it though. You just pause the video. I think on YouTube you can. Uh, I don't think you can on Twitch, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, Bailey did save Asuka, and that was a mistake. Absolutely. Absolutely. Nate sexy me. Dude, they had seats to fill in the handicap section. I'm literally sitting next to the timekeeper. Picture. Nate is sitting next to the timekeeper. We gotta look for Nate. We gotta look for Nate. We gotta look for Nate. We need to stand off between Jordan and Ivy. Do it. Thank you for the information, this random dad. No, I, you're good. You're good. You're good. <clears throat> some, well, it's, sometimes it does take me a minute for the themes to click. Some of them I know right away, some I don't. So Ivy right off the bat is not one that I, I know by the sound. 
risky situation. You usually want to avoid coming off yeah, the YouTube, ropes you can't okay. on the ropes or being too close to the ropes in a Royal Rumble match. Stay toward the center. And obviously it goes without saying for a, a match of this caliper, we can't do predictions. So. Look at look at Michael Michael Cole flexing. You hear him? Nonetheless, this is number four seconds. This is number nine. She's a former tag team champion. She just lost the, the championship. She just lost. This type of match may be built for her, Corey. Oscar, I like Asuka's old theme too. They're up to seven. They're at nine. We're at nine right now, y'all. Anyone else notice the good and evil theme Barry, uh, Bailey is wearing? I like her gear, but it didn't. Oh, you know what? You're right. So if you guys pay attention to what Bailey is wearing, look at how it's split. And it does very much look like the right side of her gear is reminiscent of her gear in the past when she was the hugger. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? Good call out. Who, who, who said that? I can't, I can't find it now, but... Hey, there's a sign that says, let's go Lions! A lot of real estate to work with inside the ring. It's getting full in a hurry. Double vertical suplex here. Look at, uh, is that Ivy? Is that Ivy and Jordan? Hell yeah. What a moment. That's fucking cool. I love that. Oh, oh, she <laughs> fumbled a little. Bingo. Yeah, look at Jordan and Ivy. It's impressive. every time. Yikes. Big kick from Grace connects. Rock and Ivy Nile and look like Oscar Oscar's in trouble over again. Them. Yeah, other side of the By ring. Natty. Natalia trying to eliminate the Empress of Tomorrow. Who again won this match back in 2018. Number 10, a third of the way through. All right, here we go. I'm on my own. I guess the wall. The EST of WWE. Back in 2021. I never needed. Woo! Mama! Look at her gear! Woo! There's a Santi sign! <laughs> you see it to the left? Oh no, it's a Santino! Hold on! Now I'm confused. Is it Santi or is it Santino or did they do that purposely? Mm, I'm confused. <laughs> Santino's daughter is an NXT, yes. Oh, oh, shoot. Look at Bailey keeping on bringing her back in. Santino is, he is in TNA, you're right. That lion sign, though. Yeah. Yes, Ariana Grace. That's her name. Couldn't think of it. This looks like two different levels of WWE 2K right now. Hey, wait a second. Yeah, Bailey, who's had quite the rivalry with Bianca Belair over the years. <sighs> Bianca looking good. Bianca ducks underneath, and there's the power of the EST. And Bianca putting on a show. If you guys bring up the ads one more time, I'm going to mute you. Shut up. Do this every time. Woo! Number eleven, and now damage control has all the numbers. There's the other half of the women's Michael Cole. Michael Cole, me and you in sync, buddy. In sync. See, you've been speculating. Everyone's been trying to drive a wedge in damage control. Das Foos, thank you for the sub, dude. The, only question, if this the pirate princess, yeah, I haven't heard this in a hot minute. I haven't heard that in a hot minute. 
Well, Bailey survives because Bianca. Hey, money, what do you mean something's fishy? Shoulders, Kyrie Sane Wh from the which part? Which part? Tell me what you're thinking. Well, I certainly had her hands full with all of damage control. Kyrie, no oh, exception. Oh, and just the wow. I just, uh, Bianca's theme, man. It's slaps. Slaps. <laughs> Standing tall, middle of the ring, and Bailey with a massive smile on her face. But she's proud of him. Bailey's pumped about it. It's been a. I feel like the end is going to come down to... What if... Maybe Dakota's 30. Maybe Dakota's 30. And then it ends up all damage control in the ring at the end. And they try... They try to eliminate her. I don't know. Oh, now my wheels are turning. Now my wheels are turning. What advantage to have an entire team in the Royal Rumble. Three on one right there. What happens if it comes down to those three, however. You don't know oh, that. She could be good to go. You just don't know. Notice how only one person has gotten eliminated and the ring is filling up. Jade. You just gave me chills at the thought of Jade. Like, I, I have a feeling that um, Jade would, would be, obviously, in this tonight. But that's the thing is we won't know what her we don't we won't know what her theme is. So it's going to be a moment of until the name hits the Titan, right? Juggernaut here. Talking about the match, the company, the stadium. <laughs> oh, my shit's buffering. That's why it's such, the a, good such a good descriptor. I kind of forgot Arsenal about J2. Well, there's Ford just been Ford. so many, the you know, um, speculations, Bailey, right? There's Still just been the so match. many. Bailey, however, over the top I wouldn't be shocked that TNA is working with this show. Right, I mean, on, oh, maybe, maybe I take that back. Indy and Candace, you know? Both members of the way. Are on their way out of the world. Look at Bailey Rumble shaking first. her head. Nice. Jordan, well Jordan's grabbing huh? at Bailey. Huh? All right, who we got? Number 12. Uh, is, the is it Tegan? The shiniest wizard. Tegan Knox. Without right, Natalia right. has an ally. What does that shiniest wizard actually pertain to, Michael Cole? Like one of those pewter wizards? I love like Tegan's hair, man. So good. It's not the first time Wizards TNA and WWE have right? worked together. Luckily, uh, if Naomi yeah. wins, I would be surprised but also happy. I'd be fine with it. I'd be fine with it. I want to do something fun with my hair. I want to be Dakota Kai, you guys. I want to do some cute shit. But I also am low maintenance, and uh, fun colors are high maintenance. <laughs> Hope TNA would air on USA Network or Paramount or any network. Yeah, it would be much easier to watch. Much easier to watch. I subscribe. Well, that's a lie. I subscribe to uh, Ring of Honor. The superstars walk right in front of me when they're eliminated. I just met Indy and Candace. What? Look at this raw what? power. What was that? My goodness. And now Natalia trying to save her friend, Tegan Knox. My friend went to the show. He's there by himself. Having a good time. So he's, you know, oh, telling me what's going on. Line. <laughs> Granted, I know a lot of people that are there, but Natalia, imagine if Victoria out. returned. I love Victoria. Uh, I think Nate better. did meet Indian Canvas. Yep. Oh! Ah, Natty! Oh no! No, she just got here! Oh, Bailey! This is your fault! This is your fault, Natalia! You gotta feel terrible! Natty's like, oh. All Natalia's fault, karma so quick. Karma! Your fault. And this is number 13, and Katana Chance. Just getting all the teams out here. Just getting all the teams. All the teams. These are all tag teams. <laughs> These are all tag teams. <laughs> I, um, you know, Naomi's uh, gimmick was, it's very similar to to Caden and Katana. Simon Miller in the Rumble. <laughs> you were proud of Tegan until that happened? Oh, she, she got cheated. She got cheated. Natty just hugged you. Oh my God! Nathan! Nate just got a hug. I'm gonna, this is going to happen the whole match. Someone's going to get eliminated, and then we're going to get an update from Nate over who he just met and what happened. <laughs> Just the 
Kyrie, dude, the fact that she's able to fucking do that. I say that's terrifying. <laughs> Was it shoulders ab? What is it? Oh, oh okay. No, fuck. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. I was thinking, you know, at the end we were gonna have all damage control, but no. Okay. They had a plan. They are centering this story right now in the, about about Bailey. Really. She didn't. Well, inevitably. It's Chelsea. Chelsea Green. Chelsea Green with a very unique rumble outfit. What's the rumble out? What is She always has the best gear. Never mind that she's just fucking beautiful and she always looks nice and I want to be her and I want to look like her and I want her body and just everything in general. But like I want to go to the place that did her nose job. Like, I just, I want to be her. Don't you fucking dare! But she lands on the apron and she's already lasted longer than last year. And now Bianca sends her to the other side. Chelsea hanging out. Stop! No! No! She learned. Oh! Chelsea taking out Bianca. How fired up is Green tonight? And Jordan Grace with a spine buster. Hey, Jordan and Chelsea. Spine buster, whatever. Still in the I do want to be like her. What do you What do you mean the puking face with Chelsea Green? What the fuck? What What is anybody's anybody's reaction to Chelsea Green a puking face? What? God, she's strong. Holy shit, there's two strong ladies right there. Ooh. She's not busted. Who in the fuck thinks Chelsea Green is busted? What is your idea of a beautiful woman? Like, what the fuck? You're gonna be single forever. I don't. Oh god, she was in for a long time. Fucking part of her hair came out. <laughs> I, I'm still I'm still stuck on people like saying that Chelsea Green is decent. You guys are fucking on crack. Absolutely on fucking crack. We're now officially halfway through the women's Royal Rumble, and Chelsea Green has a It's all the tag teams right now. I I don't I, I really am not. I get that we have a lot to get through, but like we're just introducing every tag team member one after the other. All right. Yep. And now Carter and Chance sending Chelsea Green off the apron, but Piper Niven catching Chelsea. Don't you drop Chelsea. Don't you drop Chelsea. <laughs> oh, that was so sweet of her. Piper <laughs> Green, and now the powerhouse, Piper Niven, enters the fray. It's on a chance, May stand. No chance against the power of Piper Niven. Oh. Well, with the tag teams, though, uh, Carter and Chance won the tag titles from Piper and Chelsea. Let's not forget that. You see the time now of Naomi. She entered this matchup at number two, over 26 yes. minutes so far in this matchup. Bailey over 24 minutes. Bianca over 11. Mm. Piper Niven's wrecking shop. Oh, do you see that little timer they had in the top Piper corner Niven. that was uh, showing how long? Everyone's been in. No That's kind of cool. Left. That's cool. Oh, what a back I like that. By Piper. <clears throat> but if an angle slam. And now with Naomi caught out of midair and slammed to the mat. Still got number one in. Piper and Niven. Just I remember what my number was. Force. What was my number? Nate Certainly said he's crying. This entire thing here. <laughs> he's having. I'm so happy for him. Making he's having such rounds. a good time. My number was 13. Oh, okay. Chelsea oh, ended up taking it. Backfired spectacularly. Oh no. And Naomi surviving there. Big brain move by Naomi. Dragging herself out of harm's way. And now, Caden Carter. 
Very feisty individual. Belair now goes after Piper, Piper McNiven, and also Ivy Nile. Gonna see this a lot tonight at the Royal Rumble. Try to take out the biggest threat. Let's do this as a team. No, my number is 13 for the women's and 15 for the men's, Sam. <laughs> I just looked. Royal Rumble matches haven't fared extremely well okay. because they get ganged up on like this. If you have power, you're a target. And this is number it's time for someone big. Out of the field of 30. Zia Lee. <laughs> Zia Lee in the ever dangerous spin kick. Ivy outlasted Jordan. The up. fuck must Fucking not be sword. that great of a relationship. She's leaving it, okay? She had to go at some point. What the fuck do you mean? Down through the statistics, fourth the what the fuck you mean? What in the hell is the word squinched, Murray? Squinched. Oh. <laughs> Wait, is Naomi back? Yes, Samuel. She sure is. I didn't even see what Zaya is wearing. Where'd, the, where'd she go? Oh, there she is. She looks like a shark. She looks like a shark. Fist, feet, slams. Zaya's got it all. Nice throw by Zaya as Naomi now turns her attention to Bianca Belair. Chelsea Green. Uh, in India, a skating show is being broadcasted. It's WWE. I'm sorry. If you subscribe Chelsea to me and you're in my Discord, here. you can join the watch party there. Chelsea ends up kicking Piper, her friend. I believe that was completely unintentional. She did it again. Oh! And down goes What if Green. Dakota Kai joins? What if? Bailey's still hanging in there. I like that move in the Royal Rumble because is Naomi back for good or a one-off? I don't really know, guys. I'm not really sure. The fact that she has come back as Naomi would uh, tell me that she's back for good, I would say. I think if she were to come to the WWE and from from TNA, I would imagine that she would go by Trinity. But that's just how where, where my thinking comes from. I think that would make more sense. Succeeding in a Royal Rumble Notice there's barely any legends that proves the women's number. division is stacked. I agree with you, actually. Well, me and Santi were talking about that on his podcast this week. <clears throat> that they really don't need legends. They really don't. They have such a good roster. Zelina. Oh, my. She's such a nerd. I love it. <laughs> You have the same one at home, don't you, Cole? Yeah. <laughs> what do you What do you call it? He wears it in the pool with the dogs. I don't know. It's strange. Drink a little whiskey from the LWO. Zelina used to follow you. Why doesn't she anymore? What'd you do? Do we know who is number thirty? No, and we shouldn't want to fucking know. Stop. Tag team champion Vega now. Just trying to get in the match. A world of experience. Vega from the middle rope. Oh, Meteora! Yeah, yeah, can you stop being a freak? Literally. <laughs> and a nice knee by Zelina Vega as well. Why is Katana trying to hit Vega everyone so small by fi What defense. the fuck does that mean? Vega, she's trying to hit people because she's trying to look. Was that Zelina that pointed at the WrestleMania sign? That's the first one to do it. Her quickness and and smacking Piper right in the mouth. Yeah, we didn't think it was a good idea. As we were smacking her right in the mouth. It, Piper turns it around. <laughs> Pat McAfee, ma'am. Caught by Piper. Couldn't quite get up over Oh, the Indy top. did too? I didn't see that shit. And now... Oh, oh, Zelina! Wow. What a reversal. Wow. By Zelina Vega. I want to have abs like Zelina, Zelina Vega as I just ate pizza. I was a little pervert just because so people in Santi's chat can act like this don't mean ago, he can do it here. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. I just don't talk like that. I just, I just don't. Maxine! Oh, Maxine's gear. Everyone's gear is so fucking fire. He just tried to do the dupe. <laughs> Michael Cole's voice just cracked trying to do dupe. The master teacher. And Let's go, Maxine. I love the pink. Ah, oh, thank you. Asked Chad Gable about what he thought of Maxine's What's my Discord? Uh, if you go to my latest YouTube video, the link should be in there. 
Not quite sure how to take that. <laughs> Nor was I. That's what is going on? Academy, though. Oh. And now uh, Maxine sending Bailey flying across the ring again and yet another. Yeah, Maxine, get your moment, girly. It's like when someone <laughs> sets you up on a blind date and you ask come on, they look come like on. and they tell you, oh, they got a come on. now. Come on, Maxine. <laughs> no, come on, Maxine. Yeah, a lot, my life. <laughs> no. What? They say good I, I like the I like the possum defense. No way. They yeah, there we go. Maxine playing a little possum. Well, it's impossible to go over the top rope if you lay on the ground. You see. That would be your strategy. Bingo! There's and Code Red coming. Again going for the Code Red. Not able to deliver. Not Back happening. Oh, now a little bit of an assist. Again, temporary alliance. God, everybody's gear. I just, matchup. everyone's gear looks so good. Cool. being the operative word. So fucking good. Bianca said, hey, it works. So maybe we try to eliminate Nia together. Well, the best thing is, is the, the ring is full of stars and they're all on the current roster. And I personally really love that. I think that's great. I love it. I love it. I love it. We've had quite a, a turnaround, I, I think. They're working on it, man. They're working on it, right? We do this thing sometimes. We talk together at the same time. I think it's like an anime thing. That's because you guys got such good brains. And Kate and Carter trying to Even Naomi. It's rare seeing this ring full of stars, and I love it. Even Naomi. What do you mean about? What do we? What do you mean, even Naomi? It does feel like Jake time or Nia Jax. Let's see what we get. Watch it be neither, but. We're, we're at 19. I told you. Nia you. you got a crystal ball over there, Cole? Me and Michael Cole. Me and Michael Cole. We're the same person. <laughs> we're the same person. I'm not going to argue with you for a moment, Cole. We know how dangerous this woman is. You got a crystal ball? Yeah, that's what he Last year, Nia Jax Pat entered this matchup at number 30. F that, I want Lita and Trish. I mean, there's nothing wrong with having Lita and Trish, but at this point, just a few legends. We didn't need to have an entire rumble of legends, like, you know? Where's Jade Cargill? Look, we don't even know that we're going to get Jade Cargill. Hey, Travis, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Came in I'm clearly backstage in number 30. Stop it. Oh, there's Zaya. If they eliminate Naya, like, nope, 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 there goes Ivy. She's going to get Ivy. Ooh, there she goes. There's a twofer. Do more, do more, do more. Chelsea's pointing at her like, I got her, I got her. And she's taking victory laps. No. No. Like no. Again? Nia. Piper got out of the way again. Well, typically with Nia, it's like they, they could get like six people and they eliminate her altogether. Piper looking to outpower Nia Jax. Piper. No, right. It's amazing not to have an entire rumble of. She was eliminated in five seconds last Not going to lie, you miss having Jerry Lawler change his pick every three entries. <laughs> it took 11 women to eliminate Nia last year. Well. Piper, it ain't going to work. You got to get some of the smelling salts, I think. The smelling salts. Who the fuck is yelling? You hear that? One guy. And right now, <laughs> they're even they're reacting to it. Size advantage becomes a disadvantage. Nia Jax, for the Did Ivy get split open? Target for the rest of the ring. And Chelsea Green is still oh, and Chelsea just about destroyed. Piper, do your friend a favor, pick her up and toss her out of the ring. Oh, Chelsea, oh shit! Oh, no. oh god. Stacking bodies. This is what I don't like about Nia. What, that she's a fucking beast? She looks good. Yeah! Shotzi. Look, 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 look. Uh, we're not going to talk about this all fucking night, but the 
<laughs> Never mind. Whatever. If you guys want to talk about Nia Jax being unsafe, fucking do it. I don't care at this point. I got the fucking energy. I got the fucking energy. There's a bunch of drunk pirates outside in Tampa. A bunch of drunk pirates outside. Pat McAfee, dog. Ooh, splits. Her hair came back. I don't know if it's hers. I've, I've lost track of time. I've lost track of time. No, that's Not definitely hers. Maxie backwards. So can we call it a different animal? The reverse caterpillar. <laughs> what did he say? What did he say? What did he say? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Did I miss Chelsea getting eliminated? Get rid of oh, he said a larva. The heat. Yup. Yup. Oh, you think she just rolled out? Okay. I was gonna say I didn't see her get eliminated. Then. Oh. There's Maxine. Bye bye. We're, we're, we're due for someone big. We need, like, I could see, well, especially with Nia. Okay, so Nia's looking real strong right now. She's clearing house. She's about to eliminate fucking Piper. Okay, there she goes. So we need someone big. Like, and I think someone just said it. Like a Becky. A Jade. Something's happening. Tamina, that'd be cool. I mean, I think that'd be cool, but I don't think everyone else would think that's cool. I don't think AJ Lee makes sense. I really don't. Um, I, I don't think AJ Lee's coming out at all. That could age terribly. That could age terribly. Because, again, I don't fucking know anything. I don't pretend to. The man. Well, we know the, the man's coming at something. Okay. All right. All right. What they have. Number 21 on her way. There's the man. Okay. We're so good at this. <laughs> hey, Bex. This looks good. It is thunderous in here. I got... Why do I have the chills? Woo. And Nia's ready. You keep calling it. I'm I'm kind of good at this. <laughs> I'm kind of good at this. Mrs. Seth Rollins? Nah. Becky fucking Lynch, dog. Mrs. Seth Rollins. That's Becky Lynch. That's Becky Lynch. Success and creation that just broke this pen. Becky Lynch now trying to climb to the top rope. Nia Jackson is in trouble. Becky Lynch missile drop kick. Down goes Nia. Come on, Bex. Zelina trying to make something happen at the expense of Lynch. Same for Shotzi. Same oh, result. Oh, oh. Becky taking out Zelina and Shotzi. Becky is so electric. This whole dynamic change. As soon as her music hit. Exploder suplex to Bailey. And yeah, what a history between these two. I also love Bex. You're surprised Bailey is still in? I'm not. The intended target. Right, Chelsea must have slipped out. Hey, look at this. Becky, I'm sorry, Corey. But Becky using Nia Jax as a weapon. We'll see a, a Becky and Bailey moment. I thought Chelsea Green was eliminated. She was laying on the floor outside the ring, but. There she goes. Oh, come on, Chelsea. Come on, Chelsea. You went over the top rope, girly. Chelsea, you did great, girly. You did great, girly pop. Okay, 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 okay. Jade. Never mind. Who the fuck is this? Jade, <laughs> I don't know their music. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> fire me. <laughs> Alba fire. All right. <laughs> it sounded important. Wish you could see what's happening. Cheryl, I'm sorry. I can't. Sh it's copyright. I can't fucking share the screen with you. Welcome to the internet. Uh, if you want to watch, you gotta get Peacock. 
seen it with their own eyes. Alba, former NXT. Or UK find someone else that's bootlegging it that has Justin nothing to lose. <laughs> oh, nice move. I got a little too much to lose, dog. Every time I hear a song I don't recognize, I be thinking it's JT Mac. You just made me feel so seen. Thank you. Because <laughs> me too. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh! Alba Fire doubling up on Zelina. Bailey has been in for 40 minutes. Naomi's been in for 42. Bianca's been in for 27. Those are the three that have been here the longest. I don't even remember what number Bianca was. But I mean, I know Naomi was one. Bailey was. Oh, not Naomi wasn't fucking one. She was two. The hell was Bailey? Three? I've already seen a couple streams get taken down because of them sharing the screen. Yeah, because you can't do that. You can't do that. Short night for the man. Oh, and Nia Jax just flooring out the Peacock fire. password? No. No, dog. That's not how this works. Almost unbelievably, Naomi's still holding strong inside Not just the you. Ring. You also thought it was Jade? Okay, cool. <laughs> it was just a question, and it was just an answer. It was just an answer. A little bit too early of a celebration from Nia Jax, but she's feeling herself. It is illegal. Yeah, the it is. performance thus far by Nia Jax. Incredible. Same for Bailey and Naomi. Naomi Jade is number Bailey 30, probably. I could see it. I could. I could see it. not mention the EST, who's been doing her thing for quite some time right now. Right. You were questioning the sack sheets. At number 23. Shayna. The submission magician. The submission magician. It will also. It wouldn't. It wouldn't shock me if Jade was. I. I do have it on Discord. Yeah, but the thing about Discord is, to to view the watch party. I mean, I could. I don't know if I can turn off. The submission magician. Usually for PLEs, I let everyone watch, but you have to be subscribed to me. Shayna Baszler posted earlier that she just bought a new Ford Mustang. A the raccoon. Is she still doing the raccoon makeup? Women's champ, two-time WWE tag team champion. And Baszler with an I mean, there was someone on uh, Twitch that I saw. It was like the second suggested. Oh, yeah, it's gone now. <laughs> it's gone now. They took that down real fucking quick. Real quick. Ow. Beast. Shayna Baszler. Shayna Baszler. The beast. 13, I should say. 14 career eliminations. Sometimes my Third posture time, reminds you of Gru. Thank you. At 20 more eliminations than any Boca woman banana. in the Royal Rumble match. Oh. And there's Shotzi with a cross body to Becky. Rio went wire to wire last year. A lot of opportunity to do things great. She did. Who's going to seize that opportunity this year? Oh, how satisfying would it be for Bailey to be the one to eliminate Bianca Belair? For Could we Royal see Rumble? Alexa Bliss return? I don't think so. Bailey pounding away at the fingers of Belair. This is number 20. They're counting a little fast. Oh my god. Valhalla? I'm begging her to be wearing the antlers. Please have the antlers on. It's been weeks. Uh, yes! <laughs> yes! You yes! can tell that Pat or that Michael Cole has Pat McAfee energy right now because what he just fucking said. We were kidding. He's still looking for Tom and Nick. Or? We were kidding. Where's Nick? Nia's gonna fuck him up. <laughs> Adam's like, dude, what are you doing, dog? She yells, I know! Yes, that's why it's the women's royal double. They're all Immediately? Well, Valhalla had a moment. Uh, does that count as an elimination? Yes! Well, I don't know about his match, but now we'll see if he shows up in the men's or not. <laughs> oh, God. What am I watching this on? Peacock. Do you guys not like have the subscription? I, mean, I don't understand. Five seconds. It's okay. And, uh, and, and truth, even though he, I guess, officially was never in, it was 13. Sorry, that Viking just walked by me and kind of uh, scared the hell out of me. Five seconds. So the, the, the five seconds by Valhalla will now tie her with Chelsea Green 
for the least amount of time ever in a Royal Rumble match. How long did our truth last in a women's Royal Rumble? 13. That's what I just said, Pat. I wasn't listening. The Viking was staring at me with no answers. Me Number 25. Meechin entering her third. I want better for Meechin, too. I fucking love her. I just want Valhalla to be Sarah Logan, honestly. I sound like everybody else right now. I hate that. Oh, what? Woo! Oh my God. I'm telling you, Meechin is highly motivated lately. Recently took EO Sky to the limit in a championship match. Meechin's first of her career in WWE. Oh. Truth the first male to compete in two rumbles in the night? Maybe. Watch this. Maybe, maybe. What a waste of R-Truth's talent. Number, I don't know, we're on 23, 24. Just a hip check to two adults. Who's that, Alba? Oh, 25. I mean, what do you do? The children that are, that are, that Did Mia Yim get released? Oh, that's what she made him look like. Oh, you man. See? No. Oh, I love this. Watch this. Oh! Fall. And Alba's done. Is fire. The dark arts, the dark Becky talking to the ref after that throat shot. Naomi almost 50 minutes in this Royal Rumble match. What, uh, I wasn't paying attention. Bianca Belair well over There's so much going on. A half hour in the Royal Rumble. Michael, Michael. Hi, Bailey. Why are you in this? Watch me win this. She may, I mean. Nia Jax was letting Cole know some stuff. Zoe Stark. Here we go. Things about to get a little more intense with the arrival. This could be the dark horse. Mm -hmm. I was about to say that. Naomi has been, well, Naomi, so, so far, Naomi and Jordan Grace have been the, the, the biggest things, you know, to happen. But even still, I'm, I'm really happy about this card. I'm really happy about the roster. Like. drop kick to me, Chin. And Zoe Stark now with a close line. Jade has to be 30 at this point. Big surprise for the end. Well, someone on YouTube actually just pointed out, and I do agree. We do still have Liv Morgan. Um, you know. As of late, as you take a look at the we have Liv Morgan. And the power she could be here. She could not. I don't, you know. I don't really feel strongly one way or the other. Hey, Bailey. Ooh. But instead, we're talking ah. about... Carmella, maybe? I think it's too early for Carmella. Yeah, I don't, I don't see Carmella yet. Stephanie, I'd die. Alexa, I don't quite think it's time for Alexa either. I actually forget when Alexa had the baby. Um, but I, I do think it's still a little early for them. Bliss, I'm not sure. I forget how long it's been. I don't know how many months. November, Dece December? No, that's too early. That's too early. Oh, and Zoe Stark. No, and Selena Vega. I hate to say it, but thank God for Alba Fire. I thought, no, Alexa had her baby earlier than Carmella. Caught with a straight body. That was deja vu that Shayna Baszler was involved in a battle royal some time ago. Oh, I forgot about Raquel. I don't. Wasn't Raquel was injured, right? I also, yeah. Well, let's see what happens now. Hang on. <laughs> We're blabbing. Roxanne Perez. We haven't, and you know what? I honestly, I kind of expected more NXT entrance. Uh, is this the first one? And we're almost at 30. Yeah, eight weeks is is eight weeks is pretty soon after postpartum. It takes a while to bounce back. I, I think typically about twelve weeks is, is 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 the earliest that someone really comes back after pregnancy. Um, yeah. I understand a lot of you don't know how that works. <laughs> That's a big traumatic thing for your body to go through. Oh, 
it's not just it's not just a bump guys it's not someone just said alexa could easily do a short short time with a small bump at this point it's not the bump it's literally what your body went through it's not what your body looks like or, or a bump or, or you know having residual fat after having a baby it's literally your fucking uterus pushing out a goddamn baby it's a lot your body goes through a lot and a lot of changes <laughs> There's Shayna. Nia Jax is putting on a hell of a performance tonight. And now Meechin sent out by the irresistible force. Someone just said the crowd is dead. I mean, they're, we haven't had a, you know. one woman wrecking crew in this Royal Rumble. They're letting the lull happen, and then something big is going to happen. That's at least six eliminations if I'm counting right for Nia. It's got to be. Jordan's hair is still there, I saw. <laughs> Every time that that happens, I don't expect there to be people on the outside of the ring, and I just think that... Whose weave fell out? It was um, Jordan's. Okay, okay. Perfect perfect moment here. She's got the crowd pissed at her. It's Jade Cargill! Fuck yeah! I love you so much. You're so goddamn pretty. You're such a goddamn beast. Yeah! 28. Okay. Look how... I remember when she first debuted in AEW, and I was like, look at that specimen. Look at that specimen. She dressed up as Chitara. I think it was at All In or All Out. I don't fucking remember which one it was. But... I am in love with Jade Cargill. Just, I want... That physique! Look at her! And she eats Kit Kats! <laughs> Look at that. Nia's like, eh. Okay. Eliminate Nia. That would be huge. Huge. If they had her eliminate Nia on her fucking own. Statement. Statement. Was that her AEW theme? Look, listen to the holy shit. Listen to the holy shit. From AEW, has barely made appearances on WWE TV. No, 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 no. Come on, Jade. Come on, Jade. Yes! Look at <laughs> God damn. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get her, get her. Oh my God, just picking her up. On her fucking own. <laughs> yeah, look at Becky's face. <laughs> oh, I love it. She's gonna eliminate Becky. She's gonna eliminate Becky. Fuck yeah. Oh, 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 no, 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 Bailey! Damn. Yes, Jade. Fuck yeah. Now, what happens after that? Come on. Come on, come on. What do you do after that? Come on. Come on. Tiffany Stratton. Whoa, look at the gear. I just, everyone's gear is so good. Hi, Barbie. Okay, so we got two from NXT at the very end. Tiffany Stratton at 29. God, that gear. Come on, Tiffy. Come on, Tiffy. Now everyone's, now everyone is talking 30. Everyone, we're at, we're at 30 now. So I see all the chat. I see you guys. I see AJ Lee. I see AJ Lee. I see Liv Morgan and AJ Lee, Liv Morgan, AJ Lee, Liv Morgan. I want there to be a fucking swerve. That's neither of them. I see someone saying Banks. Banks, Morgan, AJ Lee. I almost just for shits and giggles want to do a prediction. I want to do it. Fuck it. 
and Roxanne Perez to Fuck it. And it, if it's none of them, you get your points back. If it's none of them, oh, you know what? Lies. I'm gonna put a none option. Predictions are up on on Twitch, y'all. Predictions are up. This next generation is. May the odds be ever in your favor. Absolutely. May the odds be ever in your favor. Nate just is like, I think I'm dead after Jade's entrance. Oh my God, his seats are amazing. Ah! Would you like to? Would you like to play a game? Would you like to play a game? Put your pizza points where your mouth is. <laughs> Oh my god. Tippy time. Okay. 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 Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Big advantage here. On our way. It's Liv Morgan. <laughs> oh my goodness. Welcome back, Liv. <laughs> All right. I gave you if you if you predicted live you got you you got your pizza points <laughs> when we get down to the last few uh we'll do a prediction again uh for who, who wins okay that's that's kind of how we'll run it anticlimactic <laughs> oh goodness I feel very vilified because I did not think that AJ Lee was returning. Uh, I was pretty vocal about that. I don't act very confident in it, but like, I, just because CM Punk is here doesn't mean that AJ Lee's coming back. So, WWE doesn't need AJ Lee. I think this is very telling of that. I know a lot of people want it, but it, they don't need her. They don't need her. She doesn't need them. I do love a good told you so. I like being right. It's a, it's a, it's a character flaw of mine. I do really like being right. <laughs> I do. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't even gonna lie. You didn't think because she's suspended? She wasn't suspended, buddy. Liv Morgan wasn't suspended. I don't know, I don't know who fuck told you that, but... She was never suspended. <laughs> That was the we fucking internet Scott, being weird. WWE Women's Champion keeping a close eye on the proceedings knowing Yes, is like someone is like AJ Lee's been training though. AJ Lee Rio never Rio stops Rio training Rio and she was in the TV show Rio Heels. Rio I brought that up the last few times on stream. Uh she was training with CM Punk and she was on the show with her husband as well. So WrestleMania How she how much you'll be right when the I don't know what the fuck you just said that guy but okay. Women. What number is Liv? She was number 30. We're at the end now. Naomi's been in for 60 minutes and 16 seconds. Bailey's been in for 58 minutes. Bianca's been in for 45. We're finally over. Uh, the, the match has been on for over an hour. We've got Jade and Bianca. What a moment. Look at Look at Look at Look at <laughs> Look at Look at Fucking go! Man. Fucking go! <laughs> Man, that is a I love it! I love it, I love it! The WWE Universe has been dreaming about since we announced the signing of Jade Cargill. <laughs> Two anomalies looking at each other face to face here I in the Tropicana in the middle of the it. world. Rumble. When you've got two superstars as unique as both Jade Cargill and Jade Cargill, it seems bizarre <laughs> that they're nearly mirror images of one another oh, physically shoot. speaking. It's crazy. Both insane athletes, both with long, bright futures. Here in WWE. Who is left in the ring? We have Tiffany Stratton, Bailey, Cargill, Jade Cargill, Bianca Belair, Naomi, Naomi Becky Lynch. Match. I think that's it. It's phenomenal. Jade always looks good. Oh, Jade always looks good. Deeper and deeper, you think the long tenured ladies in the ring 
would be suffering, but Naomi. Oh. You subbed. Thank you so much. If you uh, if you haven't subscribed over on YouTube, definitely do. Thank you so much. No legends, Phantom Lion. No, and they didn't need him. You know, I I kind of dig it. I feel I, again. I feel so validated because we just talked about it this week that we didn't think there were going to be any, and they didn't need there didn't need to be any. You know. And this is another sight to behold. Cargill is just handling the man with ease. Well, no oh, shit, she face. is. Becky, Becky, hang it oh. on. Oh, she's got a foot up to like seven, eight feet. Naomi taking Woo. it. Cargill now a, a kip up, and I'm not sure how Naomi, Come on, Naomi. has this much energy at this point in the matchup. Oh, oh and Becky oh, eliminated. Oh, oh, my. And Naomi is well. Shit, okay. Okay. Oh, All right, who we got? Who we got? Is Jade oh, is Liv going? Naomi yes, please. Honestly, Liv yes, Cole. yes, yes. Kick her out. Come on, Tiffany. Come on, Tiffany. Two minutes. Knock live out. In this matchup tonight. Look at the awareness of Jade there, Corey. Becky eliminated as well. So we are now down to five. They're both going to knock out Tiffany. No. I want Liv Morgan to get eliminated so bad just because they make everybody mad. <laughs> Ooh. Ow. Oh, no, not the braid. That's so dirty. That's dirty, Tiffy. Tiffany Stratton trying to eliminate Bianca Belair. Bailey now eliminates. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. How many we got in? How many we got in? Okay, hang on, hang on. Oh shit, that's a pull. Fuck. Shit, shit, shit. Bailey would never miss an opportunity like that. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Uh, who's in there? Who's in there? Bailey just realized the Liv, situation and can feel Bailey and Jade. That's what we've got. Show. That's it. That's it. Bailey in this match over an hour. Becky's gone? Okay. Toxic Weezy. <laughs> the prediction is up on Twitch. Go. Come on, Bailey. I don't know. Pardon me. <laughs> Fucking be okay with Jade, though, too. I think... Ba no, 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 no. Come on, Bailey. Get back in. Knee rocks Cargill. And now Liv Morgan... Cargill trying to fight out of the predicament here. We know about the overabundance of heart possessed by Liv Morgan. It's Oblivion attack. Come on, come on. Oh, and Bailey now. Oh, no. Bailey trying to hang out of the apron. Trying to slip underneath the bottom rope. Can she do it? Cargill I just want Bailey so bad. And Jade Cargill with Morgan up. Up and over to the apron. This is what we're talking about when we, we get excited about Bailey, get back under the Cargill. fucking rope. But right now, she's out. She's outnumbered, but she's still hanging in there. Somehow. She's smacking her in the abs. Come on, Jade, get Liv. Getting the cat back inside, but Liv put on the brakes. Cargill still hanging on. An impressive performance here by Jade Cargill. Bailey kicked to the apron. Morgan out of the midsection. Come on, Bailey. <laughs> Come on, Bailey. Morgan. Morgan. Okay, she's back in. Woo! Yeah. I love being right, but I also really just wanted I just really wanted that for her. I fucking love her. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. Shut the fuck up with I knew Bailey is gonna win, but it's too predictable. There's nothing first of all, there's nothing fucking wrong with that. It's fine. If you've been watching wrestling for long enough, yeah, you kind of have an idea of what could happen. But at the same time, everything that you think is the truth could be a lie. And everything that you think is a lie could be the truth. You don't fucking know everything. You don't. Just enjoy it. Just fucking enjoy it. The same people that say that shit are the ones that are just searching for fucking spoilers, right? Searching for, did you hear who's going to be number 30? Who oh, they said Jordan Grace is going to be here. All the shit that y'all were telling me before this match even fucking started. Okay, I'm done. Go, Bailey. Anything going to happen? Anything going to happen? We going to get anything? Say hello to WrestleMania Bailey. 
Case of Nuts giving out 10 community subs as Bailey points to the WrestleMania side. The first legit point, because she's actually going. <laughs> I scare you when I'm angry? Good. They just let her win. The fuck does that mean? They just let her win. <laughs> if you're just meeting me for the first time, I ain't like everybody else. Get that out of the way. Who will, Bailey? Like, that's the thing. Who would she be against at Mania, you know? So when the first person says that shit is predictable and I go on a rant, when you start saying it, like hoping that I'm going to like pop off more, I'm not. <laughs> you get one from me, you get the one pop off from me, and that's, 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 that's what you get, you know? Uh, <laughs> Scott, uh, it's your first time watching, but you follow me on Instagram. Well, thank you for being here. Hello. Welcome to the shit show. Welcome to the shit show. What's up, Mab? I will pop off, Queen. I will absolutely pop off. It's my favorite thing. My favorite thing to do. Love. <laughs> I love to tell people what's up. It's, 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 a, it's a hobby of mine. It's an absolute hobby of mine. Um, Where the fuck did that go? Is there backtracks, backtracks, backtracks? Where is my vertical? Cool. It's saved. Uh, bring back the hugger. I'm here for it. I'm ready. I'm ready for the hugger. How am I watching this right now? I, do you guys live under a rock? Like genuinely, do you do you live under a rock? Where the fuck do you think I'm watching it? Does everyone just bootleg everything? I don't understand. <laughs> What's rude, me? AJ Lee number 30. Rohi, I hate to break this to you. I hate to break this to you, but you're wrong. Uh, Bailey, she did not deserve to go to... Oh, they're out. They're here. They've arrived. <laughs> They've arrived. <laughs> That's fine. Cry. Cry about it. Oh, use the same energy. Bailey didn't... Oh, F Bailey. <laughs> they're here. <laughs> Oh my god. Time for my brother. Oh man. Well, are we getting um are we getting Alex cheering 45 bits? Thank you so much. Go Bailey. Itchy Beaver 69. Hey, Itchy Beaver. Thank you for the resub, dude. Welcome in. Welcome in. Yeah, cry about it. Cry, cry. Where? Baby need diaper change. The baby need diaper change. We. <laughs> oh, Lord be. Bailey Mania can live on. Friend, I'm excited to see what happens with Damage Control. They were telling a story in that ring. That wasn't just happening for nothing. Who would I rather have Bailey fight at Mania 40? Um, I, I think it's. It, I think it makes. I mean, it, it makes sense for it to be EO. Your tears give Weezy Blonde feel to grow stronger off of. I live. I live for those whiny ass reactions. I really do. You want to complain about stupid shit? You want to complain about stupid shit? Fuck off. This is the worst fucking week in the world, man. I could give two shits if you're sad that AJ Lee didn't show up. You, you, you're you disappointed because you you made that up in your head that that was happening. No one said that that was fucking happening. You played yourself. You played yourself. Is this happening now? Against AJ Styles, Randy Orton, and Sorry, I'm a, I'm a dick. <laughs> Who do you Let's think is coming back in the men's rumble? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Stacks with that sub with Prime, dude. How you doing? I ain't hungry. I ain't, I ain't angry. Hunter never put Wheezy. I'm not a wrestler, dog. Murray with the super chat. Thanks, Murray. Logan Paul to main event. 
Maybe. Time for the most boring mix. I don't think it's gonna be boring. See if you go into it with that attitude. Go into it with that negative ass attitude, you know? This is gonna be so boring. I've got this match sucks. Just drop by to say hi and add a girl you have over 500 viewers. What is it? From the 500 club. <laughs> Who do I think is gonna win the WWE Undisputed Universal Championship? I don't know. Because I got Bailey right, it's worth a dollar. Thank you. You go crazy if Ambrose came back? Doubt it though. I highly doubt that. What do we think happens with Jade from here? You know what? I would need I would need some time to think about it because I'm not totally sure. I'm not. Um, thank you, Wolf Maz. You know, there were a couple things that happened that uh, I think makes sense. The, what, what just happened with Naya? We we can't. You can't discredit that. That that's a big thing to happen. That's a huge thing to happen. Um, because I don't want to. When I think of Rhea Ripley at the moment, you know, um, the the people that make the most sense to go after Rhea right now are not not only Becky Lynch, but I I absolutely can see Jade Cargill. Um, but I think before we ever get to that point, Jade and Bianca, that stare off, that face, that that face face to face happened. Uh, I also am curious where Naomi goes. You know what what what, what Naomi does. Is we, should I go to Walmart for the ones who was looking for AJ Lee? Why would you go to Walmart? <laughs> Jade versus Bianca at Mania. I think it'd be a good non-title match. Mab Rider. Mab Rider gifted 20 subs. It is the craziest week. Mab, you an OG. You a real one. Thank you so much. We're going to put Mab on the payroll. We're going to put Mab on the payroll. Thank you so much. You're pretty much getting me to my goal for the night. We're, we're going to hit our goal of 50 of 50 subs, it looks like. So thank you so much. Is Royal Rumble man after Roman match? I think... So. What, is there another non... Is there another... Um, uh, what are the other matches tonight? Besides the men's Rumble. Obviously the... the oh, the US title match. Okay. I feel like the men's rumble match is is last. I, I didn't look at the card. What TNA guy do you think we see in the men's rumble? <laughs> um, I don't know. The thing is, you know, Nick Nemeth is there, or Nick Nemeth, sorry, Nick Nemeth is there, and I just don't. It's a, it's, a, it's a blurry line for someone like that to come to the WWE back when they have a different name. Derek James giving out a community sub. Thank you so much, Derek. We need a poll. Well, we need a prediction. Viper, give me two seconds, dog. I'm going to give you your points match, for that. He'll be a 15 -time Moose? That champion. would be cool as fuck. That performance from Ju Jordan Grace was astounding. I love Jordan Grace. Matt Cardona. Oh my god, I'd die. Men's Rumble being last guarantee betting all your pizza points. I'd die. I'd die. Steve Blackman wins. Why is this before the U.S. title? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what to expect from that. Away from Who do you think will win the men's Royal Rumble? I keep saying CM Punk, but like I, I don't actually know. The Rainmaker shows up. I so I see the laughing face. Like I could see Okada showing up, but I do think Okada was. Was there any actual? like firm news on where the fuck he was going did he actually sign with tna i've had a really crazy week i haven't been able to like keep up with stuff did, did he commit to tna because last i'd heard we were talking about him going to nxt he didn't okay so if okada did show up tonight i do still think he would be in, in um, nxt i'm sorry 
There's going to be a segment after this match before the U.S. title match. His contract doesn't inspire until expire until the 31st. You don't believe Okada signed? I think he agreed to a match with TNA. Okay. Gunther will win the Rumble. <laughs> Batista. Do you think Randy Orton is going to win the Universal Undisputed Heavyweight Championship? No, I don't. I don't, I don't. You're going to throw this out there. A couple losers from this match will be in the Rumble. Oh, I think so, too. No, I think so, too, for sure. I, I could see LA Knight. I could see... Uh, not, not to spoil what I think is happening. I don't think LA Knight's winning this match. I think LA Knight will be in the Rumble. You want to see the crybabies so Hulk Hogan wins Rumble? Fuck that. That's stupid. There is reports Okada still hasn't decided yet, and that's <laughs> absolutely believable. That's absolutely believable. What if, I would honestly, I would love if Pat McAfee entered the Rumble and just hopped off the fucking commentary and just hopped in the ring. Let's do that. <laughs> Run it back. We all know Roman is winning. Yeah. But, again, I do think he's winning. Right? But, you never know. Can you imagine the, play that, this, the way this place would fucking erupt if he didn't win? <laughs> or what's going to happen? So, here's the thing. Roman's not going to win clean. Right? Roman's not fucking winning clean at all. So what's going to happen that's helping him win, you know? That's, that's you know, a good way to, to think. Another Uso cousin. We, what if we could get a, could get a debut from a, a, a Fatu, Jacob Fatu? You could. You absolutely could. <laughs> AJ's got gear. <laughs> it's not Steve Blackman anymore. <laughs> Weezy wins the Men's Royal Rumble. I'm not winning anything. <laughs> Jericho tried to look like David Bowie, but ended up looking like a punk version of McDonald. The Rock stops him winning so he can fight him at Mania. Uh, Cloud Strike, that's, that's, not a bad, that's not a bad prediction. It's not... Uh, you know Solo was going to interfere and same with Ginny. Yeah, but it'd be it'd be more interesting if it was it would be more interesting if it was someone else. I don't know. Didn't Hulk leak his return last Monday? Um, kind of, yeah. He did. I mean, he didn't come out and say it. But he kind of, kind of, I forget exactly what he said. Whoever had this sign for me apparently was uh, in the aisle, so I keep looking to see if I can see something that I ain't seeing shit. Busted open is there, Tommy Dreamer for the win. I, I love me some Tommy Dreamer. I do love me some Tommy Dreamer. Okay, be back in a bit. Gotta mute you so I don't get spoiled. Okay. Thanks for being here. Hi. Jacob Fatu helps Roman Reigns or Tamatonga. I've seen a couple people. You see the Slim Jim commercial right now? Not that I want to talk about that, but... Huh. We all love Slim Jims because this match is presented by Awkward. Slim that was a, that was Get Savage with America's favorite bold and spicy meat stick. Wow. To a Slim Jim. I don't I don't normally yeah, I don't normally like That's pretty good. Pat. Cross. I'm very I'm very kayfabe. I'm very kayfabe, but uh huh. Okay. Did they make a press release that they were back? I didn't see it. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. Wow. So that's all it took, huh? That's all it took was just for him to resign? It was awkward. Uh, what are the odds that the Hulk shows up? Probably like 95%. 
Never thought you'd hear Micah Cole say meat stick. Did they have a presser? Oh, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Sorry. That was a that was a surprise to me. <laughs> I kind of forgot that that had ha that you know they had pulled they pulled out the pill. All right, Let's time this fucking thing. Boo! I just have to tell you, I have my my lap. I so I have a like a swing arm that comes off of my desk, and I have my my laptop on it. And I, you know, just use it for stuff that's not connected to this computer. And I uh, have Twitch up so I can just kind of see, you know, what everyone's doing, who's on. And uh, one, of my, one of my recommended sports channels is Santi. And he's dressed up as Dirty Dom. And he's, like, stuck in, like, this position. With his mouth open. And I'm just like, fucking loser. Fucking loser. Look at Pat McAfee. His the tribal chief still running every city he walks into. I just love Pat. I just love Pat. When it comes to aura, the tribal chief is absolutely unmatched. I hate someone fucking reaching out trying to touch him. Don't be fucking weird. That's so goofy. What are you doing? He will have a match one before the opening bell even rings. A lot of ones to the sky here in Put your fucking Georgia fingers St. down. No ones in my chat. No ones in my chat whatsoever. Put them down. Put them down right now. Criminals, you heathens. I love how some of you just put one. <laughs> The number one. Oh, someone put the word one. Look at you. You hate Pat? Why, Phantom? Why do you hate Pat? Is it because he's friends with Aaron Rodgers? I mean, I get it. <laughs> You'd reach out? No, I wouldn't. No, the fuck I wouldn't. I don't touch strangers. Pat is annoying and his takes are awful, bad, horrible, terrible. What, just talking about sports? Okay. Okay. It's Apparently, the reason why Trips only wanted to have four matches on the pay-per-view is because the length of Roman's entrance alone is the length of a match. <laughs> is that where I thought that was going? <laughs> I don't love Aaron Rodgers, but I like the way Pat fucks with him. I'm a Lions fan, dog. Chris Wheels, do I want to meet Pat McAfee? I do. He was actually in my city for college game day, and I didn't get to meet him because I was at work. That's why you and the family not going to get a vacation on the Island of Relevancy. Fuck you, T-Mac. <laughs> Is Roman losting? Didn't we do a poll? I didn't do it. You missed the predictions, guys. Brian put it up. You gotta pay attention. You were at SmackDown many years ago, and some idiot reached over and touched Lillian Garcia. Security hit him like Aaron Rodgers getting sacked. Yeah, okay, T-Mac. Put your finger down. <laughs> he looks oily enough to join Imperium. <gasps> Slippery. Looking like, looking like lewd slip. Lewd riz. Am I st I'm not streaming the Lions game tomorrow, no. I'm not. I, I want to watch it with... Uh, I just, I just want to... I just want a day. I just want a day to uh, watch and enjoy. Wait, what if Hogan doesn't return to the Rumble but costs Reigns his title so Reigns doesn't pass Hogan? Matt Ryder, shut up. Challenges. First, put your Saint ones Louis down. Weighing in at 275 pounds, the Viper. Randy I want to be. I, I want to be Samantha. I want to be her. Look how fucking jacked AJ looks right now. That man hasn't eaten carbs for a month. <laughs> Not a single carb. <laughs> Next, from Gainesville, Georgia. 
Trevor BB, thank you for the sub, dude. I appreciate you. Ghost of Bear, Ghost of Bear, thank you for the sub. Appreciate you guys. Stone Cold, I'm sitting up as straight as I can. Fuck you, AJ. Sorry. I don't like AJ right now. We're not friends. Next, from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 240 pounds, L.A. Knight! Yeah. Scott Bro, just thank you for the sub. Matt B, thank you for the resub, you guys. We are also in Hype Train. Perfect timing for a Hype Train. Every subscription goes towards our subscription goal. You get some cool stuff. Uh, cheer some bits. I'll read your comment. Do I like Roman? No. Can I turn the camera around so we can watch? The best in the world today, <laughs> no. Styles and Randy Orton. It is a big fight field. I'm also it not a broke bitch, and I wouldn't just turn the camera around to show you. I just share the screen because I live in 2024. Uh, but I'm not doing that. <laughs> Scott Bro just cheering 100 bits. Thank you so much. Why did we time out, Scott? What did he, did he say something bad? He cheered bits. Whoops. All right, man. Go. Already you can see the disagreements that are uh, bubbling here between Knight, Styles, and most likely Orton as well. These three have been uh, involved in the What's personal animosity for I weeks feel now like up to this D &D time cheering 20 bits. Thank you so much. I don't, this could benefit me. I don't know why the quality of this is so ass. What did I do? Fuck. Some politicking going on in here. Uh-oh. Yeah, run away, run away, run Stop away, run away. Norton gonna make him pay, gonna punish him. Remember, Undead Denny, thank you for cheering those hundred bits. Submission will win the WWE Championship. Bridget Case is streaming Rumble. No count out. It is a smart move I think Knight someone said that Santi right convinced her to watch it. I don't, I don't really know. Might as well use it. Roman Reigns as he's had to for many years. Is the whole ring going to be Slim Jim the entire match? Yep. Storm by all sure is. Superstars and Styles goes right after LA Knight. Bloodline Remember, betrayal in what way? LA Knight disrespected him by stepping up after the Bloodline had taken Styles out of the, the, the situation. Corey, for years and years now, Roman Reigns is, has faced these battles, all kinds of different odds, like tonight in the Fatal 4-Way. But he continues to be resilient and hold on to the championship, which seems to give him the edge in a match like this. I wonder how long, I wonder how long I this is going to go. I wonder how long this is going to go. These cowards jump in the Tribal Chief. It's just smart. It's just, it's not cowards. If anything, if anything, Roman's the coward. Roman's the coward. Like, what are you even saying? Who do I think is winning? Roman Reigns, but no body shaving. What happened? What happened? What did I miss? Uh, this should have been a fatal four-way Slim Jim on a pull match. <laughs> Stop. How much pizza do I have left? Um, I have half the pizza left. Does anyone think The Rock will get involved? We we talked about it. It's absolutely a possibility. And yet again. And a third time. And LA Knight having fun dribbling AJ Styles. Nick, all this I respect you, but this is your this is on your idea. I don't know what you're trying to say. Uh <laughs> gives all the mods some popcorn. What did I miss? Roman Reigns again and oh Roman Reigns right on the announce table. First. The path to cheer in 25 bits. Roman enters Royal Rumble at 30 to win and challenge Seth because he wants two belts again. If if you say that one more time, Phantom Lion, I'm going to block you. Quick. Uh, <laughs> Scott Bro just cheering 250 bits. Thank you so much. 
Right Scott Burgess cheering another 100 bits. Thank you. It has been a tremendous rise in fame and popularity. Oh my. For LA Knight here in WWE. Hi Justin, how are you? Groundswell of support. Roman lines him up and smashes him. The word coward doesn't vibe with our tribal chief. No, he, the word coward does vibe with your tribal chief. Say what? The, the, I'm not saying it out loud. No, not that The Rock is winning. You said the same thing like three times in a row. And now Reigns and Orton exchanging blows. Justin, I'm doing all right. I've been better. Trying not to eat the rest of this pizza. Valens, thank you for the sub, dude. Appreciate ya. Is time off a curse? Or a blessing or an injury. We're at 800 well, subs out of 1,000. Appreciate you guys. Roman doesn't need help until he does. He always needs help. Bridget's so confused about the rules. I love it. The one with the most ring time recently, the one closest to the top of their game, LA Knight. I'm curious to see if that's going to be a factor. Well, I believe in momentum as well, and nobody has it more than LA Knight. And Randy Orton now with the, uh, the classic Orton stomps. The legs and knees of the champion Roman Reigns. She's so cute. <laughs> Orton just measuring. Talked about this for, for so long. The absolute absence of malice when it comes to the... Bridget just said, I have no idea what's happening right now. <laughs> I think it's so cute. Someone that never watches wrestling is trying to watch it right now. It's just a fatal four-way. And they're like, wait, are they stepping on each other? I don't understand. How does this work? <laughs> <laughs> it's so injury. cute. Maybe the best shape of Styles' phenomenal career. Oh my Jets God! Talked to AJ earlier. Today, <laughs> explodes out of the corner. AJ says he's never been more focused. My God. Uh, do we think Mama Bliss will be Randy out for a couple years? I don't know if it'll be a couple years, but I mean, it'll definitely be a minute. LA Knight misses wild. Sorry, I was busy. I was busy Roman seeing what was, on, what was going on here. Sniper. Roman Reigns back into the mix. LA Knight, though. Roman won't lose today. Cody has to finish the story. I know, Co I know. Well, of course, Roman's not going to lose because he can't win anything on his own. Why do I hate AJ? Because he's being a little whiny bitch. He's being a moody emo bitch is what he's being. You stepped, in, you stepped over me to get the... Like, shut up. He's being mean to his friends. He's being mean to Mi Mi Chin, like the OC. He's just being a terrible... He's just being a little bitch. He's just being a little bitch. That's, <laughs> That's why. is red hot right now. He has to try to cash in on that momentum. I'm talking about being red hot. <laughs> Guy with the red boots. Again, you have won my viewership. You say it how it is. <laughs> <laughs> I just like to pretend that everything is real because it is. Okay. okay. It's so adorable to see Bridget trying. I think it's funny. I think it's cute. Roman is with He's always been a bitch. Listen, uh, AJ Styles, the, the you know, that the SmackDown, the house that AJ Styles built, the face that runs the place. Undertaker versus AJ. Like I love I loved AJ, but something happened where he just snapped and he's just a little fucking crybaby. Crybaby. And then you got hurt, dog. You got fucking, what did he, get choke slammed off a trunk? Like, the bloodline destroyed him. The fuck does that have to do with LA Knight? Seize the opportunity, dog. I'm sorry that you got hurt. That had nothing to do with fucking LA Knight. Were we just supposed to wait for you to get back? You know? Stupid. Uh, Demon of Nine cheered a thousand bits. Thank you so much. Go Lions. We need to win tomorrow. I want to go to the Super Bowl, Demon of Nine. I want to go to the Super Bowl. Okay. Okay. Well, he's not cocky. He's confident. He's not cocky. He's confident. No, he's cocky. Okay. And how could you not be? If you woke up and looked in Be honest. Have you been watching season three of the OC with Rachel Bilson, et cetera, a little bit? No. I haven't watched the OC in a very long time. If I look like that, I'd actually look in the mirror. 
Even though we may already know the outcome of this particular act, I still love watching it. I've been watching WWE for about 30 years, and for better or worse, I've loved every minute of it. I mean, I'm enjoying it. I'm, you know, I'm not in-in, but, like, I'm in. Usually towards the latter half. It gets, it gets more, there's more happening. You don't know what it is, but I haven't gotten into this match yet. Me either, but I know I will. I know I will. It'll happen. It'll happen. Wow. He got some fucking air there. Oh my god. Woo! AJ's the stoop kid. Stoop kid's afraid to leave stoop. He actually does look like stoop kid. Do you guys know who stoop kid is? I'll sh can I show you who stoop kid is? Stoop kid's afraid to leave a stoop. Stoop kid. <laughs> Forgive me. Here <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, you want a little mid-match hiatus? That's Stoop Kid. Right there. Stoop Kid's afraid to leave his stoop. Ah, it's AJ Styles! <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Down goes Roman again. LA Knight with an EDT. Randy Orton quickly I'm back sorry. into the matchup. And he runs into a You're 43 and you've been a wrestling fan since five? Same. <laughs> kind of. That was such a good episode. Hey, move it, football head. Why are you calling me Helga? Big Bob's Beepers. Guess what? You got a hug belly backstage after she won the Royal Rumble? Who are you? Thank you. You needed to laugh. You're welcome. This match is not it. Oh, you guys. You guys, you guys. Oh, let's give it a chance. Let's give it a chance. As he looks on at the uh, what was that? problem with uh, Roman Reigns. And now Randy Orton. Knight whipped into the corner. We are riders on a mission. In the face. Action kid. LA Knight with a bulldog. Now, this isn't bad for Roman Reigns letting the other three beat the hell out of each other. Athleticism. <sighs> Posture check. I'm sitting up straight. I promise. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Incredible. Destroy that whiny baby. Will Sasha Rise Banks return at WrestleMania to help Bailey? I don't know. I have no idea. Of course he did. He had a beat. Whiny little baby. Unbelievable. AJ Wan. I don't really know where I was Again, going with that. that but. A match like this, make no mistake about it. AJ wasn't trying to save Roman Reigns. AJ was preserving his own opportunity to keep this match alive. Styles you haven't thought of that show in years. Rocket Power is a good rewatch. It's a good bop. And now AJ Styles knee right to the back of the neck. Uh oh. And I think Mercedes Styles is all at the Rumble. Knee. Pretty much confirmed it. I don't care. <laughs> I, I don't care where she goes. Wherever she goes, she goes. Yeah, I was almost worried you didn't know I was making a Rocket Power reference. I should have never doubted you. Like, I don't doubt my tribe. Are we the same age? Are we the same age? Trash cartoon. Loser. That guy's a loser. He's just a hater. He's one of those people that lives at home and he's just sad about fucking everything. So he just wants to make other people sad. I just, I'm fine. I don't know. It's weird. I, I hate that I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Here's my observation right now. I'm so sure right now that Roman Reigns is winning in some way that the near falls, I just, I don't really, I don't, it's not, you know, it's, it's not doing it for me. And normally I can still like, That was, that was, come on. Vintage Orton! <laughs> Vintage Orton! <laughs> Every time. Yeah, Seth is not in anything, no. He's currently injured, dude. 34, I'm way older than you. You're fucking 
two years older than me? Three? You're three years older than me. I'm 31. You fucking acting like you're that much older. <laughs> Back corner behind Orton, who has no idea. Styles is lying in wait. Styles. Forearm delivered to the face of Orton. Now launches off the top rope. Randy Orton caught it. RKO! Woo! And that one wasn't out of nowhere. Another RKO! No, I'll be, I'll be 32 this year. Uh, but even then, like a four year age difference really isn't. That's, that's not a big one. How is he getting out of this? How is he getting out of this? How is he getting out of this? No. How is this? What's happening? Oh, my God. I cannot believe it. <laughs> what the, uh, yeah, I know. I know. Every time I, I bring up, I am. I know. I'm 30. I am 31. Yes. Yeah. Every time. <laughs> Every time without fail. Every time. <laughs> Oh my god. What? Man. There's nothing anybody can do about this because it's no disqualification. Of course it's not. We knew the bloodline was going to do something. For the past several weeks, Solo has been doing everything in his power to fix Roman's problem. This four-way problem. You guys are all being Three very negative right now, but just better late than never. Just just hang on. No. But the tribal air is just just up. hang on. They've been smashed, they've been stacked. Roman Reigns promised that they would be stacked tonight. Knight and Orton in trouble, down and out. Solo Sokoa now turns his attention to AJ Styles. I'm, I'm hanging on. I'm hanging on to hope. Look at where's Nate? Where's Nate? Where's Nate? Is he back there? Sorry. The bum line. Thank you. Watch Samantha, dog. Oh my! The force of Solo. Sokoa, AJ Styles survives. Oh, Roman, Reigns. Roman Reigns trying to make it back to his feet. The official's back in the ring. Heyman begging Reigns to go for to go for the victory. And the official can't count because both Knight and Orton shoulder. Right, you have trying to fucking show off. You should have just <sighs> Barry! He's the one that always gets fucking hurt. Let me turn my shoot head on. This should have been the match Roman wins without help. I'm, I'm, no, T Mac, I'm with you. See, that was the thing. I was, I was starting to say that. Like, trying to show off stacking the body. Just fucking pin one person, you loser. Like, what are you doing? God. Obliterating the barricade. AJ right on the money with a phenomenal forearm. As circumstances would have it, Reigns falls on the pile. AJ makes the cover. I ch everyone kicked out. Yeah, not just one of them, all of them. All simultaneously kick out. This is nuts. Come on. Well, this is awesome chance at the drop for four of the best in the world. Battling it out for the undisputed WWE Championship. I know Samantha almost got wrecked. This is awesome. <laughs> As the wise man's in tears and AJ Styles, well, he was the last. How about let's not stack bodies? <laughs> oh, God. Look, look, there's drinks under there. Do you see the snacks? The refs, there's a ref now. We're good. We're good. He's, we got, we're good. Don't disrespect your tribal chief. Fuck your tribal chief. Saw this last night on SmackDown. Smackdown. Why well, is Powerade under the ring? Yeah, thoughts. someone's hanging out under there. Pedal to the metal tonight. Style Trucker Style Dad, thank you for cheering those 100 bits, dog. Appreciate you. Heyman, who is begging AJ Styles show mercy. Have you no humanity? Paul, shut the fuck up. No Excuse me. Right oh. Yeah. Beat his ass. Yeah. <laughs> 
Chairs. Roman likes taking ch chairs in the back. Yeah. Roman Do it. Yeah. Beat his ass. <laughs> no rules. The ref's only there to count. And now turns his attention to the man he believes has been standing in his way. See all this drama. Him, Fucking pin his ass. Him. What are you doing? This has got to be cathartic for AJ Styles. Mangling that steel chair across the body of the megastar. Show, showboating, showboating, showboating. Come on, do something. Do something. Do something. Do something. I like this strategy from Styles. Inflict additional. Oh, you hit Paul with a chair. Smackdown. You get it. I like where AJ's head was at. Talk about explosivity, Corey. Yes, sir. There it was. But Randy Orton rolling out of harm's way wisely after the spear. I pretend like I didn't hear anything. <laughs> With Roman Reigns up and down, planting Reigns. Dropping the elbow. Is it LA Knight? Quit moment? fucking around. Can it be Knight's nice moment? CFT, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh my goodness. Styles was on Superman punch <laughs> on the top rope for the and a spear to Styles. Covered by Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns does it again. Wow. Here is your winner. This is banning banning me for no reason. After eleven months, I have to unsubscribe. What happened? I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about that. I think it's... I, I don't want to feed into chat drama at the moment, but... I have no control over whatever happened, and I don't know what happened. Um... I gotta take a look now at uh, some of the action in this matchup. Roman Reigns surviving here tonight in this fatal four way at the Royal Rumble event. There's a real turning point. Reigns delivering a spear to. Wait, I don't know what happened. So to come at me that strong, like in a chat right now while I'm live on a pay per view, why don't you just send me a message? If you've been here for 11 months, I, you know. I fucking hear you out. The bell rang. God mode I was engaged. We'll acknowledge that maybe my mods aren't perfect, but I'm At the end of the day, say what you want. Complain about it. It doesn't matter. Because Roman Reigns record setting 1245 days as your undisputed WWE champion. Shake it off, shake it off. <laughs> anyway, I don't think I clipped anything from that. I know it was a buzzkill, I'm sorry. Um, I don't think I clipped anything from that at all. Three and a half years and counting. Oh my God, I cannot believe it. Well, the question is, could Roman Reigns be the choice of the winner of the men's Royal Rumble match later tonight? Cody Rhodes. Well, it's funny how all of Roman Roman's matches, man. he gets Rhodes destroyed wins. majority of the match, then all of a sudden, one Superman punch and a spear, and it's over. Because he's the tribal chief. Hello? Unsurprising, but still disappointing. I mean, you guys, you, you knew what was going to happen. You knew what was going to happen. It's all right. So much on the it's all right. <laughs> there is always that one bad apple. It's okay. It's okay. Um, I gotta let things not. I gotta let. I gotta let things slide. No, I'm saying. Well, I'll let more things slide. Where's Pepsi Phil? Why are people shocked? No way Roman was losing that. He's going into WrestleMania as champ. Yeah, you're right. Pizza, pizza. It's kind of cold now, though. Hey. <laughs> My brother, Logan Paul. 
My brother Logan Paul is about to be on, everybody. Ow. Did you guys lazy booking? Seth, shut honestly, Seth. I, I Seth, let's have a conversation. Let's have a conversation. Lazy booking. Explain. Like, what about that scenario was lazy booking? It's okay that Roman won, right? It's okay that Roman won. But the way that they had all of them weaved together leading up to the Royal Rumble was good. The interactions that they all had each other with each other, um, the interactions that they all had with Paul Heyman, uh, I don't feel like that was lazy booking at all. Just, just because Roman won does not mean that that's lazy booking. It was a good match. And it all makes sense. I just, I don't, I don't, I don't get what you mean. I don't get what you mean. And yes, I'm going to call it out when I see it because when I see shit like that, I just, I, I really want to know, like, what do you mean lazy booking? Yeah, Logan's my brother. <laughs> Can't you tell? We're cut from the same cloth. Look at me. Look at him. Look at me. Look at him. Mm-hmm. Randy looked actually hurt. Um, the shoulder, yeah. Uh, has the temperatures warmed up in South Bend? It has. It was like 40 today. 40-something today. Is when the sun went down, it got colder again. There has to be a major payoff of Roman losing, and last WrestleMania should have been it. Maybe this year will be different. Just a eh. moment to send some very special thanks to our friends, the Black Keys, for Wild Child. Oh, hold your horses. Of the Royal Rumble. It's from the album Dropout Boogie. And you can get it right now. On I thought Apple some people actually didn't vote for Roman. And and of music, the Cornette Ford talk, and I love Jimmy, Parker don't get me wrong. And singer songwriter from Nashville, Tennessee, Jelly Roll. Jelly. As in the house. Absolute legend, Jelly Roll. No, and it's not pineapple. It, pineapple, really it's really banana peppers. Talk about big energy, man. It's banana peppers. <laughs> just lit up the room. And a KO sort of looks like his brother. Nonetheless... There's a challenger for the United States Championship, the bodacious brawler, the prize fighter, Kevin Owens, who won a tournament, turn this You can't anymore, Roman should lose tonight. at Mania. That was handsome, yeah. Up next, it's a match bound to go viral. Has the so rain Slovenia stopped yet? It was raining when you left Sturgis, Michigan, last night, and it didn't stop south and west until almost, uh, yeah, yeah. no, it's still kind of raining. Do I like pineapple on pizza? I do, but it's just not my, um, it's not my go-to. That's not my go-to. There's certain things that it's really good on. Who on my downfall. Oh, Face tattoos are the worst. Oh, well, it's a good thing you don't have one then, huh? Don't, y get it by now. I'm the don't worry about what other people are doing. WWE history. I knock people out. Me. Some boomer shit. Entrepreneur, innovator, actor, wrestler, Being really concerned with what other people are fucking doing with their own selves. Roman cheats, internet. Fuck him. He needs to win clean. Roman wins clean. Internet. Fuck him. That's poor booking. <laughs> I mean, technically, I won't say it's clean because Solo did interfere. A good Hawaiian pizza is classic. It's just never my, like, my go-to, you know? Congrats, Kevin Owens. You Don't eat alone. The I'm not. United I have States all of you. Champ in history. Logan. Oh! Your days as U.S. champion are numbered. And it's not pineapple. Hey, Kevin. It's so banana peppers. You gave me. It's not just a black eye. It's, it's banana it's, peppers. It's banana peppers. Out that little cast on your hand. Could be a lie. We came for wrestling, not mukbang. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Excuse me. With that weapon on your head, I promise. I'm not just gonna beat you in a wrestling I'm match. I'm sitting no. here for five I'm hours. You in the court of law. <laughs> Pineapple jalapeno wow, sounds Kevin. good. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me on your show. I would say I'm honored, but you can eat I'm leftover not. pizza unheated. So can I. Three my favorite ago, I came to my um WrestleMania. refrigerator pizza is like um. I'm feeling it right there, now. There, there is a new prediction like up, you guys. Saying. It's literally at the top of the page. The Pay attention. <laughs> Of that cast. No AJ Lee, you played yourself. 
You played yourself. You, KO. There isn't a punch you can throw that can keep me down for three seconds. I'm not. I have a little bottom. Knock me out. What do I do this? I'm not gonna have this cast on to the Royal Rumble. In fact, you know what? You can see Kevin kicking out of the right hand. I truly don't know how is banana peppers on pizza. It's really good, but I like I like pickled things. Um, banana peppers aren't hot, and I do like pickles on my pizza. But um, banana peppers are just a little like tangier and have more of a crunch, and so I really like them. This is chicken and banana pepper. Yeah, I usually oh yeah, I no bathroom break either, but. <laughs> Where's the pizza from? It's from a local place in my city. Royal Rumble this Saturday. You glad your wife is an Italian? She makes real pizza? That's awesome. Love that for you. Love that for you. Hold on. I meant to say, I don't think it's poor booking that it's a way to show Roman. It's the face of the company just like that did with Ro I don't know. It's a way to show oh, Roman is the face of the company just like that did with Rollins when he was in the authority. It's just not his time to lose it. It's just not his time yet. King Crab 30 cheering 70 bits. I'm tired, but your streams are so good. You can go to bed. You can go to bed anytime. Emotion. Kevin Owens oh, lives by the ethos. Sound on. Just keep fighting. And Owens knows he is a guy that never necessarily fit Who won the Women's Royal Rumble? Bailey. Kevin Owens said to fight and scratch and claw for every opportunity that he's had. Grilled chicken or breaded chicken? Uh, like grilled. Like Logan Paul, and while he acknowledges Logan's skill set, Rollins cheated every single time when he was WWE champion under the authority. Yep, that's kind of how it goes. It's kind of how it goes. <laughs> you got three hours of sleep last night, but I am still blaming Wheezy for your yawning. I'm sorry. Someone at the hospital gave me Turkish coffee, and it was very interesting. And it really, I mean, God, I'm still buzzing off of it. Still buzzing off of it. And by Suicide Squad, kill the Justice League, available February 2nd on PlayStation 5. Actually a broken You see a new U.S. champion tonight? I don't, I don't know what to think. I really don't. A week ago on SmackDown, thrown into the steel ring post. My brother! Logan Paul, the United States champion, who won the title, beating Rey Mysterio back at Crown Jewel. Did you guys watch the Logan Paul John Cena interview? You should have a lot to say about Logan Paul. The coffee was so strong. Oh, my God. It was very, very strong. It was cool. It came in like a... Um, she came out, and it came in like this very pretty, like, steel look. I don't know. It was this very ornate, like, uh, spout thing. Where did they get the Turkish coffee at? They made it. They fucking made it while they were in the hospital. So we were in this big, like, waiting area. There's, like, a, a, a waiting area with, like, private rooms and stuff. And uh, they were brewing it in their room. So she she hopped out of hers and came and was like, Hey, I have Turkish coffee if you guys would like to try some. It's um, it's it's very earthy tasting, blah, 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 blah. And she had, like, little cups that were, like, this big. And so my uncle and I were like, yeah, I'll take them. Uh, and it was fucking strong. It was good, though. Yeah, Q so we actually had that same conversation that Cuban coffee is also strong. My brother is repressing America loud and proud. Oh, re re you mean representing? John Cena swore a lot. He did. Yeah. Turkish coffee is so good. It was very good. I And I usually don't drink black coffee, but uh, I really liked it a lot. I don't know what's gonna happen. Introducing the challenger from Merville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin WWE dropped a Jade shirt. Drop the link. Didn't even blink. You think my brother's winning? My brother is too arrogant? No, he's not. Looking jacked. 
He's jacked as hell. He's jacked as hell. Maga. The low gang. Okay, let's talk strategy. If you're Kevin Owens, Corey, how do you take the title away from the match? Weezy, did you Kevin not Owens have any problems with the WWE title match? Kevin Owens has been in every uh, Roman Reigns sucks. Inside of a ring. He Logan is terrible. Way to go. And Owens he can't win anything on his own. He doesn't deserve Logan to be champion, but he's still champion. This match. How, and fuck Roman Reigns. <laughs> what do you want me to say? <laughs> he's terrible. Right hand. Of Kevin Owens, no cast tonight, but it is taped up. Well, I, I agree with you. Uh, you mean mm -hmm. attack the, the injured hand of Kevin Owens? Yeah, bingo. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I'm Oh, we don't want to shake your hand. Kevin Owens, oh, look out for the right, right hand of, of Logan Paul. Bingo. Kevin, bingo. Kevin Owens goes right oh, after God. Logan Paul mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. stomping away. And remember, mm -hmm. Kevin's got to be careful here. Bring Logan it Paul to the, the flow. Owens must pin or submit. Logan Paul to win the title. Uh, Roman ain't dropping the, the title till Mania. Oh, you guys, you guys always miss. Like, into the barricade by Kevin Owens. I don't know that you want to get into a brawling contest. I don't care when Roman drops the title. I don't care. What's this shit? Sorry about it. Oh, that's a that's a Pat McAfee shirt. This is where KO. I don't like that. I don't, I don't really like the Pat McAfee shirt. I feel like that's just that's a quick... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Said to Logan Paul, you're not one of us. Uh, you're protected. You're sheltered. You should be here. What about... Acknowledge my tribal chief? No. Obviously, but Kevin no. Owens knows. What's this one? Oh, this one's the Jay Cargill one. Oh. Well, that's kind of cool. On multiple occasions that... KO's children do I think Hogan Johnny shows up? Paul I do, actually. That has to eat at Owens. Maybe his opponents need to stop being so stupid. They know the bloodline will interfere, but they do nothing to prevent it. You have a very, very good point. <laughs> that's fair. That's a, that's a fair, fair assessment of the situation, honestly. I respect the fuck out of that. <laughs> Maybe they should do something about it. <laughs> They're ill prepared for the intervention. I like it. You're damn right. They're ill prepared for the inevitable intervention of the bloodline. And yet they walk around like they got shit on lock. And then sure as shit, there comes Solo. Why? Why are they not prepared? Why wouldn't they why wouldn't they strategize to make sure that someone is looking out for them? Damn! You're right! A big step forward and then a giant I like it. <laughs> and a set time by KO right in front of the announce table. Kevin Owens in control of the match. Seriously though, Cody should have won last Kevin WrestleMania. He's losing tonight. momentum and he needs He's to win focused. tonight. He ain't US fucking title. losing momentum. He's Cody Rhodes. It's fine. He'll be fine. Jeez. These drops echoing through the truck. Okay, we need to pay attention. <laughs> Ao shaking off that injured hand. Buddy, I, I see you talking about my hair. Thank you. It's just hair. I grew half of it myself. He hit Owens hard in the back of the neck. Half of it. Logan Paul's a freak athlete. By quarter of it. You know, Pat Logan told me on commentary a few weeks ago on SmackDown that he just recently began lifting weights. Oh, Cody isn't losing momentum. He's great. Roman kind of is. Nick Aldis could have also said if anyone in the bloodline gets involved, Roman automatically loses the title. He could have. But he didn't. Strategy by Logan Paul. I mean, it is. Only a year into this thing. Again, you can't take anything away from him. He's not breaking the rule. Nope. Like a fish to water, Logan Paul to this business. What do I think about the Jade shirt? It's all right. I mean, it's cool, but. Agility to the top turnbuckle. What a cross body by Logan Paul. Oh, but not just that. And he turns it into the cross moon combo cover and a kick out by Owens. Oh, looking for a Kimura. What brand do I think Jade will go to? I don't. Know. I honestly don't. A great move as you take another look at Logan Paul launching himself over the top rope. Big impact on the outside. You want coffee Logan up on Long Island? There's an Indian reservation sky, for, I think it's called the Puss Patak Indian the Smoke Shop. They sell a coffee called Liquid Cocaine. A single eight ounce cup will have you jittery like a for 24 hours off no sleep. I believe you. You're a trucker. I'm sure you've seen some things and tried some things. Uh, <laughs> oh, what has happened? This was made famous by WWE Hall of Famer Antonio Inoki, but it was made more famous by Logan Paul. Why Logan not? Paul why not any uh, sports channel are broadcasting this live event? Mr. Co, I don't know where you're from, but uh, Peacock, 
is where it's always broadcast because uh, it's on the WWE Network, which is under the umbrella of Peacock. So you have to have a Peacock subscription in order to watch it. It's not on live TV. <clears throat> Who's my pick to win the Men's Rumble? CM Punk. Oh, is he pulling a butch? Oh, he's kind of pulling a butch. I mean, I'm sorry, Pete Dunne. Fuck. I'm sorry, Pete Dunne. Pete Dunne. Pete Dunne. I said Pete Dunne. Don't. Don't come at me. Please. Leave me alone. I've had a long week. Don't do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I met Pete Dunne. He's a survivor. He'll do everything he can to stay in this matchup. Don't, don't, don't come at me. We all know that. Weez, he's trademark when someone returns. He looks good. <laughs> You're not lying. You're not lying. I do that. <laughs> Fuck you. I just snorted in the microphone. That was just funny. Because you're not wrong. Uh, <laughs> you're not going to show off in front of Kevin Owens. He's going to make it back. going to do everything in the, the fiber of his being to fight back and stay in the match. <laughs> but to your point, how much can Kevin Owens take? And what should the official start to think about his well-being? I love that everyone keeps asking you that. I mean, you're wearing the freaking sweatshirt. I'm wearing the freaking sweatshirt. Who's my pick to win the Royal Rumble? Unfortunately, Pat, I think you're absolutely right. Hello. KO's not a long-term planner. KO lives you missed your reactions? Uh, right well, they'll get posted. I mean, I'm going to post my reactions. Don't worry about it. 619. Remember a 619. That, of course, used by Rey Mysterio. Oh, he beat for the title back at Crown Jewel. And again, showing that Logan Paul's a student of the game. You're absolutely right. Took the words right out of my mouth. Cole. Do you have a feeling Logan Punk ain't winning? A little something along the way. Just a this is a boatload of, of content. Yeah, but I'm just, you know, I'm not one that, uh, some of the, you know, the big guys, you know, they they post as they stream, and that means I have to stop for a minute to actually edit, and clip and edit something real quick, and then post it, and that just, it, it, fuck that. Plethora of those. Uh-oh, Owens has Logan Paul's arms hooked, could be thinking about a backslide. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, Did Roman win? Yes. To the back of Logan Paul's head, knee connecting from Owens. Oh, that, that, that might have been KO's best shot to this juncture in the matchup, taking a lot out of Logan Paul, but Owens is still feeling the effects of the attack from the chair. How many more matches have we got left? After this, just the men's rumble. To WrestleMania. This is the 37th annual right? Rumble event. We are at the... I'm always questioning everything before I see a sea of comments like, nope, 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 nope. And then y'all tell me the same thing. And I'm like, ah, yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Was it right? Am I able to turn up the volume on the match? I hit a little bit. <clears throat> Owens understands how here we go. important this title is. And now Kevin Owens with a cannonball. Ooh. Doesn't. WWE Hall of Famers, more than that, have held this title. Oh, two of them, shit. By KO. <clears throat> Owens now making the climb to the top turnbuckle. The thing about Kevin Owens, you gotta love him. He works his ass off. Kevin Owens now. He said ass. Splash. That may do it. Cover. <laughs> Hook of the leg. Oh, and Logan. Uh, let me tell you this. If we get a replay, he needs to go right fund now, me for Netflix. Maybe <laughs> seven dollars a month for too long. The way they the raise prices, flash. I am Owens curious um, how expensive Netflix is going to be come pain. next year. When come next year, uh, <laughs> when the they have the live TV deal, uh, I, I'm a little Kevin worried about it, but rope. it is what it is. You know. I'm sure how Kevin Owens is still going here. Again, trying to shake the pain out of the head. Because I'm still going to need something to watch SmackDown on because I'm going to need uh, USA. It would be really nice if it would all just go to Netflix, but they couldn't do that in the U.S. Logan trying to capitalize on the mishap for KO. Nobody home as Kevin Owens moved out of harm's way. Would you say Weezy with the crazy YouTube numbers? Love to see it. What have you had over there? How many people are here? 422? Hi. Hello. Hey, kids. I love you, YouTube. Subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be releasing more content. I just had a family emergency this week and I didn't get to do anything. I'd be honored for 
Kevin Owens to be my United States champion. Funny, oh, weird how some of the same people get front row seats still after several years. They have a contact. The they have a contact the that they uh, get in touch out. with that gets them those seats and they pay a premium the for them. A title match. If you want to look behind the curtain. I do know that for a fact. I missed the buckshot. Hangman's going to be pissed. Now. This was more stylish. Here we see this. Can we see the top WWE by content created by a landslide? Logan I'm not, but thank you. That's very sweet of you. Yeah, that works for me. It's very, very Full sweet of you. By Logan like that. you Where am I living? Something. A house. No, I did not create that. That's a huge company, but that's certainly what it looked like. Full Do I follow today's wrestling on TikTok? Paul, I don't know. United States champion. The champion is feeling it now. This has been a physical Do you guys remember Tyler? <laughs> Are there any OGs in here that remember Tyler Leopard? Do we remember Tyler? You said that no man could suplex Kevin Owens. He said right. You did say that. I did say it. Good luck. Corey. <gasps> That's hilarious. <laughs> Kevin Owens. That's amazing. <laughs> Where you started. Uh, listen, I was trying to give our the wrestling cartoon thing on TikTok is funny as fuck. It is Kevin funny as fuck. I don't know how they do that. Kevin Owens very comfortable on the ropes. The, uh, I bet Tyler is crying because Liv, he probably is. I haven't checked my ex, but I'm sure. I am sure that there is something on there because he tags me. I still have him. He, he can access my ex, so he tags me and shit all the time. But he was saying. Like he has every time he was here that he has ringside yeah, tickets some, somewhere. I, I don't know that I believe him. I don't know if I believe him. But he claims. You could just be a pathological liar that tells people shit. Kind of annoyed that your stream is behind. I'm sorry. Come on, Logan. That titanium reinforced cast. Sorry. KO. I don't know why you guys are behind. I'm not sure. Looking for the stunner again. Bang! Nice hand! KO has been KO'd no, no, no. by no. Logan Paul. No, 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 no. Oh, Is that a one? What? what? Nobody's kicked out of the big right. Nobody at all. Logan Paul can't believe it. And Corey, his most effective weapon was just kicked out of the big right. We just away. talked about that. We just talked about that. titanium inside of his head. And what was it taken away? It was... He kicked out of the big right at one? Oh, Jesus Christ. This goofy moron from his entourage. This goofy moron. Are we getting the brass knucks again? That's how he wins everything. Come on, Logan. You're better than this. Logan, you're better than this. Logan, you're better than this. Well, official Ryan Tran, who was the referee when Logan Paul and this goof beat Rey Mysterio, now is going to do his job and get security to throw He's going to do his job. I fucking love Michael Cole. <laughs> Jesus. To be clear, I've never met Jeff, but I've seen him on the internet. Can I deal with him? Where's the prime mascot? <laughs> I need answers. I don't know what's going on, Jeff. Quite a jump. Logan just missed. And both men down. Center of the ring is the security now. Are ejecting. Beat him up. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. What's happening? It says Ozzy Icon. Can you know that? Motherfucker. You. Austin Theory, the same old scumbag I see. This could be fair and square. I told her down. No. Get him. I don't. I, I can't decide if I'm like cheering for Logan or not. <laughs> I can't decide. Oh, he got him. Oh, <gasps> Kevin. Oh my god. 
Now the refs got 2020. <laughs> Where the fuck were you a few months ago? <laughs> Oh, I know you guys are like, fuck this match. I know, I know. I don't hate that. I don't hate that at all. Do I stream the press conference? I probably will, yeah. Yeah, why not? Oh, he's going to beat his ass. <laughs> right. You guys are like, fuck that, fuck that. I think... I like that was a good... I like that. I think that was cool. Oh, Christ. I mean, I can understand why he is... Owens has lost it. I mean, that goof Jeff and then Theory and Waller and Kevin Owens now with Logan Paul up and down. And hey, they loosened the screws that time. <laughs> went from a decent match to an overbooked mess real quick. Eh, I don't really agree with that, but... What's my X handle? I'd love to follow you for wrestling talk. Uh, I am It's Wheezy Blonde on X. But Kevin Owens made him pay. Kevin Owens made him pay. So lost. Should have just thrown the, you know, you didn't have to put the brass knuckles on. Logan you know, you didn't have to do that. You could just toss them and not use them at all, you know. The like Kevin Owens in one clean. You, you didn't have to, like, you know, take Logan Paul's lead. You didn't have to try to be like him. But if Ric Flair would have done that, everyone would have loved it. Yeah, it would have been creative, right? It would have been creative. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, typical storylines, gotta love them. Man, eh, whatever. The ending was something different than the other same tired endings. That's how I feel. That that's that's honestly that's how I feel. Match rating. I wasn't I wasn't in love with the match, but it was nice to see something different at the end. You know, Logan Paul didn't just beat him with the brass knuckles and win. The ref saw that. Like I don't know. Can, are you are you satisfied with anything, Mab? What the fuck, dog? Thank you for another twenty gifted subs, putting us way over our goal. Thank you very much. Carrying Mab Rider, carrying this community on their back, carrying this community on their back, first of all. My goodness. We are also over on Twitch. We are 97, 98, 99. We're about four, three followers away from hitting 9,800. We did hit the 10K mark over on YouTube. Uh, YouTube is just uh, honestly doing better than Twitch. You guys are killing it. Uh <laughs> Twitch just needs to step it up. I don't know. <laughs> Plan a watch along ECW from the start. You know, if I did this full time, uh, that would totally be a possibility. But I will never promise anything just because uh, this is not my full time job. So, right. We don't see those types of endings often. So it was great. I like to see that there's some people that think like me in here tonight. It's very refreshing. <laughs> I don't get that very often. <laughs> You're still getting this game in two months? Me too. I'm excited. That we will play. We will stream that. We will play that for sure. You found me through Instagram. I love the content. Thank you so much, bud. I appreciate that. You're 20 away from 500. That's fucking insanity. You follow me later after this? Okay, Travis. Doesn't Wheezy look like Hogan's daughter? Cool. I don't care. Uh, hey, hey, glad it's one night because look at this mess. Yeah, Logan Paul's body really did. I look like me. Over here to the table, I look well, like you me. Know, I cannot no. believe that four weeks from tonight, you and I are going to be in Perth, Australia for Elimination Chamber. It is going to be incredible. It's going to be here live on Peacock as we continue the road to WrestleMania. Yeah, I, I'm just tired of seeing your shitty comments, so you're timed out. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't fucking around anymore. Trying to irritate me on purpose, and I'm over it. I hope they bring back the road to WrestleMania with the rise for 2K24. You're still on 2K22, you don't have 23. I tried to play 23 for a little bit, but then everyone just exceeded past me by leaps and bounds, you know? Hey, <laughs> Weezy, you know you look just like insert random blonde woman here, literally. Was that a yes or a no? I don't know what you said. Oh, I am getting you the Mania 40 edition, right? I don't know. Did you? Oh, 
I apologize for having shitty comments, but I will acknowledge the Wheezy Chief. I was talking about you. I was talking about some dude whose name was Dat Guy. He's just been a dick all night. Like, get out of here. Days get out of here. What Funko Pops do I have? I have one of the Liv Morgan ones. I've got Roman Reigns with both titles. Uh, I have all of the uh, House of the Dragon ones. That's what most of these are back here. I've got Damon Targaryen, Rhaenyra, uh, Viserys, Cyrax, and then I've got the Lions, um, Aiden Hutchinson. I've got Cody Rhodes. I've ordered the new Cody Rhodes one that's coming. I ordered a couple of them with um, the torn pack. All right, let's go. I love it. Oh, they're talking about a record. I thought we were starting them. The odds and we thank all of you for Any predictions on night. who might and be in the Hall of Fame this year? The only one that I've been saying is Paul Heyman, uh, just well, because it's in Philadelphia. And then ago, um, very and likely that we'll get uh, Bray Wyatt. Walked out of the WWE. A decade later, Man, Elimination Chamber at 5 a.m. Eastern is crazy. What I'm going to do, basically, is I'm just not going to get on social media all day. I have to work that morning. Victor Diaz giving up five community subs. Thank you so much for your support tonight, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, also, do you have to accept my Steam request for me to gift, or can I just gift? I've never done that before. I have no idea. Um, did you request me? the Royal Rumble. Obviously, I don't open this very often. Oh, look, that's you. There, confirm. The Royal Rumble. I accepted you. A stage where singular moments in time become immortalized. It's Flair from behind. Flair wins it. Rey Mysterio did it. Oscar, history maker. <laughs> Throwback attires go to WrestleMania. The road to WrestleMania begins with Bray gets in the Hall of Fame. Women vying for the we're at 825 of a thousand. We also hit uh, 9,804 followers. We are we're shooting up to 10K, you guys. We're we're getting there. I'll be curious to see uh, after we go off the air, you know how that continues to climb. Really, really excited to get to, to 10K on both of them. Philly is low key kind of nice. This is going to be a good mania where the Eagles and the 76ers play is in the same parking lot outside the main city. So it's going to be sweet traffic wise. Remind me and I'll get you a collector's cup. I get like six every year. My cabinet is full of 10 WrestleMania. That would be really nice, T Mac. I really appreciate that. That's so sweet. Um, that's so sweet. Last year, the ring general marched into the record books as well. Gunther earned the distinction of the longest time spent in a traditional Rumble match at an unbelievable one hour, 11 What time is it, Eastern? Uh, 1036. Later entry into the match significantly increased. TNA WWE Forbidden, forbidden Door started tonight, so Rainmaker no at number 30. Number Anything's possible, Mr. Bubinski. Number 30, where five superstars have claimed victory, including Cody Rhodes. Cody made his triumphant return from injury. I see a lot of you guys talking about Brock Lesnar. Uh, and I don't want to talk about it like in depth, but I will point out that like if you talk about him a lot during the run, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna read any more of the comments. I'm not gonna bring it up again. Um, I have very vocally been a very big Brock Lesnar fan for a very long time. I had action figures behind me. I had Funko Pops behind me. I had uh, a couple, I had a figure of him in the train. I had a lot of stuff of his. I had someone send me a sign of his with my name on it. Um, so that's been a little hard for me. This has been a little hard for me, so, um, yeah, I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Did I see the Detroit Lions full house intro on Instagram? No, no I didn't. I'll have to look later. It's a rough time to be a long-term fan. It really makes me, like, it makes it, and, and I, for a long time, I felt like I was sweezy trademark. That is me. Thank you for knowing me. <laughs> uh, found you on TikTok now enjoying your live stream. Well, thank you for being here, John Horton. Uh, but back to that, like, it makes me question being fans of really anybody. I think that's that's a big thing of, like, never meet your heroes and never idolize anyone. Never, you know, really sell your soul to anyone, I guess, if that makes sense. Humans are humans, and they fucking suck. That's for sure. 
Detroit Lions social media team always kills it. Very good friend of mine. Very good friend of mine. I, uh, I love the Lions. You want our truth to win? <laughs> Me too. So you shouldn't idolize MJF? No. I mean, it's one of those things. You can like people and be fans of people. There's nothing wrong with that. But just, uh, I have never been a big fan of anybody that has found them, like, that has come out as a fucking piece of shit. Like, so, I, I have a hard time, like, when that happens with people and then people still defend them, even though, it, like, it's proved they're a piece of shit. Like, that blows my fucking mind. Like, what the fuck do you mean? I've never been like that. Did USA Today's social media guy get a raise for making Tony Khan have a breakdown? You aren't a fan of Dahmer? No, I think people that are obsessed with serial killers are a fuck, fucking sociopaths. Like, that's fucking weird. I worked with a girl that had a cup that had serial killers on it. Like, that's fucking weird. That's so fucking weird. Get help. The whole, like, I knew he was number one. His reaction, I was like, I bet Jay's number one. I fucking bet Jay's number one. With the flowers. I don't think, oh, I'm not reading that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Easy, Blonde, I need your address. I'm getting you something very special in the soon future. My P.O. Box is P.O. Box 2993 South in Indiana. 46618? Six, six, <laughs> Can you imagine, like, getting a tattoo of someone and then it turns out they're a fucking piece of shit? Like, that would suck. Fuck do that. He's also got to be Iron Man, Jey Uso. But look at this place. This is a fight. Look at all of them. Look at all of them. Yee versus... Oh, my God. Please let Jimmy be number two. I'm counting on that tonight. I'm counting on a face-to-face -face between Jimmy and Jay. We haven't had it in a minute. I want it. I want it. I want it. I want it. Let's go. That word is really stupid, but it wasn't. It wasn't Mr. Channel. Love the names that people on the left and right come up with each other. It's fucking weird. Just be a human. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so silly. And the Royal Rumble is presented by Cricket with fast and powerful nationwide 5G coverage. Oh, what if Cody less. did it again? Four. He might. He might. Jey Uso, the time for smiling is over. The goal Jey remains the same. Okay. Win this and punch your ticket to Philadelphia. It is. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh my Look at his goodness. face. Look at his face. Yes. I, I honestly, I like that they're in the ring together. By themselves, nobody else yet. I like it. Someone said spam yeet in the chat if you love Jay Uso. You absolutely can do that. If you love Jay Uso, go ahead and just yeet a shit ton in either chat. That was from YouTube, but both of you, go for it. Go for it. Knock yourselves out. Jimmy Uso cost his brother Jey Uso the undisputed mm. championship at SummerSlam that these two brothers are going to go face to face. Well, their relationship turns so toxic. Jay Look at his face. Look at the way Jay's reacting to it. He don't like it. While Jimmy has remained doing the bidding of the bloodline, this is... This is surreal. Can you imagine the emotions going through these brothers, these twin brothers, one of the greatest tag teams of all time? Skull, thank you for the sub, buddy. I'm just a little enamored at the moment. I'm just a little enamored at the moment. WrestleMania main event.
finished it. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. If he has a kid, is he is the kid technically a Yetus fetus? Stop it. And Jay Uso may eliminate Jimmy early. No yeet. Jimmy trying to hang on. And now a kick. Remember, Cole, it was last night that Paul I like Jimmy's pants, Uso though. To enter the Royal Rumble match. This is very, uh, very Eddie yeah, Murphy. So I like win, it. And then he could go on to face Seth Rollins, not Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. Mm. Correct. Bring more gold to the bloodline. Out of the way just in time. Rikishi, number three. Stop it. I, I fucking die. I don't think this that's so happening. This is so surreal but watching these two battle each other. It is, Pat, because... Like Back in the days when they just wrestle in the backyard, you know. The greatest of all time. And the Uso splash. Jimmy, though, mm. of course, gets his knees up. Do I have any news about Ryback coming back to WWE? I don't work for no WWE, but I don't think that's happening. Three will enter this fray. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> what a random. The Aussie icon. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's hey, got a microphone. The Royal Rumble, you need the Sydney King here. And I'm the host of the Grace and Waller Effect, so let's have one right now. Okay. You got the Aussie icon here? Yeah. I want a booth who no one cares about this sibling rivalry. Main event, Jay Uso, you're a dead set flop. Whoa. Mate, ye is the most cringe thing I've ever heard. I mean, it, it, it is, though. It is, it is. Do something. No wonder they kicked out of the bloodline. Your blood oh. oh! Speaking oh. of getting kicked out. Waller never made it into the ring, right? So he's <laughs> still technically a part of the matchup. Have you ever had Thank you for clarifying. Thank you for clarifying. He, he's not actually limited because he didn't get in the ring. That was, might have been a first. Did someone just say Wild Dango Wilder, Waller? Wilder. Stop it. These are the better shorts Wilder. that he... These are some of the better shorts he's, he's ever had. And now uh, Waller and Jimmy to try to put Jay away. Said, Diplomat no. Diplomatic approach. This is who Kana thinks is a main eventer. I, I don't. I do actually like Grayson Waller. I really do. He does his job well. Waller obviously has all the physical tools. Phenomenal. I'll do you one better, Cole. Or I'm sorry, Pat. I would not be shocked to see Grayson Waller holding a major title here in WWE sooner than later. Can you imagine if Waller wins the Royal Rumble and then heads to his oh uh, home country of Australia next month? Sydney King, he said. The homecoming for the ages. Number four. Andrade? Yeah. Hey! <laughs> oh, awesome. Look at the the mask. The roar is for Andrade. I I expected a better reaction to that. Oh, um, did they not know? <laughs> Until he took his mask off. <laughs> it's like they were no one was saying anything, and then the mask came off, and I heard like a ah. <laughs> Come on, Andrade. Oh, my God. Yeah, they didn't know. <laughs> I just knew from the El Idolo, but okay. Jimmy. Andrade looking better than ever. Look at the star power we have right now. We've got an Aussie icon and a Mexican idol. In the Royal Rumble match. Andrade, I need um, uh, some of the stats from years Zalina. Hello? Oh! Uh, to the LWO. Andrade lasted almost a half an hour in Hell yeah. Matchup. Lots of people's spouses returning, huh? And Andrade now paying homage. How many amigos? Now he gets on quality time and catering. Let's Stop see. it, Brian. Come on, Andrade, get him out. Is that Flair's husband? Yeah, it is. Yep. Yep, Andrade is Flair's husband. And Grayson Waller able to survive, and now we await the entry. Buddy Murphy, I'd actually love that. <laughs> I don't think it's happening, but. Mm. 
Carmelo. Oh, baby. We need Pat McAfee back full time. I agree with you. I really do. It wasn't the classic El Idolo. No, it wasn't, but it still said El Idolo. Uh, what's going on with AEW? Everyone always wanted to leave WWE for any... Oh, eh, whatever. Uh, Murray, thank you for the resub, dude. Happy 10-month anniversary. I appreciate you. Always appreciate you, Murray. Thank you so much. Somebody knock Grayson out. Grayson Waller, I love you, but somebody get him out. Neither did Carmelo with a super kick. Now Carmelo nodding to main event Jey Uso, perhaps going to work together as a makeshift team for a bit. Andrade and Dom face-off is going to be gold. Do it. Take my money. Take my money. Here we go. So a here in -match. Sucks his English sucks, so Andrade will score. never be pushed All far. The superstars surveying the situation. Yeah. All of them realizing the magnitude I don't of agree this with opportunity. That. Taking a moment to strategize and start again. Did you see how over Trick Williams was on SmackDown? Yeah, I watched it yesterday. I have a reaction video to that. Because I love Trick Williams. He wasn't eliminated. He went flying through the middle rope moments ago. Carmelo Hayes. There we go. Bye. Love you, Grayson. Bye. Grayson Waller is done. We got a side point. Side point. We gotta do something every time there's a sign point from now until WrestleMania. We need, we need, we need something. I don't know if we need a button or if there's something I need to do. Like we gotta do something. Number six on his way into the Rumble match. <laughs> You've been gone a while, McAfee. I'd suggest you stay in your chair for this one, lest you suffer the wrath of the king. This is a much I, I mean, Pat McAfee normally. When you left Pat, <laughs> Pat McAfee normally would be up on the desk. <laughs> I guess you can still dance if you want. He's still dancing. <laughs> I saw him. I saw him. Oh, they're singing. Listen to the people. Trust me. Pat's so excited. Pat, Shinsuke doesn't like you anymore. What? How? Everybody hates me, but Shinsuke has to like me. Shinsuke Nakamura, who won the... Look at him go! Whatever, Pat, I get it. Nakamura oh. won the Royal Rumble event back in 2018 when he lasted more than 44 minutes that year. Nakamura and Carmelo Hayes... Oh. You've not liked this, Shin? Why? Shinsuke I feel like this is the best striker. that Shinsuke has been Slide in WWE. Rocks, At least on the main roster. Nakamura... You have extra push buttons that you can have from puppy training. You can record your voice to it and push it when someone points. I'll send you one of my extras. No friends. What, is, what do you mean? He operates on his own answers to no one. And I kicked on Torada. The voice crack from Pat. He was just excited. Has been wreaking havoc on Monday Night He's Raw. Just yeah. and guys, I'm not sure we're not seeing the best Shinsuke Nakamura we've ever seen. I agree with you. Ask Seth Rollins about that. Ask Cody Rhodes about that. Carmelo Hayes now in all types of trouble. Number seven will enter the matchup. Oh, well, the Emperor Ooh. Lucha Libre. Santos and Andrade in the ring at the same time. Rey Mysterio, none other than Santos Escobar. I think I think he would be working with LW. Yeah. Could you imagine if 2K24 has Pat McAfee dancing to Shinsuke's theme song? Uh, it'd be amazing. They are going quick with the entrances, but I mean, we are at, we were at 10:52. You met you figure this is gonna last at least an hour. My friend says Jelly Roll is 10 seats away from me. Generational talent in the ring. You've got Escobar, I'm so happy got for my Andrade, friend. I'm so Usos, jealous, but I'm so happy for game. my friend. I wish I would have gone. No, I don't. I wanted to be here. That's why. I would not have been, I wouldn't have been, I would have canceled my trip after this week. I wouldn't have gone. Your catch just pressed the fuck you button. <laughs> Tell Nate to say hi to Jelly. I feel like Jelly would be cool. Oh, goodness. He'd be cool about it. That was incredible. Me to the midsection of Carmelo Hayes. And now... These two luchadors. Will the Undertaker come into the Royal Rumble? I don't think so, no. Based on the women's match, I really don't think they're going to count on a lot of legends. You know, we might get, we might get some. Look at, uh, look at him trying to fucking. Come on, Andrade, kick his ass. Kick his ass, Andrade. Yeah. No! Escobar trying to turn his attention around and. 
Sí, sí, sí. Santos thought they were going to be in this thing together. Andrade said, ah, ah. I don't know that Andrade is yeah. the answer to anybody. Escobar, we've seen him running around with Angel and Umberto last night. That was the cute. arrival of Electro Lopez from Hear me NXT. out. AJ yeah, Lee saved Punk and No. Sure did. It's unnecessary. And maybe Andrade says, I want to stand on my own two feet. Maybe I'm not interested. This is entry number eight now in the men's rumble. Well, this is the man who... Uh, has completely changed his fortunes and <laughs> oh she's Smith coming out with him on. okay notice carrying cross the head of the final testament along with authors of pain you see scarlet paul ellerling as well look at the intensity <laughs> I mean, on the face murray of stop be, be fair be fair cross walking with purpose. be fair be fair feels like he can do some real damage oh uh, massive mind games and manipulation oh, oh no i'm yawning Both that was just kind of a fake yawn though it wasn't it wasn't real real i promise it wasn't for real for real though i promise you know the aspects of life that are often dismissed as Fall conspiracy and theories are too unbelievable to be real. That is where Do I the think final Rock testament exists. Will be in the that Royal is Rumble. what I don't Karrion know. Cross lives for. The you don't get the black and white. Oh and God! Jimmy Uso and Karrion Cross yawning during a cross entrance walkout. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not. Right now in this match. No Jimmy, what are you doing? Oh, Quick, clowning. Yeah, we can stop Jay together. King Crab, go to bed. Hello? Um. Jet. I don't know. It, it like froze. My stream, like my peacock did. This ring is filling up in a hurry. That's what I was about to say. As the time ticks on here. Uh -oh, a Escobar. lot of bodies. Escobar in danger of being tossed like over the top rope. As is Carmelo Hayes and Andrade from behind. <laughs> well, no, I fast forwarded I it to where it's supposed to be. Sorry. What he did last year to his dad, Rey Mysterio. Rey never entered the Royal Rumble match after he was taken out in the locker room area by his own son, Dirty Dominic So I think Mysterio. Punk will be number 30? I have no idea. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't really have any predictions on who's coming where besides fucking Sean Spears or Ty Dillinger at number 10. Yeah, I love that AJ Lee didn't come back and then the YouTube chat is still like, maybe AJ Lee comes back to help CM Punk. Like, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. And we'll look at this handle. But right now, Dominic Mysterio doing the wise thing, taking his time. How many people Dom are in the ring? The entire scene, Eight. The whole situation, and Dom will strike. What number is it now? Nine just right. came out. Dominic Nine Mysterio just came out, so no we're going hurry. on ten. To get into this matchup. I mean, when Dom finally gets in the fucking ring. Oh, that's nice. Real yeah. nice, kid. Yeah, Be fun. careful, Cole. You might end up getting traded for a honey bun. Well, I do want to tell you this about uh, about Dominic Mysterio. He's wearing a... Is oh, that Tom oh, or Nick? Whoa, he fucking yanked it. Dominic's wearing purple dyed cow skin boots. Oh, That's what happens when fans boots. get their hopes up. That's when they tell themselves before. things are happening that I aren't happening. That Dominic actually dyed them in his own toilet with Pruno. <laughs> okay. What? That's what we heard as well. You're ever the journalist, Graves. Hey, listen, I got my sources. I'm sure you do. Guys, can I tell you something Harry serious? AJ Lee is not coming back here, buddy. Pretty effective so far in the matchup. Looking to eliminate Shinsuke Nakamura now. Ah. Dirty Dom's really been doing a lot of stuff. It took Dom so long to get in the like damn Dom. ring. We're already uh, getting another entry. How about for like three years? <laughs> How about for his whole life? You don't have to like it. You just have to respect it. You have to appreciate it. Dirty Dom is a legit contender. <laughs> We're a third of the way through the rumble. No Ty Dillinger. Santos is in the ring. No, it's Ty Dillinger. We just got Carlito. Just fucking. What are we doing? Coming up short last night on Friday Night SmackDown against Santos Escobar. And you know, Carly would. To me, everyone automatically jumped to AJ coming back because of Punk. I keep saying, why does she need to come back? She really doesn't need to. No, that's what I've been saying too. Because her husband is back doesn't mean she needs to or wants to. Which she's been training. Shut up. So he's still she's always training. In the she's in good shape. She was on heels. Of the sky high Doesn't mean she wants to be on TV. IQ she was working with Wow. <clears> you know, leave her alone. In real life. 
Yeah, it could be described as a lot of other things, too. Yeah, we know how Carlito... Carlito! Anyways, not the same reaction I had when he debuted at Backlash. That's that's for sure, but he's got an apple in his pants. Ray's still out with a knee injury. Oh, I love it. We've already had the Waller effect. Why not Spit. Who's spitting on? He hasn't really done that a whole lot. He's still not. He just ate the apple. Dominic will take it, I guess. Oh, yeah! Now that's cool. I stand corrected. <laughs> oh, no! See you, bye! Bye! Well, I guess the best universities in Mexico couldn't provide Santos with the answer to... Look at all the Latino power. There's so much. And the final prayer by Cross. Jeez. At number 11, Kerry and Cross may need a prayer. <laughs> Bobber's here. Oh, Bobber's here. Everybody, well, it's over. Everybody just go home. Don't even bother because, he, you know, it's Bobber. He's going to clear house. He's clearing house. <laughs> she didn't wrestle when she was with, that, with WoW. No, she was a producer, but still, that's what I mean. She was working with WoW. Fuck. I don't care what Sasha makes us. I, th I just, I just don't care. I'm so tired of speculation. This is the sixth rumble. Oh, oh, my wow. Goodness. Really put Andrade through the ring. Slam dunk. And Dominic's like, uh-uh. Oh, God, Dom. Uh, he did stop Bobby Lashley for a moment. Reboito. Reboito Lashley. Oh, of Dominic. His moment was better than nothing. A moment, a moment. Spears for everybody, says Bobby Lashley. You get a spear. You get a spear. You get a spear. Oh, there goes Carlito. Oh, oh. There's no way in hell Carrion is going to eliminate Bobber. Yeah, there he goes. Carrion's done. All right. <laughs> oh, shit. That was, see, look, he's clearing. Clearing house. I'll be like Pat McAfee, We're like you just said. Clearing Haas. AOP. They come in Rezar, led by Paul Ellering, the AOP. Oh. Authors of pain marching out here. Over 600 pounds of pure destruction. Bobby Lashley suffering a kick to the back of an out and out. Nakamura and Andrade. Lashley what are they trying the to do? What are they doing? Bobby trying to hang on. Carmelo Hayes joining the fray. And now cross, uh, cross Jungle Boy would be funny. Jungle Boy would be funny. Bobber, what? Not the way he wanted to be thrown out, but it it's legal. Uh oh! Now Bobby going right after Cross and the ALP out there as well. Damn. Okay. Take him and Razor. They're they're eliminating way faster. Way faster. Who the fuck is this? The Street Profits. Talking Tez. The Street Profits. I see what they're doing. Okay. Okay. These two groups have had issues for weeks and it, it I didn't see who got Bobby out. Did, did you guys? What happened there? Was was that a uh, I forget who I saw in the corner. Is it Gunther? No, it's Ludwig. Lud Ludwig. First time in his career, Ludwig Carrion pulled him off with him. Okay. Roger's been on a roll. The personification of elegance and <laughs> Ludwig's like, what, what happened? What's going on? He's confused. He's looking mighty slippery. That's right. Mighty slippery. With Mr. Kaiser. <laughs> yeah, he did. He's confused. Also looks like Eskimo, highly educated, living in most of his life growing up in a very high part of society uh, you can learn a lot about how to culture yourself from ludwig kaiser also how to hurt your opponent i understand he knows which fork salad like fork and which you know he's the other side, trying to figure out what's going on lucky number well, 13 i don't know who, don't, who we gonna get well, those are the, who we gonna get of, i think from what i've heard the are you are you implying that there's an elitism to no. ludwig kaiser? is mellow getting society? rocked oh nakamura trying to eliminate carmelo hayes I'll tell you what, he has good reason to peacock around. Though. Look at um, that guy. We have advertisement oh, everywhere on this pay-per-view. I mean, that's how they pay bills. I swear during the pre-show they showed Gunther arriving and someone on the show said he was entering number one. They lied. 
Andrade up on Jimmy's shoulders. I'm just enjoying watching Ludwig Kaiser. Do I don't know what Pixel Pulse play is saying. I do know that Ludwig is dating Tiffany Stratton. And, and quite, a, quite a delight to be around outside of it. A -town. Oh, God. Speaking of delights to be around. Oh, God. At number 13, Austin Theory, a man who has a long history with our broadcast partner, Pat McAfee. Oh, God, we got Pat. Maybe Pat will be 14. I don't know. I'm just really holding on to the fact that Pat could enter. <laughs> is it just me at this point? I like the women's Royal Rumble better. You know what, T-Mac? Um, so far, me too. So far, me too. Um, I feel like the women's match had a lot more moments. But maybe I'm just focusing on the latter half. The cool thing about the women's match, not to fucking complain. Like, I'm, not compl I'm trying not to complain. But comparing the two at the moment... You, they really did focus around a central character in that match, and it was Bailey. They did. Uh, that's not really happening with this, which makes me think that uh, there was no one in the ring right now that's winning. So maybe that's why. And obviously, I'm undefeated against him in matches, but he wasn't doing stuff like this. This is going to be one. I think this Rumble is going to be one of the ones where the latter half is where it gets interesting. They're getting through this first half, and there's going to be a lot of action in the back end. So that's okay. history that night. The hey, biggest thing that happened so far, I think, is uh, uh, one the the moment at the the moment at the very beginning between the twins, and then we had Andrade. You talking about the night when Austin? We don't need the death. I don't remember the details, but I just know the numbers are. This is number fourteen. Dominic's got back up. Uh, the women's rumble has been great for a couple years now. Well, this one in particular, man, better storytelling. I couldn't figure out why I like the women's match more, but you hit the nail on the coffin. Cool, right? Having damage, I mean, having damage control be centralized in that match for a while because you were trying to figure out like what was going on with damage control, um, you know, with Bailey, and then damage control got eliminated, and then you're like, oh fuck, okay, what are we doing? What's going on? Like they, they did, they, they did great. They did so good. Multiple things going on between multiple people. It was awesome. You can't help but look at Finn in Dawn. But now we've got Finn here. Uh -oh, so we've got two members oh, of eliminated. Judgment Day in there. Mello just got eliminated. Damn, that sucks. Dirty Dom. And now Balor and Dominic, <sighs> allies, get the double team in the ring. But we don't have Waller and Theory in the match at the same Such time. Both the twins the are still in. Day. We've got Shinsuke here. So Jimmy and Jay, Uzo, who has started this match, are still in. And Finn Balor off the sling blade, now going after Andrade. Hey. Putting in that work on Austin Theory in the corner. Now Balor If this happens right now and you just ruin something for me, we're going to have to Andrade trying to avoid elimination. Okay. Finn with a couple of big stumps. <laughs> now Theory. Roseanne, I'm not hearing you out. AJ Lee's not saving Punk in the Rumble stop. It's not happening. So Jimmy and Jay have just gone over 24 minutes in this match. And now at number 15, we're halfway. Halfway through, we got Cody Rhodes. So see, here we're starting the latter half. Here we're starting the latter half. So now the the real main eventers are going to start coming out right now. Maybe a couple legends. See how long it takes to get to the ring. By the time, by the time he gets down there, we're gonna. We're gonna have someone else entering. <laughs> huh. I like that jacket. Oh yeah, we're killing time. <laughs> Twenty-six years ago. Stone Cold Steve Austin went back to back. All right. Are you going to clear house? You're going to knock out like three people at once? Or wouldn't it be fucking funny if Cody Rhodes just got in the ring and then Austin Theory tosses him out? I do it. <laughs> Cody got it right off the bat. And he stood up. And Austin Theory's gone. Okay. All right. All right. Theory's gone. Let's go. I love your excitement. 
And Cody Rhodes said winning here tonight would mean so much to him, so much to his family. I love that Jimmy, Jimmy and Jay are still just collectively just kicking each other's ass throughout the entire match. They're not really focusing in on them, though. Like, the cameras aren't focusing on them. Like, when they, when they zoom out, you see it happening. And number 16... Oh, Christ. I hate that that's my reaction. I'm sorry. If you ask me one more time if Rock is coming at 30, dog, I don't know. No idea. I'm not from the future, dog. I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. Okay, Jordan Grace's tweet. All right, all right. Fair reaction to have. I just want to, you know, I have given, I've given Bronson Reed chances, man. I really have. They just haven't, they have just haven't involved them in anything that, like, I'm, I'm super. I don't know that I'm invested in. Absolutely. It's like it never goes anywhere. It never goes. That's a think that's a perfect way to describe it. It just never goes anywhere. He was having banger matches with, um, was it Ivar? Just a round ball of muscle. A round ball of muscle. Back if he gets it. And now, uh oh, Ludwig Kaiser in danger of being tossed. And oh Andrade shit! Trying to help oh the shit! Efforts. Cody's wrapped up in that pile as well. And look at Reed. Bronson Reed just double Samoan dropped. Punk better come up before 26, otherwise I'm booing his lazy ass. <laughs> Cody was <gasps> come on. Able to survive. Half of the judgment day. Now it wouldn't make sense after this big meaty man is out here that Big E. <laughs> <gasps> no! No! Boo! I hate that. Made a hell of a footprint on his first night back. And Shinsuke and Cody Rose. Remember Nakamura warned Cody a number of weeks ago. I knew we were probably going to see that. The Shinsuke and Cody. And it's tonight on the Rumble. Nakamura has made Cody Rose life absolute hell recently. Jay Uso on the corner. No. Shinsuke with a boot to the mouth of Cody Rhodes. Yes, it is. And at number seven, I got excited. <laughs> I did. I got excited. I'm sorry. I love you, Kofi. But I heard it and I was like, he moves into there could be anybody. <laughs> Kane, it's Kofi Kingston, everybody. It's Kofi Kingston. <laughs> Damn it. I love you, Kofi. Right now, that was Nakamura dirty to do to him, to though. Spoil Cody's dreams. Oh my God, Cody Rhodes in trouble Oof. up on the top rope and able to survive. You know, speaking of Kofi Kingston, Monday night. Watch them do it again. Watch them do it again. He battles Gunther for the Intercontinental Championship. What if we hear? It's a Kofi new day. Yes, it is again. It means to, oh, cross Don't you dare Nakamura. be sour, Kofi Mania. I'm with you. I'm with you. I love Kofi. Since 16 Royal Rumbles. Here's Mr. Royal Rumble. Kofi Mania several yep. years back. Yeah, they're, they're even mentioning Kofi Mania. WrestleMania history. And now Ludwig Kaiser trying to soften Kofi up for the match. Shin's gone. Against Imperium's Gunther. Didn't even see it happen. Kingston trying to hang on. Kofi dumped over. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Kofi trying to eliminate Ludwig Kaiser here. Kaiser hanging on. No, Ludriz. Barely survives. Kingston, oh, Kaiser, he good night. Okay. Fine. I kind of wanted Gunther and Ludwig in the ring together. Number 18 will now enter the Royal Rumble match. No, speak of the devil. No, no. You just missed it, Gunther. Of the ring general, the WWE Intercontinental. He ain't gonna champion. slap your hand. He's good. Oh, as Kaiser still sitting there. Tonight marks day number 596 as champion. Certainly. <laughs> Can you say that in English, though, please? What is he? You're a disappointment. Someone in the crowd yelled that at him. <laughs> Please. Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. 
last year, Gunther entered at number Do I like one. Gunther? Yeah. He lasted a record one hour, 11 minutes, 40 seconds before he was eliminated <laughs> by Cody Rhodes. <laughs> Jimmy! <laughs> Gunther has no friends unless they're named Kaiser and Vinci. Now Big Bronson oh, Reed God. with Gunther up on his shoulders. And even they let him. Who the hell is Ludris? Ludris Kaiser. Hello. Man, he is so uncultured. Impressive as Gunther. And the two men, the two finalists of last year's Royal Rumble match. Before Cody eliminated Gunther to win the whole thing last year. Oh, fuck. <laughs> a big one. Kofi bringing the fight to the champion and Gunther, a rare misstep by the champion. No. No. The momentum it would give him going into Monday night. All it takes is one moment. Oh, God. Shh. <laughs> and now Kofi takes to dump down. Are going to do Cody like, I mean, Kofi like this? Shit. Takes to eliminate it. Gunther sending a message. Come on All right. Expecting at least a little of that Kofi Kingston Rumble magic, but not. You do have to be. Case. You do have to go over the top rope, George. At number they 19, literally all have. This man has been on an absolute roll over the last month. From the Viking Raiders, the three hundred plus okay. pound Ivar storming his way to the ring. I have been absolutely blown away. Yeah, no special Kofi thing this year. I mean, in the performances of okay. this behemoth. Okay, Ivar okay. is a freak of nature and twice as intense. The Ivar, oh! what an incredible match. Stole the show this past Monday night against Chad Gable of the Alpha Academy. Under no circumstance should a man that big be able to move as quickly. Bang, sit down. As Ivar does. He's not a man, he's Something a Something is happening. This is a going a little too quick. This is going real quick. Ivar. We're we're 35 yeah, minutes in. Ivar a sleeper. It's going to be tough with that beard. How's the beard going to 35 ish. I mean, well, it's, uh, it's over half hour. You see? Ah. You are one of the most foolish human beings. I work. Look, you see? Jimmy. Now he's stepping up. No yeet! Bang. No yeet! <laughs> Jimmy fell for it from the Viking. That's tough. Thanks, King Crab. I appreciate you. Oh, the big boys. See, I mean, they were having banger matches. It's just like it never went anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Ivar's growing on you. I like Ivar. Ivar should not be able to move in the way that he does. Like, he shouldn't, but he does. That is not Sarah Logan's husband. Braun. 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 I'm loving this. Number 20, former NXT champion. Did they just say wrong Braun? Did you see hear that on commentary? Oh, baby, this has been a long time coming. Spear, 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 spear. Clearhouse. Okay, here we go. One. 23 miles per hour when he hits the ropes. That's faster than Tyreek Hill. He's such a That's That speeding in a school zone, Cole. Look at the explosion. Bang! The that's just running through the damn principal's office in your car. <laughs> and the power as well. Intense, dominant, and oh. now he eliminates Jimmy. No yeet. was almost a little too intense for his own good. Spear. Oh, oh, oh. Two. Look at Braun Oh, that was easy. Bye, Finn. Eliminated. Poor Finn. I feel bad for Finn. Oh, this match is fine. Oh, look at this. Oh, I would pay for this. Someone just said, go, Berg. Gunther and Breaker. And Gunther looking to break Breaker here. Breaker, though, stands on his feet. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Gunther escapes out the back. Misses wildly. Breaker oh, he speared here. Gunther. Cuts Gunther in half. Oh shit! The fury they like the him. Rumble match. Well, up next is number 21. <laughs> Talk 
All right. You almost sapiens. Rise. Seven three. He's got MVP with him too. Haven't seen them in a minute. Omas. Uh, I'm reading a lot of comments over on YouTube, and y'all are acting like you know shit, but you don't know shit. Brombreaker is not Corey J's husband. I actually don't think they're together anymore. I could be wrong about that. Um, Rick Steiner stun. Son, yes, you are correct about that. Is Brom the guy to do it? I don't think so. If you ask who Code E is one more time, I'm going to block you. Shut up. Uh, quit saying that and quit tagging me. guy's got hands like catcher's bits. I like to describe them as frying pants. Mal Muscle Mom, Man Malcolm did an interview with Omos. I fucking love Omos. Look how big he is. Over 11 minutes, and Omos now looks to create total destruction and chaos. He is just, I, I cannot get, oh my God, <laughs> how big this man is. Look at, he, Bronson Reed is a huge individual. He makes Bronson look small. He looks like a normal size human being next to Omos. Omos is just laughing at him. Yeah, Bronson <laughs> eliminated. I Bronson fucking love Omos. 330 pounds plus. We at some point, we have to get Oba Femi and Omos in a match together. Breaker about just cut Ivar in half. Yep, that's it. And now we eliminate it as we go now to uh, entry number 22. <clears throat> See what you're made of, Braun. Hey. What? I fucking told you! What? Good luck. I told you! What are you? You came to ruin my life. <laughs> and in the rubble. <laughs> you're in the rubble match. Go! Go, Pat, go! Go, Pat, go! go Get in there! Get in there! It's going down! It's going down! Get your ass in there! You're the main <laughs> Cole's hyping him up. You're the main event of WrestleMania. I hate that this is the most hype I've got about anything. What could go wrong? I would like to see a Gunther chop. They're laughing at him. They're like, I would love to see a Gunther chop. Please, God. Bronze, look at Braun. He's fucking loving it. No, come on, Pat! <laughs> I'm gonna flip his fall over in my chair. Carefully climbing over the top rope. <laughs> come on, Pat! Oh, wait a minute! Come on, Pat! Come on, Pat! Come on, Pat! You can do it! <laughs> McAfee, uh, he's not, he's not used to wearing sleeves, you guys. He's not used to wearing sleeves. <laughs> I see a couple of you saying that you hate this. Come on. Come on. Are you not sports entertained? Come on. How big is that thing in there? He said, How big is that thing? Oh, shut up, Cole. Why'd you guys let me in there? I was hoping you got scared. It was good. Yeah, oh, wait a minute. Omos is eliminated by Breaker. I should have done that. I love that that big moment happened as JD McDonough is entering, and no one gives a fuck that JD McDonough is coming down to the ring. No one gives a shit. Okay, so Omas, I feel like Omas being eliminated should have been highlighted a little more. Like, he's just, Omas is just suddenly not, in. the biggest motherfucker is so, just suddenly not. Is J.D. McDonough still, in fact, in the Judgment Day? <laughs> he is. Our truth sort of okay, misinterpreted I, the whole I, the whole thing. It's, it's tough to tell. I mean, you know, our truth. Oh my God! Why'd you guys let me do that? I, literally, I was hoping Gunther chopped you. I was. It, I was hoping for that too. I wanted a Gunther chop on Pat. Like yard. So you were officially in the match for 38 seconds. When I was in the match, I was in for one minute, 24 seconds, which means I still... Michael Cole is just like, I was in there oh, longer than you. Cole, was Omos in there whenever you were in the... Listen were to them, you, listen to them. No seven foot three, Cole! What's the, oh. matter? What's the matter, Pat? You had, like, I don't need to know if Pat replaced anybody. It's irrelevant human. to me. Uh, Cody Rhodes, again, the, uh, I'm focusing on the now and this match. Uh -oh. and I don't want to talk about people that don't deserve to be talked about. Cody looking to eliminate Gunther once again! 
<clears throat> I got an idea. Next year, y'all could both enter the match, and I'll just sit out here by myself. Right, Corey, get your ass everywhere. in there. You I fucking can. Yeah, that was a problem. Yeah, I'm slipped on the ropes. You guys see me? Yeah, at least, at least that's. Jimmy Uso was not still in, no. You're damn right. You're damn right. Four, number twenty-four. <laughs> Yeah, two appearances one night. It's the right one. It's the right one. It's the right one, Truth. You're right. You're right. He said, what are you doing? JD, there's your fault. He was helping you get in. He was helping you get in the ring, though. Tom and Nick. I think it's kind of charming. He's ready to tag in. <laughs> he confused Adam Pierce with Nick Aldis tonight. He well, is, is confused Nick Aldis with Adam Pierce last night. Is R-Truth trying to t tag Tom or Nick? I'm not sure, but it's not a tag match, Truth. <laughs> Meanwhile, Truth. with a sleeper on Tom. It's <laughs> true. <laughs> Truth refusing to help Tom. Well, he, doesn't even have to he doesn't even have the tag rope. Uh, I love our truth being a stickler for the rules. <laughs> and, and Tom made a tag. Hot tag in the Royal Rumble. And our truth is the. They let him go up against Gunther. Oh my God, he's getting moves no in against Gunther. In this match. <gasps> you were officially. Oh! oh my God. Gunther, you a real one. Holy shit. Cody is still in there. Yeah. Cody's just sitting there letting the truth have his moment. Look at look at Cody's face. the wrong way. And Gunther saw him the whole time. <laughs> and now Cody <laughs> from behind. Cody tried to pick the leg of the <laughs> ring general and the champion caught him. <laughs> Good job by the way, Pat. Uh, I, number 25 is coming. <laughs> I was it's his childhood time. hero though. Honest, That's his childhood hero. Really you really need him. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you probably be pretty good in gym class. <laughs> Couldn't touch my toes. <laughs> I, I mean, it just makes it makes sense that anyway, he would come out. Miz. So our truth got to back up as well with the awesome truth, the Miz. That is true. Massive, I told you, massive. latter half, very latter half. Well, the Miz now will tie Dolph Ziggler for third. Dude, Austin Theory dared this little kid to come out of the crowd and fight him tonight. as he was heading backstage and goes, yeah, "I'll knock you out in front of your mom, kid." And now kicks to the chest of Gunther. Miz took the champion to the limit multiple times recently. Miz and Gunther, <laughs> but <laughs> DDT. Fortunately for Miz, he's forbidden from challenging. Is that a Gunther Stanley Cup? Intercon uh, no, it's an Amazon no. knockoff. Wait a minute. Uh, someone got it. One of my my coach actually got it for me for my birthday. Long time. Uh, I highly recommend it. Like, don't pay for don't pay now, for a Stanley. Just awesome go team. on Amazon and get like the knockoff ones. This one's great. Still got it. It's half the Miz price. Better be, better be careful. So don't wait, 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 wait. So Miz is turning his attention to Dominic. Our truth <laughs> just saving me. And I had the pink ones before Dominic. the white ladies were uh, fighting over them in Target. So. For all we know, our truth <laughs> thinks he's in the new Marine. No, you're not in there. He might be. Stanley's are expensive. They're like 50 to 70 bucks depending on which one you get. What is the big deal with those cups? It's just because every girl has one walking around trying to stay hydrated. Don't get me wrong. I like my emotional support water bottle. I ain't paying $70 for one. Number 26 on his way. DP? Senior Money in the Bank. Damien Priest. Doesn't have his briefcase. Can you imagine, guys, if Priest wins the <clears> Rumble <throat> tonight? Yeah, look on Amazon. They're, they're great. I've had a couple. The this one is really good, though, because I've like had one before that, happens, that the color well was, like, paint. This isn't. Yes. Oh, uh, the paint, like, chipped off. This is much better, whatever well, this well, is. Well, Priest and Truth were, <clears> I thought, buddies, right? And our truth eliminated by Damien Priest. Boo! Boo! I hate so it. We should have had more between DP. We'll it's okay. Truth, truth did great. He did great, honey. Yeah. He did great. Uh, yeah. He did great. What? you got to get cut up. No, I, that's why I'm so confused. Why would Damien Priest do I know we only have four left, man. This Rumble is raw, heavy. Hasn't oh! been a SmackDown wrestler since number 13. Good call out. Really. Well, I mean, I mean, Sorry, Truth. Think about it, Pat. If you're Damien Priest and you have the Money in the Bank contract. Oh, ho. DP can eliminate. Oh, 
Why wouldn't you How many are in the ring right now? Um, uh, one, two, three, four, six. The first one doesn't work. <clears> We've <throat> got Cody Rhodes, Damian Priest, The Miz, uh, Jay Uso, Dominic Mysterio. In the Royal Rumble match, and look at the power of the nightmare. They're going to try to eliminate Priest, who's out to the apron of the ring now. Cody Rhodes will priest end the dream. Thanks, Chad. I, I went appreciate into the it. ring for my brief stint. Cody Rhodes. They don't bring back me. old timers in the Rumble anymore. They just don't need to. Um, and I'm, I'm honestly, Shut it's refreshing to see that they didn't. Item 27, number 27. Look at the monitor. That's I have more to say about that, but I will in a sec. Come on. There he is. Oh okay. My God. <laughs> Pat McAfee hasn't been here since CM Punk's been back, so he goes, "Oh my God." <laughs> All right, Punk. He wasn't 30. He wasn't 30. He wasn't 30. He wasn't 30. Shit. If you guys bring up the fucking ads, I swear to God. Lazy ass entry. <laughs> See back. Chill. CM Punk on a WWE televised match. This is the Royal Rumble. Nose tippies? For nearly 20 years, and when it comes to believing in yourself, more nose tippies? Personal <laughs> conviction, no one comes close. Even if it's a detriment to yourself, when Punk tells you he's gonna do something, damn it, Ginger! Oh my god! The last time oh my CM god! Punk oh my god! That had to fucking cross my mind until I saw you say that. Oh my god! <laughs> Does someone say who's he? <laughs> Ads of personality. <laughs> Who may be in the best shape so of his sure. career. A little added muscle. <sighs> Dominic and CM Punk. Yes. Those two know each other. Oh, my God. This is Punk's, Punk's first ball. match since being back. I mean, at least on uh, and televised. Priest over the right hand. And think about this. If you're Damian Priest, if you're... Cody, All right, we're already going on 28. We're already right going now. on 28. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? More than to be the one to spoil CM Punk's big return. Number 28 is Ricochet. And who will ever <laughs> forget what happened last year when he and Logan Paul launched themselves I'm not the saying top shit. Rope, collided high above the ring. I'm not the saying shit. In the history of the Royal Rumble. I'm not doing it. Well, tonight, unfortunately, I'm not doing it. It's not about a viral moment. It's about watch him, watch him get in to immediately. With a golden opportunity. <clears throat> and this is what Ricochet needs to do. Ricochet taking out Miz and Damian Priest picking Ricochet out. I, I mean, looking at the field that's in the ring right now, aside from Gunther, I think the, the power advantage has I thought it was happening Damian right away. <laughs> Obviously, when it comes to the aerial game, Ricochet is second I, to You know, yet, I really expected Rich someone from the Fatal 4-Way right to, to be in, in here. Um, this Uso might be... Oh, God. I don't want to... I hate being that person. I don't want to I don't want to talk that way. Um, one, but this just might be something that people weren't tonight. expecting. We might not have a big holy shit. I, I don't think at this point... At this point, I don't think Okada and I don't think MJF. Not at all. Not at all. I don't. I don't These think that's what's jumps. going on. I don't think Miz <clears throat> ever wants to see Gunther again. Yeah, it ain't happening. So number twenty-nine. Body slam by Punk. Two I just get anxious, well, especially twenty-nine and thirty. I'm anxious. <sighs> Drew McIntyre. Well, the path will not get any yep. easier for any of the men in the ring right now, because here comes. The Scottish Warrior. Drew McIntyre. <laughs> Drew McIntyre. No, I understand. It was never going to be MJF. I, I get that. I just, we, we fantasy book in a way that we let ourselves down. And I'm saying we, I don't do it, but I'm saying we, like, as a whole, so we can all take accountability, so that we can all take accountability. Watch fucking Hulk Hogan be number 30. goodness. A lot of you are saying The Rock. Are we going to... Oh, let's hurry up. Let's hurry up. Let's hurry up. Look at this. Jey Uso. That's you. 50 <clears throat> minutes so far in this match. And McIntyre, we all know how he feels about Jey Uso. Has Very quick 30-second prediction. Go. For number 30. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Hurry up.
You've got 23 seconds and my shit is fucking freezing. What is going on? Oh my God. Oh my God. In between Priest and McIntyre. Yeah, they were in the main mm. event on Monday Night Raw this 13 week. seconds. 12, 11. Looking eye to eye to each other in there. 10. McIntyre believes he should be champ today if it wasn't for Priest. Oh. I'm anxious. Look at me. I'm a mess. Jey Uso, no. <clears throat> Bout of energy. I want to know where Jay is drawing okay. this from. Predictions are done. Kick to YouTube's out. popping oh, off. They're all oh, rock, 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 gender, Randy, rock. Oh my God, you guys are popping off. So many people are still saying Okada. Jay just got eliminated. All right, who's left? Royal Rumble match. Sami Zayn. Let's go. The last time we saw Sami Zayn, he had the hell beaten out of him by an angry Drew McIntyre. All right. It's Sami Zayn, everybody. Sami Zayn is number 30 now. Let's uh, wait a little bit, and then we will do a prediction as far as who we think is winning this thing then. Shit, we've got Gunther, we've got Sammy, Drew McIntyre, Damian Priest, Cody Rhodes, and fucking Ricochet is in there. That is not, that is not how I saw this going down, truthfully. Truthfully, not at all how I saw this going down. There's no way something insane isn't going to happen after the winner. It might not. It might not. Damian Priest over the top. Who's left? You're enjoying the rumble through me. One more time, Damian Priest, Ricochet, Cody Rhodes, uh, Sami Zayn, Gunther, Drew McIntyre. That's who we've got. One, two, how many is that? Oh, CM Punk. Oh, Drew just went over the top rope. We've got Rhodes. We've got Sami trying to kick him out, and then Gunther's coming up behind Sam Sammy. Yeah, Sammy has got a chop to the chest from Gunther. One of these men is going to WrestleMania. Sami Zayn used to have a windpipe. Until Gunther just chopped Sam shot. used to he used to have God. a windpipe. Ricochet, a recoil. Yeah, no legends tonight, man. Yeah, YouTube is not happy. YouTube comments are not happy. It, the epitome of negativity is YouTube, and they are letting me know. They hate the Royal Rumble. Surprise 31 entrant. What if we start getting another countdown and they do a 40 man? And we didn't know. I'm kidding. It's probably. <laughs> I'm being crazy. I'm being crazy now. But <laughs> I'm just trying to help you guys. <laughs> oh, Ricochet's gone. We knew that was Usually sure-footed Ricochet. We are now down to six. Drew eliminated. Drew eliminated. Uh, Ricochet. So now all the men are on the side of the ring. All sitting on the ropes. Cody, DP. CM Punk, Gunther. Moment. Dreams made, careers made. They're all staring each other down. Staring each other down. And now. Get DP out now of there. Punk. Well, Cody's got DP in the corner. Back in time with a chop to oh. say. CM Punk with a dump Gunther over the top rope. Cody Rhodes now and Damian Priest. Uh oh, Cody, that double underhook. Down with Priest. And now Gunther with that drop <laughs> Someone said, fuck this rumble. It has kind of been meh. McIntyre, future <clears> shot. <throat> yeah, you guys are not. You guys are not feeling it. You guys are not feeling this, man. Sammy Pepsi Phil. Pepsi Phil. Pepsi Phil. Pepsi Phil. This is going to feel good for Sammy if he can hit it. Paloma kick. Priest with a kick of his own. You need to be careful with that DP turn. talk, please. Out. His name is Priest. He could be DP. Remember Rangers Edge and Sami Zayn. Priest misses wildly. Sami Zayn. Damien Priest is out. Sami Zayn just eliminated Damien. Sami Zayn. Oh, no. Drew McIntyre just eliminated Sami Zayn. Oh, no. Sami Zayn. Eliminate Sami. The crowd, I think the crowd was, again, Rose, they expect Punk, they did not uh, they McIntyre, didn't expect this they expected something else. <clears throat> Seth Rollins up in the suite. The world champion, looking on from a skybox. Look at that thing of popcorn. 
Roman Reigns is up in a sweet watch. Final four? Rollins to face them All right. Championship <clears throat> at WrestleMania. The final four. Punk, McIntyre, Rhodes, Gunther. CM Punk. CM Punk. High stakes, high pressure. I'm getting it up right now. Hold your horses. And Punk now delivering chops to Predictions are up. Final four, go. You got a minute. Shrugged and decided to start fighting again. And McIntyre <clears throat> laying it in. He has no love loss for CM Punk. The ring may be clear. Priest should out, cash in on you, Rollins. Does not get He's up in a sweep. Four of the best competitors <clears throat> on the planet Earth. Cody Rhodes with a Cody Cutter. Uh oh. Punk's night might be through. Oh, and a God. close line by Gunther. Cody's head might be missing. <laughs> Drew McIntyre. Seth is still recovering from injury, yeah. Has been <clears throat> It'll be a few weeks, I think. Just, <clears throat> oh my gosh, I'm losing my voice from this. To watch, actually. Uh, Drew McIntyre's been very open about his personal feelings towards yep. CM Punk. A chop by Gunther to Cody as well. Gunther still Gunther, has Gunther Punk. Uh, YouTube, here, I'll give you up. Uh, eliminating him last year. Chop fest. We talk about will, about guts, about heart. Cody displayed it last year. Gunther it's about drive, it's about power. Year. We stay hungry, we devour. Entire, put in the work, put in the hours, Punk. and take what's ours. It's been 10 years in the making tonight. I assure you, CM Punk is not going down in embarrassment. Not tonight. <laughs> Punk will fight till his body gives out if that's what it takes. Another there you, there you guys go. You can have a pull. Oh, that done it. It'll get a little skewed because it doesn't end, but Punk? so that way you don't all just have to comment. <laughs> oh, baby. Who could forget the clashes in Come on, Drew. McIntyre, Gunther. Oh, fuck you, Drew. And fuck Punk you, Drew McIntyre. McIntyre <sighs> My throat. I don't. Me throat. Put in the hours. Take the hours. McIntyre's got him. Uh, if you are watching over on YouTube and you do not normally watch me, I am here every Monday and Friday for Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown and all major WWE PLEs. My name is Weezy Blonde. Punk sidesteps. Punk now. We're going to see it. Calling for it. Hoisting McIntyre. Oh, my God. He's gonna, Punk's going to hurt himself. Punk's gonna hurt. He's gonna hurt himself. Oh, the Glasgow kiss. Meanwhile, Cody doing his best to not succumb to the sleeper hold applied by the Intercontinental Champion Gunther. The final four in the Royal Rumble match. This has gotten brutal in here. Sleeper again by Gunther. Claymore to Gunther by McIntyre. <clears throat> one of them. One of them is going. One of them is going. For Drew McIntyre. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this position. <laughs> McIntyre warned the world that he was going to storm through the Royal Rumble match. Claymore to Punk. McIntyre's prophecy may come true. Too big, too strong, too explosive. Now it's time to start dumping people over the top rope. And if you're Cody Rhodes or you're Gunther, <laughs> someone's a Punk Drew is so 2020. For a significant Stop. amount of time, and you what if both Punk and Cody? You know what? I think it's been a while ago. since we've had something crazy like that happen. Guy. Your ass belongs to me now. I'm your leader, not Ken. See someone the size of Shut up, Drew. Kip up. Hey, look at Punk. Oh! Get him. Yeah! <laughs> Big fucking whiny baby. Bye, bitch. Bye, bitch. <laughs> okay, now it's gonna, gonna drop like flies now. It's gonna go quick. It's gonna go quick. Pay attention. Stay seated. Stay calm. Power bomb to Punk. Looking to do one to Cody Rhodes as well. Rhodes, though, lands on the back of his feet. Got to get her. No. Caught by Gunther. Oh, no. Gunther going to end the dream. Cody trying to hang on. Shades Both of, of them. Both year. of them. Double. Both of them. Gunther eliminated. We're down to two. Four. 
five. Roman's not happy. Roman's not happy. Roman's not happy. I told you it wasn't going to be Gunther. I didn't want a double belt situation. I didn't think it made sense. I didn't think it made sense for the person that holds the title to win, okay? I'm sorry. I like this. I like where this is headed. I said CM Punk. If I'm fucking right, I love being right. God, I love being right. But, okay. And most of you right now, I see most of you spam my chat with who you want. Cody or Punk, do it. Spam it. I don't give a fuck. Cody or Punk. Cody or Punk. Cody or Punk. Do it. Spam. Chance. It's like a chant. Here they go. Act like you're there and you're just yelling who you want to win, okay? Because there's they suck at it. They should be way fucking louder. They should give a shit, and they don't. Come on. Up over the top, Cody Rhodes now both men down. Critical moment of the match. Who has the strength? Who has the willpower? Who's gonna Redneck Ozzy, thank you for the sub, dude. The How are you doing? How are you doing? Of the most important match of the year. He said, why am I tribal chief worried about some shit? Because he knows he ain't shit. Because he knows he ain't shit. That's why. He knows he's frail. He's self-aware. He's a fraud. The, the tribal chief is a straight up fraud. You guys keep saying you want rock. I don't think you're getting the rock. I don't think you're getting the rock. I don't think it's happening. In the making at stake. Cole standing. Oh shit. It's about to be good. 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 Just Prince slip. Oh, paint rushing Rhodes. Cody now back to the corner. CM Punk sending Cody across the ring. Cody though, up over the top, lands at his feet. And there's a power slam to CM Punk. And yet again, the tides turn. Someone said, I drink Pepsi for this. The first man to go back to <laughs> Pepsi Phil. Pepsi Phil. Pepsi Phil. Why am I anxious? I'm anxious. What if it is like a double elimination? What if they try to do that where both of their fucking feet hit the ground at the same time? I would. Oh my god, don't. I can't do this to myself. That will drain whatever life force is left inside of the American nightmare. Another example of what CM Punk is capable of. Punk. His iron will. Yeah, he's staring at the WrestleMania sign. High above the trop. One of these men will make Punk, stare at point the sign. Rollins it's been a while. <laughs> a running bulldog by CM Punk. And Punk believes it is his time. But Punk is going to have to fight through. Very the mixed, very mixed reaction in there. Moments. The stadium is a cavern. It's hard to be loud in there. That's true. Is it night, night? He looks night so day. wild with his hair right now. So disheveled. Do I know anybody that's in the crowd? I do. I know. I know a few people. I'm texting one right now. Um, Nate. Cody Rhodes, though. Look for Crossroads. Stand there by Punk. Cody. Couple of left-handed jabs. Call it back to the dream. Bionic elbow. <laughs> Destiny awaits one of these two men. Rhodes now looking for crossroads again. Oh. Punk does not allow it to happen. And now CM Punk looking to eliminate Rhodes. Trying to dump him over the top rope and win the Royal Rumble for the first time in his career. Cody has his hand down on the apron, bracing himself. Who was stalking Roman? From allowing his body weight to shift and now a look of frustration washing over Punk. Moment to catch your breath. Moment to realize what's happening. Could you imagine CM Punk winning the Royal Rumble in 2024? We may not have to wait. We may not have to imagine. It could be reality in a matter of minutes. Come on, guys. Come on. Punk says it's my time. I'm going to Philadelphia. I'll main event in WrestleMania in 70 nights. And Punk with Cody up. I'm not sure what Cody has left. I love that Cody my reaction right now is everybody Cody right there watching, just waiting to see what the fuck is happening. 
Oh, oh my god, oh my god, he's gonna come up behind him. Never mind, he's on the ground. <laughs> Both of these men feeling the effects of beatings, of exhaustion, of pressure. The magnitude of this moment cannot be overstated. One of these two men will finish their story. Running on adrenaline in a dream. Living life on the edge of That's a, a camera angle ball. I haven't really Over seen before. Isn't that how it's... Strong. A look at that. Look at that. Trooper. Look at that. Look at that. That's cool. Cody Rhodes and CM Punk. The final two men of the 2024 Royal Rumble. The 37th I'm doing this too long. annual edition. I'm pointing out fucking camera uh -oh. angles. <laughs> Can he get Cody over What are you guys going to do? Was that the last gasp of CM Punk? Does Punk have enough left in the tank to haul Cody Rhodes up and over the top rope? Last gasp attempt. Cody hasn't moved. It is an incredible moment here tonight at the Royal Rumble. 48,000 in 44 people. New chair pad. Watching history in the making. Punk thinking about another GTS. Cody grasping the top Oh, no. Okay, Cody okay, top, okay. Cody something's happening. Hang on. Cody out to the Shit. The as well. One of these men could go over right now. Cody is hanging on to CM Punk for it's dear gonna life. It's going to fucking be both of them. It's going to fucking be both the of them. They're going to hit at the same yeah. time. Collapses back into the ring. Yeah, these guys are both running on fumes, understandably. They're killing me. Reason. They're killing me. But the tension is palpable. <laughs> oh, so man, much it's... emotion. It's uh, uncomfortable. They just keep doing, you know, you got you got to quit. Oh. Yeah, you pedigree, but you, you're oh, not you got to get you got to get them out of the ring. If you know, you know. So much in that pedigree. Who won? Nobody yet, dog. And We're Punk still waiting. We've got fucking sleep. just Cody versus Punk right now. And the American Nightmare's and dream will be over. To lose to Dusty's kid. I didn't wait 10 years to lose to Dusty's, Dusty's kid. kid as if Punk just said, I didn't oh, no. wait 10 years to lose to Dusty's kid. And now taking Cody as he looks at the WrestleMania sign and prolongs the agony for Cody Rhodes. Looking for the go to sleep. Cody, though, able to catch him. I'm not Dusty's kid anymore. I'm the oh, I did not think it was going to be fucking Cody. He did lose to Dusty's kid. He's going to cry. Ah! I have so many things like running through my head at the moment because I'm hearing I'm like trying to think of I've heard so much shit said by so many different people and so many people saying oh it can't be Cody that it's gonna be punk so, so who's gonna be at Wrestlemania who's gonna do this who's gonna be it's gonna be the rock and then half of you are in here in the last two minutes being like if you smell as if it made any fucking sense for the rock to come out after like what why the fuck would the rock come out I was Not at all what anybody talked about, you know. Take a look at your final four. Here's CM Punk dumping Drew McIntyre They were like, you the think the rock? The Joke's on you, bitch. And next in line would be Gunther, a vice like but, on the ring general you know, from the American Nightmare. And his just re it just, just rearranges like everything in my head that I was thinking. Because we had the, the, the face-off of Cody and Punk on Monday, right? So I was thinking, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking now that I'm, now that I'm thinking about it. I expected, you know, like Punk and Cody at Chamber, which still could happen. I don't know. My brain's all over the place just thinking about shit. Punk and Suggle after the heavyweight title. Yeah, we could. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. We've got Seth, you know, getting better. <laughs> Eventually. Punk is still made eventing. He's just going to take the long path. So. Do you guys think that Cody's still not winning at Mania? 
Do you still think he's not gonna main event at Mania? Because now, where does the rock fit in this? All you guys, look at that angle. That's a good. That's a good shot right there. And Cody Rhodes. That's a good shot. The women's rumble was better to me. You know what? It was to me too. It was to me too. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna shit all over it. I'm not. Um, what we've seen from Triple H, what we've seen from Triple H thus far since he has completely taken over control is him building on what they already have. Look at him and what he's been doing with the women's tag division. He is trying to work with the talent that is already within the company. And he's not relying on legends anymore. And I think that's really where we need to go moving forward. Just bringing in, you know, re-debuting, like someone like Andrade, bringing in a few people that want to come back. Someone said bad booking. I disagree. Like, I don't understand what exactly you mean when you're saying bad booking. What part of this to you is bad booking? Just because you don't like the outcome? Just because, you know, it wasn't the outcome that you wanted? Just because something isn't the outcome that you want doesn't mean that it's bad booking. It just means you're a whiny little bitch. Hi. We welcome you. <laughs> What's going Rumble. on? We are sold out Royal of the Rumble Sunshine City. Yeah, Let's you smell shine. heavily of bloodlines. A new Trapicana Field attendance record. Oh, Jesus Christ. Tell I am telling them. It's crazy. Evolution is a good thing. Right. Horrible booking. Nobody wants Cody. Tyrus, you're fucking full of shit. You tell me nobody wants Cody. Nobody in this entire chat wants to see Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania against Roman again. Nobody. What'd you say? What just happened? Why is he doing that? What about Roman what? Jesus Lord. We just had the Royal Rumble. The Royal Rumble is 30 you The Royal Rumble is 30 people in a match. Whoever is eliminated last gets to main event WrestleMania. So Cody Rhodes just won the Royal Rumble. So he gets to face Roman Reigns at WrestleMania for the title again. Now this happened last year and he lost. Why are you laughing? Oh, what are you doing, Bozo? My goodness. I just thought he could have put out an entertaining elimination chamber. He still could. He still could. Champion of his choosing. It's going to be Roman. It's going to be Roman. You mean to tell me they're not going to do the whole um, finish the story angle? I just think that because I've you all of you guys have been like, Roman has to be, Roman and Rock has to be at WrestleMania. Roman and Rock has to be this. It has to be this. And I feel like now we have no idea what's happening. That guy's Sage Raiden with a party. What's up, guy? Party of four. How you guys doing? We're, I'm just babbling at this point about the end of, uh, what's, what's it? Royal Rumble. <laughs> by, what's by Google Plays? That Rumble was wild. I would like to hear an outside perspective of somebody that wasn't in this chat. What did you think? of the men's Royal Rumble because what I'm seeing from a, more YouTube than Twitch, but I'm just seeing a lot of disappointment because it wasn't what they expected. There wasn't a lot of big returns. I really thought Hulk Hogan, <laughs> I really thought we were going to see Hulk Hogan. A lot of people were expecting The Rock to be number 30. The Rock wants a bigger build for a Roman match. And I agree. I think I don't know. I almost feel like at this point, Rock and Roman needs to happen after Roman loses the title. You can hate that if you want. You can absolutely hate that if you want. But if Rock were to, or if Roman were to drop the title at WrestleMania, I feel like that puts Roman in a position to be like, oh, maybe you aren't the tribal chief. Okay, you're not the head of the table. Here, in comes Rock. I'm going to prove that I am the head of the table. I'm just shooting shit. But I feel like, you know, I feel like that makes sense. You're getting more fantasy booking out of me than you're ever going to hear in your entire life. And you're never going to hear it again. So once again, thank you for streaming. You're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome for streaming. 
I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Uh, for my first pay-per-view in years, this was a letdown after the Women's Rumble. The Women's Rumble was superior, in my opinion. Why didn't we get gender? The Women's Rumble? Like the first, the first thing that happened? Mm-hmm. The Women's Royal Rumble? Uh, we were watching it at home. You were? Until Supercats came out. Oh. Um, why can't I? Oh, Bailey. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Bailey won. What do you mean, uh? You don't know shit. <laughs> Fucking stand in there, uh. He didn't like that Bailey one. But he doesn't know the story. He doesn't know the backstory of any of it. Hey, Allison K. Hi, thank you for the rate of 51. How are you guys doing? <laughs> Hi, my name is Wheezy Blonde. Uh, I am a wrestling content creator and streamer slash reactor. I also have a YouTube channel. I do a lot of different things, but we just wrapped up watching Royal Rumble. I definitely enjoyed it. I also stream over on YouTube, so I have a lot of chats going on. So if I miss your chat, I'm sorry. Um, I have a lot of people uh, a little upset over the finish of the Men's Royal Rumble just because it wasn't what they anticipated it wasn't what they expected but I just keep rambling on about how I'm actually happy that both of the rumbles really highlighted and leaned heavily on people that are already on the roster like people that are actively on the roster I think that's great I think that's the direction we need to head Uh, we don't need to rely so heavily on legends and I think that's really telling I'm here for it And I like when people don't get their way because then they're little whiny babies about it. And I think it's funny. I think it's funny when people cry because they had something in their head about how what they thought was going to happen and then it doesn't happen. It's amazing. I think it's great. Hi. Unlimited Steals also with the raid. Hi. Welcome in, everybody. Uh, Is the press conference on Peacock or do I have to go somewhere else? I don't know why I never remember this. Somebody tell me what to do. If Cody loses at Mania, then I'm saying Priest cash in. <laughs> I don't know if he's ever. It's on YouTube. I love that someone just came in ch- chanting Jared Goff. Uh, it's on everything. You, someone's saying YouTube. YouTube is better. It's on Peacock immediately. I feel like we're never on the same page about anything. Is it a dip? Do I have to get out of this Royal Rumble 24 and go to the press conference? Well, I just exited out of it. It's on Peacock, but what's the Funko next to Becky? Liv Morgan, SmackDown champion, Liv Morgan. Rami San King, thank you for the super chat. It was a great Royal Rumble. I thought it was going to be a draw with Punk and Cody Rhodes. I was thinking that too. <laughs> is everyone not wanting to watch the press conference? Crazy Eyes for Life. Thank you for the reign of 11. How are you guys doing? My name is Weezy Blonde. I am a wrestling content creator slash reactor YouTuber. I am here every Monday and Friday watching... WWE Raw and SmackDown, and I watch all major PLEs. That's pretty much all I'm able to do with my schedule at the moment, but sometimes when I get off work early, I will watch Dynamite and AEW and things like that. I like all wrestling. Fuck tribalism. I just only have so many hours in a day to stream certain things. Uh, That is Spanish. I don't... I can't do that one. Do, do, do. Okay. I guess we're just going to leave that on and then it's going to happen. Uh, Conan Itagawa 28 with the raid. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I need a I need a video package that can give my spiel of who I am and what I do. But we just finished watching Royal Rumble. My name is Weezy Blonde. I am a streamer slash reactor WWE content creator. I am on TikTok. I'm everywhere. I do a lot of things. I'm talking really fast. You should follow me. <laughs> I'm here every Monday and Friday. There are a lot of raids. No one wants to stick around. <laughs> Uh, well, um, what were everyone from Allison's live? What were you were you guys watching Rumble Two? Or were you just hanging out? What were you guys watching? What were you doing? AP's on. Thank you for cheering all the bits, everybody. Uh, Phase Chump ninety seven. Thank you for the resub. And then we just started a hype train. King Crab. Thank you for cheering all those bits. Thank you for all the follows, guys. <laughs> huh. My voice is definitely going. I think I got a little more excited for a lot of things that happened tonight than I have in a while. Uh, so my voice is, it was her first watch along. She's never done a watch along. I love her. I adore her. She knows who I am. That's amazing. <laughs> Funny Gamer Man 69, thank you for the sub, dude. I appreciate it. Now, all my friends are in here, so if I scream someone's name, I'm sorry. Royal but these are my friends. Look for the hat. Look for a top hat. 
Royal Rumble press conference. Byron's wearing tonight. the purple suit, we'll looking like Barney. The of both the men's and women's Royal Rumble matches, as well as the chief content <laughs> officer of WWE. Okay, Paul now it might Triple get H. serious here Love for that. a minute. Now, a so, for all our media members here tonight, if you have a question for our guests, raise your hand, state your name in the media outlet you are affiliated with. Now, with that said, our first guest made history tonight, not only lasting over one hour and three minutes, but also winning. Oh, the Royal is Rumble Triple H not going to come out now? See, what I don't think should happen is I don't think. Please welcome. The the I don't know that it's fair for the media Royal to ask Rumble the talent. I think that that is Bailey. a chair. That I think that that is a question for for Triple H. I don't think it's fair to put that on Bailey. I actually really like that shirt. He comes out last. No, last one I did. He did. He was first. I swear, the last one I did, he was first. You guys are telling me Triple H normally comes out last, but I oh, he was first. Bailey, welcome. We'll open it up to our media with the first question right here in the front row. Hi, Bailey. Congratulations. Thank Ricky you. Chino, CagesideSeats.com. We talked just two weeks ago, and uh, you talked about how Standing up on the turnbuckle, pointing at the sign, getting the pyro going off was the stuff that you dreamed Mab, of. shut up. You were excited to feel that. When it finally happened, it hey, looked I know like him. you were really soaking in every moment that you could there. You know, did it feel like Am I going to stay for the whole press conference? I am, because I want to yeah, watch it. Yeah, but a little bit crazier. Like, I, <laughs> I was excited to point to the sign, but I, from what I remember... Um, oh, I forgot Collision I was on, only too. the sign had the fireworks, and I was just expecting the sign to have fireworks. But as it was happening, it's like kept going more and more and more all over the whole stadium. And in my head, I'm like, do like they a little bit of do this? Or is it just for me? Or are they like super proud of me? Like this is a lot more than I was expecting. Um, so that was very surprising. And it was, it was cool to just I mean, he can usually be last and still occasionally show up first. Probably will. Yeah. It'll probably hit me a little bit later, but I was trying to be professional, you know? Do I reckon she's going to challenge Rhea? Um, right side, I think with EO row. still having the title, I mean, I think it makes sense. Congrats for, on the win, Bailey. Graham Matthews with Bleach Report. Just talking about the win itself. And if nobody in the media asks about the Vinny Mac situation, then these are not real journalists. Up this August. Where this ranks I think what makes them real journalists is asking behind you after someone made, that it uh, you know, despite really figure, pertains to, five, not a talent. The reaction they got out there tonight. I really do. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. I have to tell. I think a lot asking of girls, an authority um, is is the right person were, like, to ask. You know, I think if you were to ask so, Bailey like right now, Bailey has nothing to do with third one. The, the you know um, business side of things that or didn't last as anything like that. Like, I, trust me, I've been. I've that's been a question there. for like, Triple H. That's a question for Nick Khan. Number twenty six. And maybe that's and just me, but like three minutes or something. I've been number one and I haven't won. I've been number seventeen or something and haven't won. It's it's because what is she gonna what is she gonna say? Such a ride and so. For me, I have to like to them. I don't want to sound too cheesy, like just hang in there. But I've I, from the she can first only give her personal to, viewpoint like, on it. You know, first one or two years on the main roster to to now where we are, it's all about just consistency and just seeing the bigger picture. Because if you get stuck in all the dips and swerves and everything that this business throws at you, I could have never done what I did tonight. Like I could have Bailey is given by herself so with no damage like, control. So long ago. So that's uh, a good point. Such a difference. That's man. A good we have point. such a different crew. There's no legends coming in because there's so many women out there that we need to showcase. So it's, it's that's what we're saying. Hell yeah. Uh, Keith Elliott Greenberg with Inside the Ropes magazine. Uh, the Bailey we've been seeing in recent years is a lot different than the hugger of times past. Yet tonight, towards the conclusion of the match, we heard a, a large Bailey uh, chant go up. How does the damage control Bailey induce that type of reaction? I mean, I don't tell you guys what to do. You know, you guys just cheer when you want to cheer. So to me, I'm on, honestly, How tired this am I? is the truth. Not, the, I have not been as tired as I could be. Throughout this whole time. Smallville, thank you for the compliment, but also uh, Boo week, 49ers. I actually can't be a fan of Bailey for the next 24 hours. After this press conference, me and Bailey are fucking real. enemies. 
when I first started, I was excited. Go Lions. I was, this is the coolest thing ever. It's my Be- dream. Go and 49ers. Weren't Fuck going you, George Kittle. Throughout the years, and no one was latching on. I think the I reporters know the deal. Okay, pay for career. match stuff and Triple H so for real life stuff. It seems that way to me too. Been real and genuine and natural. It, and I'm glad. And this is who I, I think I am that's now. how it should be. So like, if you guys are liking it and you guys want to see me win, then hell yeah. I've don't put Bailey in that position. Don't do. Don't do it. These matches. Put Triple H in that position. That's who deserves to be put in that position. To me, it's all been part of what I've been knowing all along. But you never know. Hey, Bailey, Denise Salcedo, Instinct Denise! Culture. Denise! So in the Women's Royal Rumble, green shirt we guy. saw a lot green of Green shirt guy gets to be Naomi. in media? I'm fucking Jordan applying. Grace and Jade I'm Cargill. fucking applying. I'm going. I wanted to get your thoughts on seeing them in the Rumble. Well, first, going out there and being in the ring with Naomi and Natalia and that first, That's first good three of us. Legends. My first time um, doing anything on the main roster, I was a UK tour, and it was me and Natalia versus Team Bad. So, like, they're the girls that really helped me get comfortable. And Allison K would in. be going for the so Lions, too, being, being from them, Detroit. I know. have been through everything, generations of this I love it. Division, I love it. And are still here helping everyone out. I'm that a big fan incredible. of the city of Detroit. Uh, uh, my friends that work Naomi for the Lions. Back. I'm a big Lions fan. And, uh, uh, if Jordan you guys don't know anything about me, I'm a huge Detroit Lions fan. To be honest, which uh, is I live in Michigan. Cool I am just outside of Michigan. A world and everybody was. I spent a lot like of time in Detroit. Like surprises out there. She's super solid, very strong. I'd stay away Good from lines. her. Um, I'm very <laughs> anxious for Jade tomorrow. Finally, come out. Just seems like there's so much potential there, and everyone's really excited to see what she did. And she proved her presence with so many different moments she had there. Oh, um, we got to give you your prediction to points. Eliminating Sorry. her though, so she should be scared of me. You know. Here we go. Michael Martinez from Lucha Libre Online. Bailey, last time we had a conversation in Money in the Bank in London. You mentioned that you really wanted to make event WrestleMania, and you're just one step away from it. Jake Arder, thank you for I the reset, dude. One step away. It's gonna take a long time to get there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> who doesn't her. want a main event WrestleMania? That I should hate you, but it's is, is just a uh, Chiefs or Ravens? I feel like Ravens. That's such a generic dream for anybody watching WWE as a kid to have but the fact that we've already had two women's matches main event the WrestleMania is the Red Wings have been it, better. It just makes it even more possible and now that I'm at this point where WWE I can't imagine Jade won't the, be on the press the conference most, it is, it's the biggest that it's ever been it's a crazy time right now and the fact that I won the Royal Rumble in the time that it is why not why can't I rest why can't I main event it because we're in the craziest time of, of all, you know? And I'm That's on top. That's sure. I'm right there. Maybe yes, not on top. Eo's on top. <laughs> I'm right, right there. You're on top. Hey, Bailey. Dominic D'Angelo of AdFreeShows.com. Congratulations on the win. And uh, it's kind of neat that Cody won the men's battle royal because I wanted to get your thoughts on Royal Dusty Rumble. Rhodes, his dad, and Sorry. what his influence on you. And so it's I sound like, like Bailey. Moment. Can you talk about that a little bit? We're kind of the same I've, I've age. Said it, I've said I think we grew years, up very similarly. Dusty had it. So. Maybe have some of the I same manners. Like he just had his we're projects and everybody. Dorks. He just saw the one thing emo kids. and everybody that we couldn't see kids. in ourselves. We both drive Jeep like, Wranglers. I know that. So he helped me in promo classes all the time. Like the fact that I had my own TV show, Ding Dong Hello, it just blows my mind. And I wish Dusty could see that because they had to pull me in for extra like promo classes and make me do interviews. And Dude, all you've stuff. improved so, so much. Shy, but Dusty just seen something in me. Whatever I was shy to share, he wanted me to embrace because he knew that it's was the shy what was going to connect me with it's people. It's the shy emo kid. And we like theater shit, but me. then like it's hard. I, I would have given up. Like in my first month, I wanted it's hard. to be done. It's hard to so. pull it out, man. Shut yeah. up. Thank you. You think Jade could win Next Elimination question. Chamber? Oh, that, that's it, I guess. That's done. That's, Cut done. me off, Kasama. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Bailey, you guys. congratulations Thank you. on your new road to WrestleMania. Yeah. All right, who's next? Who's next? Well, our next guest made history tonight by becoming the first superstar to win back-to-back Royal Rumbles for the first oh, time Cody. in 26 years. They're going right with the winners. All right, all right. The man who will now have an opportunity to finish his story at WrestleMania, the winner of the God, if one more of you Royal bring up AJ Rumble Lee, I swear to God. The American Nightmare Cody it didn't happen. Rose. It's fine. Prison, thank you for cheering all those bits. CM Punk needs to work on cardio and endurance for me. Sh- Jesus Lord. We actually have a running joke in here because I-, I hated whenever when The Rock came back and everyone was like, oh man, The Rock needs to do more cardio. He just ran around for like 20 seconds. He needs to do more cardio. Shut the fuck up. 
My God. Oh. They're elite fucking athletes. Okay, so I know, Byron, you, uh, you're going to... Can't even run a quarter of a mile. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I got a few bones to pick with you, all of you out here. Why? The last month, I've seen a lot of memes. <laughs> <laughs> Seen a lot of gifs that uh, he called him GIFs. Even my buddy, who I'm not going to say his name, it might rhyme with Sean Ross Sap, decided to send me one, as if I would think it's hilarious. Sean. Well, let me put this all kind of in perspective, and this is going to sound like a big old no, T Mac, I did pat it. on the back, but it's not for me. It's for the people who have followed me. I had an unprecedented exit from WWE. What do meme do I am I unaware things. of? Hopefully they were helpful to our industry. Hopefully. I had an unprecedented return to WWE where I got to compete with probably the best belt bell wrestler what of Jeff? my generation, Giff. Seth Rollins. He's a future Hall of Famer. And I beat him not once, not twice, but three times. I went on. Isn't went Sean there? Rumble in 2023. Hey, yeah, I had number 30. But yes, I knew Roby Soho's from Edwardsburg. 39, which broke every record previously set. By WrestleMania. She wrestled around After here. After that, not she just was, survived uh, Lesnar, but beat him twice. The most decorated combat sports athlete. And Her I cousin's my massage therapist. <laughs> to this point in time, where I well, have she gone worked back at the place, back the chiropractic the place Rumble, that I go. The first guy to do it since Stone Cold Steve Austin, and I was able to eliminate oh, probably the most popular wrestler of my oh, entire so he era. Just did and media a guy day. that I wouldn't tell him to his face, or maybe I would, that I really admire and look up to. That being CM Punk. The reason I walk everybody through this is because it's not always easy to be a Cody Rhodes fan. There's some people here who probably traveled from abroad who know, you know, Mustache Cody didn't have that many fans, a little, a couple. Dash and Cody, Stardust didn't have any fans. It was a tough time. And I mean, he doesn't. The reason I <laughs> wanted to say all this is because those fans who have been with me from the beginning and those fans who just jumped on are completely vindicated by what just happened. In <laughs> Someone's like, I like Stardust. Vindicated, yeah. And they're completely so hard on yourself? because they know something that I want to tell all of you. Here's the news. Here's the headline. I am the guy. And I have been the guy. And I am a three count or a submission away from being the quarterback of the greatest, most prosperous era in the history of sports entertainment. You laying it down. So for all the memes... And all the gifs, let's just remember that because tonight was a absolutely thrilling, exciting, beautiful moment. And to do it in Tampa, to do it in St. Pete, right here, Eddie Graham area, Dusty area. Oh, hi, Alien Night. I like kicking it with Ross. Here. They're amazing. Sorry if it I have sounded like not a got a chance to talk to them. Let's ask some questions. <laughs> Laying so, down. Uh, you mentioned beautiful moments. Well, our first question comes from someone who knows you very well and vice oh, versa. No. WWE Hall of Famer, Diamond Dallas Page. <laughs> I Diamond. It's Chris. And I'm going, do you want to go to the presser? Chris and DDP hanging out. I was out so damn proud of him. I climbed through all the people and over the rail and to hug him because I have been a Cody Rhodes fan since his very first state championship title, his second straight. And I believed in him when a lot of people didn't believe in him. But I know he believed in him. And it was a guy who believed in both of us called the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. And to do this here in the St. Pete Diamond, Tampa ask a question. Area, I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Dusty I'm just Rhodes kidding. Don't, country. Kidding. Don't, kidding. Don't kidding me. Dude, what does that feel like? There you have go. You, have you absorbed yeah. it yet? Um, earlier today, I saw Steve Kern and, uh, and Gerald Briscoe. And I, I went Brisco. and said hello, but I saw Dory Funk. I wanted to hide because... Dallas has just gotten a promo. <laughs> it sounds silly. I have not tried his yoga, uh, no. I can't think I'm a weightlifter, it. and I my fucking scheduling, because like... the fight I don't have, isn't I just, really for him. I should. He I should his do his yoga. If you could ask him, he was as happy as could be with what he, what he accomplished. But the fight now is for my wife, uh, my daughter... My mom. He's live on fight. So he's laughing about because Dusty. he sends Cody memes you about know, not finishing you know, I the story can't not all the think time. About him. I think about them. And uh, to see them in the front row and, you know, I never tell them anything that's happening. 
So Anyone else here thinking Cody winning was the worst decision the possible? possible? No. possible thing to ever is to I'm sure there are some. My mom and but those are not my kind of people. I, if anyone really is I'm running around right. saying, <laughs> Sorry, guys, Cody Rhodes yeah. winning is the worst um, decision possible, yeah, I, I it's, think it's that's silly. To be here and do it. And, I think uh, that's silly. Tonight and really? Hopefully dream really? Of, uh, it's not that deep. That's fucking stupid. Himself. I can tell him. Drew a pretty big house in St. Pete and uh, was on last. Hit my finish. That's all that ever mattered to him. Someone, so, so someone was just talking moment. about um, you, Cody looking a little pale. Welcome, I bro. really do think that when Cody... Um, Next question. I almost pointed. Is on right Raw or SmackDown for television. He normally has fun. Hi, Cody. Nick Houseman, House of Wrestling. Well, you always introduce yourself. Like, I don't I, really I was a makeup not, artist for eight not years. for us, right? It's I, for the it's, overall. It, I got it. I'm not, I'm not special, Cody. Nick Houseman, everybody. Thank you, Cody. Um, there was a real dark cloud over this weekend yeah. following the allegations against Vince McMahon. Mm -hmm. Um, you've talked about how Vince met with you personally yeah. to bring you into the company. Uh, I just wanted to get your reaction to the report. Fuck. And as someone who served yeah. at an, as an executive within Fuck. the industry, what changes do you think should be made across the board Great. to prevent situations like this from happening again? It's a great question. I know as far as the news is concerned, um, if we you're going to ask anybody, it Cody out, it is, the same thing that I know you guys were reading and you said a dark cloud. Cody's a good person to ask as far as uh, TKO, Nick Khan and the board. He's the most well-spoken. He was an EVP, like, uh, acted immediately. And, um, looking at the future, you know, I don't know the answer to that. And, I think somewhere is a really probably a basic tenet of just this crew more than ever from a roster standpoint is very family. I've never seen anything like this. Most of the time wrestling locker rooms are fighting, talking trash about each other, making fun of each other, sandbagging each other in the ring, all that nonsense. This, this crew is very team based and perhaps that's the ingredient is everyone looking out for everyone being accountable, um, and I know for me as a you know performer and a competitor, I've been through dark. I love that we're all having the same reaction before. to it, though. It makes me feel and not so bad cheesy, that that's my it's reaction. Very reinforcing. Um, if you're in my position, I really that it's a time. I when, want the questions hey, asked, but I really want it to be asked to Triple H. I want to give them something else from this weekend that isn't a terrible situation and terrible news. And I think we were able to do that. And obviously, as more news comes out, we'll be seeing it just like you do. Thank you. All right. Let's go to you handled a that. You handled nicer that so question, good. maybe. Uh, the line, finish the story. Yeah. Can you officially say that you're going to challenge Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40 him. in Philadelphia? I feel like everyone knew that. Well, right? I don't know. You didn't say the line. Well, no, so... Also, I'm very glad that he decided to take the skybox seat because it could make it really clear where we're I am going to get on Twitter All right now, though, and world, see if Seth anyone, Rollins, um, that title what people's reactions to that prestige is. prestige every single day. <clears throat> uh, but WrestleMania 39 did happen. And if you're me, you can't look at that and you can't run from it. You know, I don't know. WrestleMania 40, Monday Night Raw, SummerSlam, I don't know, Elimination Chamber. I want to be back in the ring with Roman Reigns, and I want to finish the story. I <laughs> detest the statement now because if you don't follow Muscle Man story. Malcolm, Punk wanted a story. Please do. Drew got a story. Everyone's everyone's got a story. I love him. But a big part for me, if anyone who knows me in this room, I'm very big on keeping my word. So if I say something silly on TV, but it's a promise, I intend to. Does Cody keep go straight to SmackDown? So I don't know if two times the charm with Roman. We'll see. No. But uh, finish the story, hopefully, he? by the 2K25. What did Malcolm say? Uh, <laughs> just because I don't, <laughs> I don't think you're going to put me on the cover or <laughs> even can close it. if I don't get it done, you know? I don't know if you can so. handle it. All right, that wraps up our questioning oh, for you, Cody. Let's do a bonus I figured question. that was coming. Okay, he always, one more he always bonus question. <laughs> bonus question. Give somebody who has never asked a question. Okay, the pressure's on now. Who yeah, this bonus super, question. Lady. First time ever me? question asker will Barney. go to the second row on the right. Hey, Cody, uh, Mike Coppinger, ESPN. Hey. Uh, congratulations on back-to-back -back victories. And I'm, I'm wondering, obviously, it was a couple of years ago, you and CM Punk were with a different organization. 
How surreal is it to be back here in WWE where both of you guys always desert, you know, knew it in your hearts that you were good enough. Jake to Daniel have is the just the embodiment really of cheapest. Twitter right now. Cody Rhodes is becoming more lame and annoying than John Cena. That gar, 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 gar. Shut up. <laughs> really? Um, what? When we were at AEW. Yeah, John Cena is so lame. Oh my God. One another there. So lame. And, Fuck and John Cena. Oh my God. What a happen. loser. Um, what a loser. For whatever reason, it didn't happen. But <laughs> what? I think both him and I had different Ridiculous. personal experiences. You know, don't don't believe anything that Wade Keller put out about why I left or anything like that. The truth is, nobody knows. That man does, uh, but nobody knows. Personal thing, and probably a personal thing for for Punk. And that happens. People come, people go. You just it's clipped a Wheezy calling. Thing. <gasps> but to see media, <laughs> and to see Miz, and to see Kofi, those were my guys. You know, the first OVW show I walked into, the you know. Bryn Albright versus CM Punk was the main event. And Punk was also like running the whole show. He made me set up the ring. Um, and I just, to see that, sometimes you want another person who you admire and respect to stop looking at you as the kid and look at you and see who you are now. And I think tonight he got to see who I am now. And that, that, that means a lot to me. He's amazing, could have gone either way. I look forward to what he does in WWE. Thank you. Is Solid bonus question. Yeah, why not? One more bonus question. Well, yeah. Cody! <laughs> one more. I feel I'm doing okay, right? No one's pulled me. All the way in the back. Hello, Cody. Congratulations on the win tonight. Thank you, baby. Uh, Chris Nunez, BCP+. Plus. Uh, you are now one of four men to win back-to-back -back Royal Rumbles. Hulk Hogan, uh, Shawn Michaels, Stone he, Cold, I mean, like he you did mentioned. Mention, I mean, yourself. he mentioned why he uh, left. Yeah, he did. What is I mean, he, this win he didn't say why he left. He just was mentioning that he did. what are the next steps to finish the story? He kind of stump me because it's such a good stat. I don't have a lot of good stats. Like I, I laugh tonight. I look at Randy when he came out and said 20 time champion. Dog, I'm just trying to be a one time Dog. champion. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? 20 times, Randy, 20, 20 times. Um, Bye. To be listed with guys like that, Hulk Hogan. Um, yes, Cody's sober. W that WWE man is never going to be allowed on Shawn a presser Michaels, again if he's been drinking. My favorite as a kid, and like I said, being a Cody fan wasn't easy when I was a kid. Being a Sean fan wasn't that easy. You know, chaps, fingerless gloves, you know. What? Everyone choice, loved Sean. You know, in sixth grade, you know. But whatever, Chaps and fingerless Shawn gloves and, and all. And the they Stokes all loved it. They all, they, the all the low boys loved the little. They all loved the little. Yeah. There ever was. So to be able to say I'm in that mix. I, uh, it makes me very, very happy, and uh, I'm very blessed, very lucky to be in this spot. I know the spot I'm in. I know I've been treated by this team and WWE and everybody in this room. Um, if it all ends tomorrow, it was one of the most amazing experiences Just of my life, but it's not going to end Reading tomorrow, some of these, I've got some of the pressers on Twitter right. right now. Thank you guys very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. The winner of the Men's Royal Rumble match, Cody Rhodes! Oh, I think everybody ends in there. I haven't seen anything. Better bring back the rubber chicken for the... <laughs> Face Shop, thank you for cheering those 100 bits. I'm only going to say one thing that annoyed me about this peel. It was the Our ending of the Fatal 4 way so predictable. Shut the fuck up. Of Sorry, I love you. But... <laughs> Please welcome Paul... Triple H, Levesque. Okay. Now it's probably going to get serious. How's everybody doing? Do it. So um, I thought we had an amazing night. Um, I want to start out by, uh, well, thank you to all of you for coming out here. And I want to thank the... Um, the uh, St. Pete Clearwater and Tampa Bay Sports Commission for inviting us back here for this week. We spent a lot of time here during a really difficult If I'm not talking a lot, I really just want to, I just really no want to listen to him. Um, mm -hmm. We spent a lot of time The only thing I did say, I thought building, that he should address it right off the bat. Which if you imagine and it, it looks without like all he the might. people in it is a big giant sort of cave where you can hear every echo and um, 
to be in here tonight after all of that, after everything we went through, and it seems like it was just yesterday, but to come back here, um, I had kind of, this will sound negative, but I had kind of put this place out of my mind because it had been such a, a crazy period of time and nobody here and video boards everywhere, whatever it was, and um, just trying to get through that and to walk Someone in just here said their today, hearts racing. Mine is too. to walk through the backstage area it as is. we were pulling up down the road, it just felt so familiar. <sighs> um, and then it was so busy during the day that it just felt Doc Rock, thank you for the super chat. I can't read it right now, but um, different from thank how you. It felt every other time I will in a minute. Here. And then uh, to see it filled with uh, 48,000 plus fans here setting a record for the building to go from zero to 48,000 sort of seemed like it was in the blink of an eye. And it was, um, I don't know, I stuck my head out of the, the near the entrance way and looked at that sea of people tonight as far as you could see and as high as it could go. <laughs> and it was Brian. emotional for me. It was just a, um, a very unique feeling to be able to know what everybody that performed here in a time, you can imagine what it's like to perform in front of the roar of the crowd, but when there's nobody here and you're trying to do it nonetheless, just the same Come with that on, same trips. energy, the, the, the pounding that you take, the effort that everybody goes through. Um, I don't know. I, it was just a magical night for everybody and, and it felt uh, really good. Come on, to be here. And for some reason to me, because I feel like we've been on this incredible roll for a while, but tonight, for some reason, because of that, the 48,000 people, it felt like the start of this new beginning and of something massive and, and just um, explosive to the next level. Like, I just feel like we are on the, on the brink of becoming something that we have never been before. This is the same feeling I had in the Attitude Era when it was exploding. It's that same feeling, and for whatever reason, while well, that's YouTube been happening, oh, I can't even tonight imagine. felt like the launch of that. Can't explain why, but I just thought I'd share that because it was a unique Chats feeling, and I Triple think. H. Um, what a, I mean, I don't. I, I, I actually don't know what they're saying. So no one's um, no one's really listening to what he's saying right now. Like I said. Um, a lot of people here, and this was a record for the drop here. Um, this building's been here for 34 years, and this was a record. And uh, I'm trying to think somewhere in here it says, I think it was like new kids on the block or something like that. So. Um, oh, Brian, I just got your message. That's I'm sorry. It. I mean, that's when fine. you beat cool. the new kids on the block, like that's a, you know, that's a bold statement, right? Golf, go ahead, golf clap. Yeah. yeah. Um, this was also tonight generated, and I, I feel like I say this a lot, but tonight generated the largest gate of any event outside of WrestleMania in WWE history. So, again, thank you to everybody here in the Tampa area and, uh, you know, uh, to everybody that was watching at home. It was a spectacular night. Um, we'll be back here Monday night, obviously. And then we'll be back into a stadium in four weeks on the other side of the globe in Perth, Australia, um, to do it all again with the Elimination Chamber and sort of take that, that next level drive into the road to WrestleMania. So um, exciting time. From a talent standpoint, I just wanted to mention that, you know, I thought talent had a spectacular night. Um, when you look at the Women's Rumble, Bailey taking a place, Bailey's a, Bailey is a, a very unique and very sort of giving performer that is always a constant. And I think it's easy to overlook how good she is because she's always the constant in getting something else launched. Um, and I can't say enough about that, how, how, how much that role or how big that role is. So sometimes it's overlooked because of that. And tonight, he hasn't opened it up to questions yet. She put yeah. herself in that spotlight and not be overlooked. Tonight, she earned that spot in the Royal Rumble. She earned her spot to go to WrestleMania. I think he's going through his normal spiel event, because uh, he, he so, has to fucking you know, know. He knows. I'm very excited for her he for that delayed, because, but again, she has been sometimes 
lost in the shuffle of just how great of a performer and she, she is. She's one of the all-time best. Um, the return of Naomi, I just want to tell her welcome home. It's been a long time coming. Happy to have you back. Me too. Um, Liv Morgan coming back off injury. Um, great to have her back and have her energy back in the locker room. Uh, Nia Jax had a spectacular night. And I think, you know, as a performer that takes a lot of flack sometimes. This I'm with you. This person just said, really I like that he's taking his time and giving props to the talent because they are getting over, overshadowed by the big issue. But I also want to hear him um, address the issue. I, I feel Grace exactly the same. From, um, from TNA, their uh, champion. Uh, I, I want to thank them for allowing her to be here and participate in the Royal Rumble. I thought she had a spectacular showing tonight. She's an amazing talent. And um, it's exciting to um, just be able to branch out and, you know, I'm not going to use all the cliched terms about what door people go through or anything like that because it's <laughs> stupid and silly. The forbidden um, door. <laughs> but partnerships and, and opportunities like this um, come along, you know, for some people once in a lifetime, but I'm, I'm glad she had that opportunity. It's, it's well-deserved. She's an incredible talent. Um, he has to open it up to questions. And the last one I want to mention for the women's side is the, the debut of uh, Jade Cargill. There's um, what's what's the phrase? He'll receive they'll receive aura. so much That's flack if he doesn't of the week. Um, or he he has to. Um, he has to. He can't be a no questions tonight that. and then and then dip um, out. Um, that's going but, to uh, blow up the internet. She's got it. It's, and whatever you want to call it. The media will absolutely aura, fucking lose their is. shit. She's got it. And then some. Wrestling media uh, has no mercy. She's just a different I'm friends performer, with a and lot I'm of glad them. that she has had a lot the time of them are in that room right now to get her feet on the ground. It will look um, bad. And was able to come in here tonight and, and Hunter make a being huge a lot like Drew Yap and so, um, <laughs> I love that Minnie's made that incredibly thing. bright for her <laughs> and for all of us. So I'm I'm excited about that. On the men's side, I thought both uh, Punk and Cody had an incredible showing, as did so many. But but just an incredible showing, and for two guys. No, he is. You're right. He's talking about his really talent. How hard they worked tonight. You could it shouldn't be all about that. that I, spot, I, I agree. You with argue you. With I agree. It. So um, my hats off to both of them. Braun Breaker had a spectacular night, sort of debuting in the Royal Rumble. Um, it is personal to him, but at the same time, explosive is the only way to, I guess, explain Braun. But he, he had a great night, and um, he's going to do great things in the future. And then Andrade, you know, the return, just a um, a phenomenal talent that I cannot wait to see what he can do now in this time. It's You're the a right NASCAR time. Fan? Um, Bubba Wallace. Or maybe not. I like Bubba Wallace too. It's the right time for him. It's the right time for him to be able to come here and showcase what he can do. I'm excited for that. And one last thing I want to say on the talent side before we move on is just okay. um, Cody was out here. I heard him talking, you know, about the area. I heard him talking about why he's doing this, his family, all, 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 a lot of different things. There is nobody um, more dedicated to this craft, the respect that he has for it is second to none. You know, uh, even I'm waiting for him to come back at Gorilla while he spends 45 minutes out there uh, meeting so people and shaking hands Wallace and taking pictures. Mid. And I'm like, somebody got to go Are we get arguing him. about we NASCAR? We have a press conference happening and it's already started and they're I'm getting rid of us. him, guys, on YouTube. I'm sorry. Um, I, I love Shit, that. I only removed one. I love his dedication to... Sorry, I'm, I'm getting it. I'm getting WWE it. WWE Universe, to fans, to anybody. He is the right human being. He is the right He's gone. I'm person. Sorry. His passion for this, his dedication for this is second to none. And, you know, it's, it's bandied around as a term a lot, but he absolutely is the future of this for all the right reasons. Dick's gone. And, sorry. Uh, I don't want it to sound I got rid condescending of him. to him. And I try when I look at him not to see his dad. But I'm incredibly proud of him, and I know his dad would be. So he had an awesome night. With that, um, I'll open it up to questions. Our first question will go to the second, our first row. Why Here am I go. nervous? Why am I nervous? Emily May with Sports Keto Wrestling. 
It was cute. announced this week that WWE will be moving to Netflix, part of the programming in 2025. What's your reaction to that deal, and how will this change sports entertainment? Well, my reaction to that deal is, um, holy shit. <laughs> um, it's amazing. Um, how will it change sports entertainment? How will it change sports and entertainment is actually the, the better phrasing, I think, of the question. I there think are the people whole world praising Nick Hosman. He asked the wrong fucking a person. shifting ecosystem when it comes to um, where people consume. Good job, Nick, for things. asking the wrong fucking person. And in a moment when you see a lot of people dipping their toe in the water of streaming services and trying different things, you know, s since the beginning, WWE has been sort of groundbreakers and first movers. You know, you Just saw it scrolling, back seeing if an, in if the I beginning see with closed circuit TV. You saw it. I don't even care about the answer to this WWE question. WWE at the forefront and almost sort of making the pay-per-view industry. You saw it when we um, started the WWE network. At least he asked a relevant question. was sort of just a little bit of a thing. Jake, people weren't sure if it can we get rid of Jake? Work, and we jumped into streaming. Or time him out. And it worked. We don't have to get rid of him. Get rid of him, but time him out. And they followed up what we did, and they followed it on their, in their own way. Um, when we jumped out of our own streaming service because the bundling and to get you know to, to a larger carrier to go with Peacock, and now you see this move into streaming where at this moment in time, the NFL, soccer, everybody are dipping their toe into that. Everybody will be watching this, everybody. Um, hopefully everybody will be watching uh, the shows, but they will be watching to see what takes place. Sean here. Spears tweeted, We're finish the story. in front of that. Um, and it's an incredible feeling. And when you talk about a deal that's, you know, 10 years, $5 billion, <laughs> It's hard not to be excited about this. This this has been an incredible, incredible week. Um, you talk about the streaming services, so let's talk about The Rock joining the board for TKO. Um, an amazing opportunity for us anything. to have the biggest celebrity, the biggest star in the world, the biggest box office attraction in the world, to be a part of that board um, and help us with, he's, a, he's an expert on branding. He's an expert on marketing. Get he's the feeling Nick is not welcome at these anymore. So to help with that, but uh, what I love about Nick it is he's also who? Like Nick a guy Con that, or? while on a board at an extremely you're high level. You're a different Jake. I know you're them. a different Jake. I can see I your can name. I can have shorthand with him. <laughs> you're fine. About what you're fine. I was talking over on, um, I was over on people Twitch. people that sometimes don't always understand exactly what the product is, that is such a blessing to be able to, a woman completely him avoiding the question, what say, a poor excuse for a reporter. In our language, here's, here's what I'm feeling, here's the way I want to go, and can you help me with that? Um, so and that's really what they're Pat there Mac for, be getting in the, That's my favorite that clip. Business. I might so, be the first one I post. Um, <laughs> might be the first one I post. It's amazing to have him <laughs> doing that, so it's, it's a huge opportunity for us. Hey, Paul, right here. Uh, John Alba, Fightful. Uh, speaking of the business side of things, uh, it was about a year ago, the WWE board of directors unanimously opposed Vince's return to Here the company go. as executive chair. Jesus, uh, and it was a fucking man! At the time before ultimately voting him back into power. You, Stephanie, Nick Khan, you were part of that. Uh, what degree of knowledge of the current accusations against him did you guys have at the time, and how does the situation affect WWE's Jesus. relationship with partners going forward? Yeah, so I'm gonna do exactly what you would expect me to do here. Um, look, we just had an amazing week. I, I just said a 10-year, $5 billion Netflix deal. Rock joining our board. We just sold out the Royal Rumble, put 48,000 people in the Tropicana Field. Um, I choose to, to focus on the positive. And yes, there's a negative, um, but uh, I, I want to focus on that and just keep it to that. All the way in the uh, back. Hi there, Honor. Uh, Cameron Hawkins from The Ringer. Oh, um, just I a question that was asked earlier I to I Cody. I wanted to get your thoughts on it. I don't know how I feel about that. What's being put in place just to make sure that Fuck. employees feel safe? They don't feel like they're taken advantage of. Just what is Keep being going. done to make Keep sure going. that Keep going. Um, it's all men. The power can't take advantage of employees under them. I'll give you the most generalized answer that I can. 
everything possible. Yeah, it's a, that that is a, a very important thing to us, a very important topic to us. It's as simple as everything possible. So that's my take on the, me the final thing question. Is, to be fair, you are asking right him to corner. speak about his father-in-law. Absolutely. Hi, Brandon Thurston from Russellonomics. Uh, so, I was wondering. Sorry, it, I know you have a microphone, but they are moving a bunch of stuff, and it's really hard for me to just. A little bit louder, please. Brandon Thurston from WrestleNomics. Yes. Uh, did you read the lawsuit that came out this week? And if you They're did, what was hard. your reaction to it? I did not. I did not. Um, he didn't read it. It's his father-in-law. I think Cody mentioned it, that we all found out real time when you were. Um, and that's the truth. Um, I'll, I'll go back to what I said before. It, this, this is an amazing week for us. And I just, at this point, I, I don't even want to get bogged down in the negatives of it. I just want to focus on the positives and where we're going. And we're at the most exciting time of the year for us. We're at the most exciting point to me, business-wise, I think, that we've ever had. I think Cody might have said the, the, the I don't exactly remember how he said it, but the, best positioning of this company since the Attitude Era. I've been through that era. I understand what it's like. I feel like we are in the middle of something that- You guys are definitely, I mean, everyone's kind of all right over now, the place, but five, someone just said he's gonna, now, gonna get gonna cooked. Saying, I think like, he wow, is gonna get what cooked. What a time that was. I do think he is um, gonna get cooked. I wanna focus on that. I was told we have time for one more question and we will end here in the front row. Hi, Ifa Hi. with Lucha Libre Online. Um, I wanted to ask you about when I was looking at the Royal Rumble matches today, the women and the men, the roster is stacked right now. There's so much main event talent. Does that make your job fun? Or is it challenging to keep all these people at main event level, keeping storylines that are going to keep the momentum going? So um, it's challenging and that's what makes it fun. Um, it's a little bit of both. You know, I, I agree with you. I can't recall a time that I could look at rosters this thick and this stacked, um, which is nice to have. It's also, you wanna make sure that everybody- I don't know. <laughs> has a place, um, which can't always happen. It just, it's impossible. I, pers I haven't sure spoken about this. Everybody's featured the way they need to be featured at all times. You're going to have ups and downs. It also means that even as you see tonight- um, Purposely. A little bit different tonight because you have the Rumble, so so many people in there. But if there he were is four things on the card tonight. He may not be able to talk about it. Show. I'm sure he will probably um, be a witness called at some point. Trying to keep these shows point. manageable time-wise. You're only going to be able to I understand so why he's uncomfortable. I'm not, I'm, I'm so being very- So it does get Very um, chill. That's, that's the fun I'm, part of it. I'm being um, real chill. When you have a a stacked roster of, of people that are just chomping at the bit to prove themselves that to get to another level and it becomes increasingly day by day more competitive for the top spots. What did I think of Rumble? The, I really liked it. But you know, the spots he lied not the best way to, the to in the answer middle, that in like his that position. What do you mean he lied? Intense. He didn't lie. Um, and as he people, didn't lie about anything. He just, he you know, dodged. realize those opportunities are fewer and further. Maybe they're going to work harder and harder, in his which and think, is the benefit of everybody. I just so burped in the microphone. It, uh, what would you do in time. his, in this situation? It's got to be humiliating. And wraps this up. Do one more. All right, let's do one more. Let's see what we got here. Let's go all the way in the back. Evan Mack, Odyssey Sports, how you doing, um, Trip? I'm good, man, you? I'm well, sir. Listen, we, you, you lived in the Attitude Area. I was lucky enough to watch the Attitude Area and with, with, what you have going on right now with the streaming and the deals and the roster is stacked as is. What's is, up, in Trip? In your opinion, is this the best era in wrestling? I think you gotta let it play out, right? So it's easy to say in the moment, oh my God, nothing like this ever before. It's the greatest thing of all time. Someone said, no, this is BS. They should have had a statement um, ready if he wasn't going to say anything. You know, and I, um, I also think that I think WWE should have released a statement already. I did think young, that he was like going the, to address you know, it. Sometimes people um, are going to be, you know, they talk about the attitude era with such reverence. I think or whatever. they should have released a statement and already. I, like, I lived through that era. Some of that stuff. The only thing that we got was you, I don't even think I mean? something that was it released was publicly. Um, I think it was an email that was sent from Nick Khan just really saying good. that 
Vince and, McMahon um, was. Um, you look back on it differently. You know, resi- like resign. I'm a big believer in the moment is the moment. But um, it's what lasts the test of did time. Did you guys see you know, the statement that, that Vince McMahon you know, made? When it first started, everybody was going. Or that crazy. his lawyer say, put out. Talk to me about it in five or six years, and we'll see. They should have released a statement, but I don't like, feel like it was right. It was up to Triple H right to speak on it tonight. I'm, I'm, I'm um, with you. I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle. I'm very in the middle with it. I understand why he's not. Um. I would have liked him to say more. A few years later, and I would have liked it. Vince so, made a statement. Um, oh yeah. Time will oh, yeah. tell. It certainly feels. Oh good. yeah, he did. I can tell you that. It certainly feels. He should good. have said it's an ongoing Watching investigation, and I cannot talk about. It. I agree with that. Week after week I agree with that. It. It I think feels swerving and saying. I, talk to Michaels, I think swerving and saying the, the, we the, should focus on the positive the college is. College athletes coming into that performance center. That was total good luck. Things I've never seen before, and picking this up faster than I've ever seen anybody picking it up. Like. On so many levels, like the. This was, this I'm trying my best to stay calm. Huge. Everything talking about Vince. The main the thing I have more time enjoying your streams on here instead. And that's why. Like, there's so much good stuff. That's why I don't focus there, on the in my streams. That's not what I do. Deep, and it seems like that's it's going to last do. for a long time. So how is whatever my, he can say? If you ask me, my gut on makes it makes him look yes, good. It's um, going to be let me see if I the biggest. Let me see if I can find it. You guys really haven't seen it. There's ever been in this business, but. Today uh, should be about the rumble and the talent. Tomorrow said, we can get into the, the mess and the fun of making it. My last problem for the is, and I I, I, I don't disagree band. with you. So, I don't well, disagree do with you. Well, well, all right, one more. <laughs> but I had two no answers with no answer, right? So I feel like I owe you a couple answers. Let's see what we got. Uh, tough choice. A lot of hands. A lot of hands. Let's go to the second. I see row. a lot of people asking me about the Netflix Hi, thing. from Contralona. When you compare the WWE in the past and WWE now, can, and with all the changes that we are seeing right now with The Rock at TKO, Netflix, and everything that we saw today at the Rumble, will you say this is a new WWE or a new beginning for the WWE? Didn't he just say that? I don't. I don't like to say it's a new WWE because I feel like in some way that negates the past. Um, These questions are hilarious. It's a rich history here. And, you know, it's, it's why people compare Let Roman me, Reigns um, so... and the length of this title run to Bruno or... Hogan or right like the, the I could say something really terrible and I would feel awful fucking saying it and some I just and I love that history because there are a lot of people in that room that I love and adore that stuff and and love that and and you know Cody a lot of people it. in that we room a, that I love of, and adore legends here tonight um, and it's something that we want to engage with them and more I don't and, and know be a part of what we do because their contributions were massive to what who we do is and just who have in there and who has what to us but um, um, so I don't want to say it's a, a brand new WWE, but it's a lot it's of the time now for sure. When you go and to I think a maybe WWE that's what I was feeling presser, tonight when I looked out in that crowd, and you know, there's nothing off wrong with not having a journalism degree. There's nothing wrong with not having we gone to school or have and then having experience in that. But a lot of the people of, in that room are not under TKO journalists. New, they're uh, ownership online just, personalities it's, it's, or they are people that run wrestling start. websites. Um, it's very different that, from someone that has experience in journalism and interviewing. As it was behind Very, you. very different. All the wonderful things um, that you want to keep. And so and I think so a lot of the time you when you hear questions that from, don't make sense to you, it's, um, that a lot of the time is someone that works for um, just a, just a, like a wrestling website. Have that so, starting point, but yet have all. I am that curious what the conversation was before the press conference started. behind you, that one. The WWE it, presser it, it, is supposed to be kayfabe. It just makes you see very clearly I mean, where you want to go and what you want it to be. You and can, like someone personally and still think they aren't professional at the their job. The reason I'm I don't know here where that's coming from. and sitting at this table is because I love this, and. You knew someone was going to bring up the situation in the questions. It yeah, for sure. Better. Than it's ever yeah, been. Yeah, all you need is a pass. Yep. From a you can apply for one. Standpoint, uh, pretty much as long as you have some kind of following or ESPN is there. Chris Van Vliet is there. From a business uh, did, standpoint, you know, and all the other things. There are people that go there that it, are. 
from our employees. I'm not saying everyone in there isn't. I want this to be the best WWE that there has ever been. Unlike anything that's ever been seen Put me in the press room. And we're going to do that. Um, I'm very confident of that. They're cooking him on Twitter. Ooh, um, trips. We have that behind us. Look at me calling him trips. And we're looking forward to to a bright future. My nose pin. Thank you all for being here tonight. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'm probably sure I won't see most of you in Perth. I'm just going to go. Would you prefer like a Dave Meltzer or an NBC uh, reporter? They both have their place. And hopefully, we'll see you all at WrestleMania. At the same time, most wrestling journalists are fans, so most aren't going to bring the smoke. Thank you, Bailey. Thank you, Cody Rose. Thank you to all our guests, and thank you to all of you. Wait, you reckon CBB isn't an actual journalist? No, CBB is absolutely an actual journalist. That's who I was talking about. The people that are there that are. Chris Van Vliet is one of them. There wasn't a lot of it tonight, but it's happened in the past. Like someone asking stupid shit. I'm not saying anyone asks stupid shit. I'm just giving you an example. Giving you an example. Yeah, Chris Van Vliet is one of the best journalists, uh, interviewers at all, in, in the space. And the cool thing about him is that he's multifaceted. So he doesn't just have experience in the wrestling and sports world. He start. I mean, he has dealt with movies and and pressers for um uh i mean movies and with celebrities and things like that why everybody hating on cody all of a sudden i don't know uh crazy how sean and triple h are in control now and the mcmahons are gone looks like dx1 (laughs) yeah something like that y'all need to let vince speak on his own shit and he did um when do you think bad bunny is gonna come back i thought i was gonna i thought maybe we couldn't come back tonight but that just didn't happen how did i like the rumble i liked the rumble I did. I liked the Rumble. I liked that it focused heavily on the current talent. Uh, I think people are going to shit all over it. I think people are going to shit all over it. Horrible presser. Why do you, Maddie, why do you think that was a horrible presser? Uh, what do you reckon WWE won't upload the press conference on YouTube? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If you know who Wade Keller is, I wish he would go to events to report. He started around the same time as Dave Meltzer. Did they bring him up? Because their favorite didn't win. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I really liked the Rumble. I liked the Rumble. The only thing I say is, you know, and it's okay to have a favorite part of it. I thought I really enjoyed the women's Rumble the most. And I think that's a, I think that's a sentiment that looks like just in, in the quick glances that I had that people feel the same way. So I'm, I am still awake, Tony. <laughs> Hi. What time is it? Oh my God, it's almost one o'clock. Oh my God. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> Rumble storylines were on point tonight. That was sickening from Triple H in that press conference. Um, I don't think I'm going to... Oh, Jesus Lord. YouTube is fucking weird. YouTube's so fucking weird. Um, look how far the Women's Rumble came from when it started. Absolutely. I am still up. So we agree. Yeah, the, the Women's Rumble was lit. It seems like that's kind of everybody's sentiment. Kevin and Logan was actually a creative ending. I think so too. A lot of people were shitting on it. Now the Lions game is uh, 6.30. I agree with Santi. They were trying to do Undertaker, Sean Rumble. Get Lo-Fi out of here. I did. Oh wait. Was disappointed in the Rumble. Survivor Series was way better. So for those of you that were disappointed in the Rumble, I, I'm very curious as to why. Why were you disappointed in the Royal Rumble? What what about it was so disappointing to you? I, I really am very, very curious. WWE should focus on wrestling and stop trying to pan- panda to Hollywood. That press conference was hard to watch. Uh, it was a little bit. If Cody is facing Roman in WrestleMania, what's going to happen to Rock versus Roman fight? Well, you're going to find out. That's the beauty of it, that you don't have to know and you don't write the script. You know, uh, you're just going to have to watch and find out what happens. And I think it's great because with what happened tonight, it threw a wrench in the predictability of everybody thinking that they know everything. It just proved that you don't know everything. Every match was predictable, which made it somewhat boring. I, I hate that answer. I hate that answer. Uh, the women's rumble, and I don't know necessarily how to respond to it. 
because I hate when people are constantly like, oh, it was predictable. Oh, it was predictable. I was hoping for more returns like AJ Lee. So that's where you fucked up. Yeah, that's where you fucked up. A lot of people fuck up there. Um, you got played by your own expectations. So there was talk of the ending hitting like crack. I'm still waiting for the crack to hit. Uh, well, for a lot of people, it would. How was it predictable when everybody thought Punk was going to win? That's what I'm fucking saying. There was three. That's the that's the most hilarious thing about it. It was predictable. There were three matches, dog. There were three things that happened or four. OK, there were four. You expected the ending of Kevin Owens and Logan Paul to end the way it did where Kevin should have won, but the referee had to stop because he had brass knuckles on. You predicted that, that that Kevin Owens was going to put on the brass knuckles and that would stop the count and therefore be disqualified and Logan Paul was going to win by DQ. You thought that was happening. Okay. Just because you knew that Roman Reigns was most likely going to retain his title, it still it wasn't a, a good entertaining match. Did it follow the rubric of what probably needs to continue to happen? That Roman can't win anything on his own. He never has. Solo comes in to save him every fucking time. Okay. Who fucking cares? If anything, I would say that the Women's Rumble was unpredictable. You know why I think it's underpredictable? Because the majority of you guessed that AJ Lee was returning, that Sasha Banks was returning, um, that um, who was going to be number 30? I forget. There were a couple of people. That Jade Cargill was going to be number 30. Uh, most of the things that people guessed besides Bailey winning didn't happen they also was heavily saying that damage control was probably going to turn on bailey at the rumble or that they were going to uh something was going to happen in the ring with damage control and bailey that didn't happen damage control got eliminated way before bailey ever won you predicted did you, did was it predictable that Nia Jax was going to be eliminated by one single person and that one single person being Jade Cargill that you've seen nothing of in a ring in WWE lifted Nia Jax, the biggest woman on the WWE women's roster. You predicted that Jade Cargill was going to pick Nia Jax up on her shoulders and yeet her out of the fucking ring on her own. You thought that was happening when every other time that Nia Jax has been eliminated it's had to be more than oh how many was it last time more than 10 women that all collectively had to pick her up and push her out of the ring with struggle I don't understand any of you I don't get it continue to tell me what was very predictable did you predict all of that happening that I just said Shut the fuck up. Uh, get the tables. Thank you for the raid, guys. How you doing? I'm just being shitty. Um, <laughs> I'm just being shitty. So, and it's my fault because I asked. Like, I asked, you know, okay, because a lot of people were saying they didn't like, they didn't like the Rumble. They didn't like the Royal Rumble. I'm like, okay, well, why didn't they like the Royal Rumble? Majority of things that I'm saying uh, or was seeing was that it was predictable. Oh, I fucking hated this. This was predictable. And so I just rattled off a bunch of things that nobody fucking predicted. And all the things that people did predict didn't fucking happen oh another one great another one uh didn't you didn't you you know wasn't number 30 of the uh wwe royal rumble men's match wasn't that that wasn't number 30 supposed to be the rock wasn't the rock supposed to be number 30 and he was gonna come out and he was gonna clear house and he was gonna be the one to win the royal rumble weren't all of you in the chat saying if you smell as if we were waiting for that music to hit and then it never fucking happened it was actually Sami Zayn. did you predict that Sami Zayn was gonna be number 30 I miss that. Yeah, I miss that part. Someone just said it. Y'all let your expectations ruin the rumble. You did let your expectations ruin the rumble. And because of your expectations, you're overlooking an actual good rumble. Do I think the women's rumble overshadowed the men's? Yes. 
But like I talked about earlier, I think the women's rumble focused more heavily on a story the entire match. They definitely focused on more storytelling between not only Bailey and everybody else, but uh, just a lot of things that happened between other people. You had Bailey, um, not, not just Bailey, um, Becky. You had Becky in there with Nia Jax. Um, you had fucking Jordan Grace in there with Ivy Nile. You just had a lot of cool things happen between other people in that match that you paid attention to and that I feel like the camera really paid attention to. I need those lotto numbers from whoever predicted Grace being in the Rumble. Somebody fucking found it on the dirt sheets and they ruined it for me, unfortunately. Um, so I couldn't even be super excited about it. Uh, the, the the men's match didn't have as many moments between people. Like I missed up, you know, and I can, I can be critical too. Watch me, watch me. I can be critical. I think that, um, the, well, the moment between Gunther and, and Ludwig was good outside of the ring, but I think it would have been good to have both of them in the ring at the same time. Now they did do it right between Jay and Jimmy Uso. I thought that was great. They fucked up with Omas being eliminated with zero like shot of him being eliminated. They didn't make it a big thing at all. You have seven foot Omas that had a moment with fucking Pat McAfee running out of the ring because he was so scared of him. And then when he gets eliminated, it's not even a big deal. So yeah, Omas and Braun being eliminated was was weird. It was a little goofy. Um, we, we, there was no Kofi moment. Every year that we've had Kofi, Kofi Kingston has been in 18 Royal Rumbles. It was 18. Uh, and there was no big moment. Kofi mania just oh that was another thing you uh so many people were predicting Big E was coming back that didn't happen either so if anything I think that I think in in short that's that's where this entire rant is going if anything this Royal Rumble was not predictable because most of the shit that was going around online that you said was going to happen didn't fucking happen so stop Will Meister, thank you for the super chat. The men's rumble didn't just didn't do much for me. Aside from our truth being our truth, that was good. And Pat McAfee channeling Drew Carey, exactly what I thought would happen, happened. I love that. Um, I don't think that I literally said, didn't Hogan say see you at Rumble? He did. And then he well, he did the intro. I did think I did think Hogan was gonna make a, an a, an appearance at, in in the Rumble match, just based on what he said. Like I really thought that was happening, but then it didn't. You wanted Big E, but I'm not disappointed. Still a chance. Oh, no, it's, oh, to it's totally fine. I, I am tired. I am tired. I was just getting ready to say, who predicted Kofi not doing a rumble spot? Nobody. You wish Trick would have been in the match? Me too. No Gable. You hated it because Gunther lost. The latter half of that match was, was really good. It really was. It was a slow start. Thank you for streaming so I could at least hear it all. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um... I'm probably not going to face jump. Thank you for cheering those hundred bits. I feel like the problem is that a lot of people who have watched the rumble for years have just come to expect returns and they've just have become super spoiled, but it was definitely more of a common occurrence in the older Royal rumble. So I get it, but people just aren't used to the current talent being not needing that boost because the current talent is just so good. I agree. And I did, am I cooking for the NFC championship game? I'm probably actually going to go out to my favorite, um, bar restaurant that I do every Sunday and watch the game there is what I'm thinking I'm going to do. Uh, I, I keep trying to say, and then I get distracted. I'm probably not going to edit any clips tonight. It's one o'clock in the morning. I really need to get some sleep. So I'm not going to edit any of my clips tonight. I will do it tomorrow and post some of them. I, I recorded the entire women's match. So that's an hour of footage to go through. I clipped a few things, but um, yeah, I, I, recorded it in its entirety. So that's a lot. Uh, if you guys are not following me on YouTube, definitely do. If you're already on YouTube right now watching, definitely give me a subscribe. I am here every Monday and Friday for Raw and SmackDown and major PLEs. Um, I am going to be releasing a couple YouTube videos this week. I'm trying to do more. If you've not been here before, uh, I had a family emergency this week. My mother-in-law's in the hospital. Um, so my schedule is very TBD, you know, if, if, and if you follow me on X, if you follow me on Instagram, I will be letting you know when I will be here and when I won't be here. But as of right now, I plan to be here on Monday. I will not be streaming the Lions game because like I said, I am going to go out to watch that. Um, but yeah, 
that's uh that's where we're at that's where we're at thanks for hanging out with me tonight i don't know if there is anyone on to raid um let's see let's see santi's still on that fucking mark that fucking loser who else is on i don't want to fucking raid him he won't even see it he won't even see it there's almost two thousand people there two thousand people god there's really no one on that i know there's no one on that i know the ge well there's one on i have no idea who they are but well i mean i do know who they are but go check them out fuck it just fuck up their chat how about that My oh the the geeks and noobs they're, they literally have two people watching. No, they have one person watching them. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, stream is ending. Never mind. Fuck. All right. I guess we're just not reading anybody. <laughs> I guess we're just not reading anybody. Um. Yeah. Oh, fuck it. I'll send you to Santee. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Whatever. Here. Here. Go be annoying. Just go. Go be annoying as fuck. Be, be a, as annoying as you humanly can. Tell him he looks stupid. I don't know. Just be, just be mean. Okay. <laughs> okay. I love you guys. I will be back Monday. Take care. Go Lions. One pride. Bye.